Hey, hey, we're back. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Pokemon card live stream. It is, what is today? Tuesday? Wednesday? Is it Thursday? It's Thursday. How's it going, guys? That's right, we're finally live. How's it going, Sergio? I, I packed your cards last night. How do you like that? Oh, man, we streamed for over nine hours yesterday, and I didn't get a penny from it. That nine-hour live stream was claimed by some music I was playing in the background. They're going to claim all the ad revenue from that. How do you like that? <laughs> and that's why we're going to play Still Game in the background, because Still Game, for whatever reason, Still Game doesn't uh, copyright strike. Well, it's not a copyright strike. It's a copyright claim. It's not really a lot of money either. It's just that nine hours is especially a long stream, so it might have been like, who knows, like five bucks probably. It's not a lot. It's a matter of pride more than anything else. Toss that over there. So, I did get a lot of cards shipped. However, however, we uh, ran out of labels. So, this little machine over here. I thought I had another roll, but I guess I did not have another roll. So, I got a remote control boat to ship the cards. What? Ban Von Doom. So, anyways, uh, I cannot finish shipping. We got some more PSA to get out there. I can't finish that because uh, I got to go get labels first. And uh, I, I slept in pretty late. How's it going, Corbin? He says, you remember me? I remember everyone, Corbin. Yeah, so I got to go get more of the Zebra printer labels, and then we can keep the shipping going. There's probably some people who will have to wait a little longer, that means. But that's okay. We'll, we'll keep the shipping moving. I feel like shipping is becoming more of like this constantly needed thing, you know what I mean? My first live show that I can buy from. How's it going, John? How's it going, Asian Tim? What's up, man? So Crimson Invasion is back. We ran out of it, and now we're not out of it. Let me stack this on the floor in a nice way. I'm going to do that real fast. Crimson Invasion. That's the set that gives you a water energy secret. The Gyarados secret. The really attractive Gyarados that you, never, you can never find him for sale. He's hard to find for sale anyways. He does eventually show up. It's got the Gyarados. It's got the secret water energy. It's got... What else does it have in it? It's got the Olivia card. I'm trying to remember if there are any other really impressive cards in this set. Move this over here. Let me get this one open. How much are those packs? These are pretty cheap. I think they're... I think I do these 5 for 20 still. Actually, yeah, I need to update the description. So these are one of the cheapest packs in, this, in the uh, live stream. Which is surprising because they're pretty old, actually. I think that the set's not as popular because it doesn't have like a Charizard or a Mewtwo or anything like that in it. Jump over here. Crimson Invasion. All right. Five, four, 20. And I'm going to go ahead and save this. Is that a fly? Freaking flies, man. There we go. Let me just double check on that, actually. Let me just make sure that's actually accurate. Oops. Well, it's closer to actually it's closer to twenty one. Maybe we maybe we've caused the price of these to shift a lot. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. I think I'm gonna place it at twenty one. Well, we used to do them 5 for 20. We burned through a bunch of them, though, didn't we? I wonder if they stopped printing Crimson Invasion. All right, here we are. What should you buy for your first pack ever? Well, John, what's your favorite Pokemon? You name your favorite Pokemon, I'll make a recommendation. I'm going to go ahead and put these back in the box over here. Charizard, you're a big fan of Charizard? Well, the, the sets that are going to give you a really fancy Charizard is going to be Hidden Fates. And then another set, uh, Cosmic Eclipse. That one's going to give you a really fancy Charizard. The Rocket Packs have a chance to give you a Dark Charizard. Those are really expensive. Those are $360 per pack. Uh, but if you pull him, he could be worth maybe between $900 and $3,000. 
One hidden base booster pack, please. One Pick a lucky base. pack for me. I want to hit card. Exclamation mark. Unbroken bonds gives you a shot at Charizard. Set this on the box behind me. So there's a few Charizards. What else gives you a shot at Charizard? Anything else? I think that's all of them. These three modern sets will give you a chance at the Zard. Unbroken Bonds, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates. When you get time, can we see what's in my baggie? I haven't seen it in weeks. Weeks, I say. Sam, 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 Sam. Where would you be? You'd be in this pile, Sam. Shu, Toxicity, C. Shintani, Taz, Sam H. More Peko. Ooh, Lapras Secret Rare. Snorlax, Sekrom, Stone Journer. If you guys ever have like a decent full art that you don't want, maybe you're not a fan of it, you can always try to trade it for more packs with me, okay? Okay, toss this over here. Now let's see. What do we got? Sergio E, one hidden face booster pack, please. Pick a lucky pack for me. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Lucky pack number one. Good luck, mister. Snip. How's the rocket mystery going? It's almost over, I believe. There's one, two, three, four, five, six spots left. So it's more than halfway done anyways. Medium spot, sir. Medium spot, nice choice. Ah, no luck on the Hidden Fates pack. Jesse and James, Jesse and James. Sorry, Sergio. Oops, what's this? This isn't supposed to be here. He says no! <laughs> How's that? Small mystery, one medium. Tyler H. would like a medium spot. Let's get this for Tyler. Here you go, Tyler. Good luck. That's pretty close to ending, too. So the medium's almost done. Silver Chris, too small, one medium. All right. Cosmic, I need Rosa. Silver Chris. Is that cheese? Oh, that's Ryoma. <laughs> Sounds like something cheese would say. Because he's a huge simp. Eleven and twelve. There we go. Five fates collide, please. Five fates collide? Heck yeah. So for Ryoma, Cosmic, I need Rosa. Cosmic, I need Rosa. Let's get it. He needs the Rosa. One med one small, sir, please. Good old Cosmic. So there's a rare Charizard in Cosmic too, huh? Yeah, there is. I can show it to you, too, if you want. He goes for about $450 as a 10. It's called Charizard Brixen. It's a real nice-looking card. I actually like it better than the uh, Unbroken Bonds Charizard. Charizard Reshiram, I feel like Charizard Reshiram is kind of boring when you look at it. All right, here we go. Cosmic. Three, four. What do we got? All right, starting out with the trainer card. There's a trainer art. SM Cosmic Eclipse, five for thirty dollars for John Brighton. Please open online for me if you can. Heck yeah, man. Nice picking up the Venusaur Snivy GX. So far, your packs have two hits. Two packs, two hits. Let's keep it that way. Pack number three. Too small. This is going to be. Oh, you got the secret rare, and it is. It's Flygon. Well, it's not Rosa, but it is a secret rare Pokemon. Uh, Flygon, huh? Let's see what he looks like on the back. He looks really clean. He is looking a little off-center on this side, okay? But uh, actually, that's pretty good. That's probably a strong nine at least for that Flygon. Let's see what's next. Three, four. We'll get another box of Cosmic cracked open. Make sure that people feel like they got a shot at a good card. Next pack. Three, four. Dude, pulling two secret rares? Hashtag Pokey Blessed. Yeah, we'll definitely get that second box cracked open. Don't worry, guys. 
Pokey Blast, dude. Two golden card, two, uh, I'm sorry, secret rare cards in the span of five packs. Four of your five packs were hits, man. What the heck? That's some good luck. That's some good luck right there on those packs. You probably made some money. Legit. If you were to, you know, do all the work of getting them graded and then get them sold. <laughs> you can take all your PSA cards, put them straight into auction, and they'll liquidate, guys, you know? Somebody will buy them off of eBay. Who's next? Uh, Zach. Zach Schindler. Five Fates Collide. Heck yes. Where's my Fates Collide? Got it under the table, actually. Two, three, four, five. Perfect. Perfect number. Did I missed any? Good. Pokey Chef. Pokey Chef says, I'm Zach. Nice. Good luck on your pools. Three, four. So, last time we opened up Fates Collide, it was a little cold. Hopefully, these are hotter. We're still waiting to find Lugia in this set. Three. You got something. Genesect EX. Nice. Next pack. What do we got next? That's going to be green. So I think on the green card, you can still get a break card. That's going to be Whimsicott. Next pack. Two, three. Damn you, Rosa. Ooh, you got Reverse Hollow Mew. And you also got Regirock EX. Damn you, Rosa. Rosa. There we go. Two, three. Helix Fossil Ammonite. Last pack. Mary says I'm simping. How's it going, Mary? Nice. You actually pulled a break card as well. There's the Amistar break. Looking like he's made out of like a... He's like a gold trophy. That's what it looks like. Kind of a strange uh, design, don't you guys think? Those break cards are pretty strange. All right. So you actually got four hits out of that, huh? And this is for Zach. Zach, I think you're new. Nice to meet you, Zach. I would remember a Zach Schindler. Zach Schindler. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, there we go. First three, first three letters of your last name. Who's next? Von Doom! One medium, one small. You got it, Von Doom. We'll put Von Doom right here at number two. How about that? For my baby boy. What? John Bright, Sword and Sun and Moon Cosmic Eclipse, 5 for 30. John Bright, please open online for me. Sounds good. Do you mean on TikTok? What do you mean by online? We got fresh boxes of cosmic. Let's crack it open. He means here, right? Why would he why would he specify online? There we go. Five fates collide and rocket mystery. Fates collide, rocket mystery. Heck yeah, man. Fates collide. One, two, three, four. And five. Should I open a whole box of Fates Collide for myself right now? I'm still curious about that set myself. I want the Alakazam for that set. That guy looks cool. I like the way he looks. All right. Pack number one is going to get you a lone Persian. Pack number two. That's Cradilly. Pack number three. Two medium. Two medium. Four. One. 
Weavile. Oh my gosh, we got Weavile. Look at that Weavile. That looks perfectly centered. Nice. You know what? We're running low on Cosmic. I'm tempted to open a box of Cosmic as well. That's Stoutland and Venusaur Snivy. All right. Well played. Two GXs and a Trainer Art. Very good. Hot pulls. Take a look who that was for again. Give me a moment. That was for John Bright. John Bright. You're not Bright 5 by chance, are you? Are you Bright 5? There's a guy named Bright Five. John Brigitte. There we go. John is a J. We're putting it right in the J box. Who's next? Hawaii says too small. You got it, Hawaii. Thirty-five and thirty-six for Hawaii. Right, oh my, damn you, Rosa! <laughs> you pulled two hits and no Rosa. Come on, man. Come two on, man. Two small mysteries, please. Two small mysteries. One, two, three, four, and a five. Good luck, right, Oma. Ryoma. That's going to be green. Togo tomorrow. Pack number two. Pack number two, huh? What do we got here? Oh, man. How are you having so much luck? You pulling Cynthia Caitlin too? Jesus. Oh, my gosh. Power Plant, Flygon, Cynthia, Caitlin, and 10 packs, guys. Jeez. There's a winning streak. Holy. Throw this over here. Oh, my gosh. We got Tag Call. And last but not least, what do we got here? Three, four. Armaldo. Okay. Jesus. I'm not seeing any comments. Let me go ahead and update my... Hey, there we go. There we go. The comments... Mr. TCC, how was your night? First off, and I saw one listing for unknown for around $100. Yeah, I saw that too. On eBay, can I please get five small four for me and one for my girl, Reef Cards. She is new to... You're she... live. What? Wink, nudge, nudge. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Wink, wink, nudge, 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 wink. <laughs> So I can understand if you want to uh, donate Cynthia Caitlin. I won't hold it against you. Let's go ahead and toss that in here. Dude, that's a good pull. Nice job, man. Definitely making some money there. I got sneeze, man. Rose, I swear to oh God, to <coughs> show up. Sneeze time. Who's next? Mary Kay. What's up, Mary? PSA 2 Gardevoir Sylveon for my baby boy. Cheese, please, mister. The PSA 2 Gardevoir Sylveon for cheese. Let me see if I can find that. We got a... That's nine. Look at this Marnie. Dude, I bet that Marnie's worth a lot now. Hey, this was my old Sylveon. So that's some of your PSA cards that are just sitting over here. Let's see if I can find a different bag. That's JC. That's JC. That's JC. Mary, are you sure that I didn't already ship that one? I feel like that would have probably been the one that I shipped. Um, what do we got over here? Oh, this oop, this is what the Unbroken Bonds Charizard looks like. See, I think he's kind of boring to look at in this one. Flareon 2 for cheese. So cheese already has that one. No, no, you have one that I didn't buy. Did you buy it or did somebody else buy it? Mary, I haven't seen that card in a long time. The uh, the Gardevoir Sylveon. I think that something happened to it. I think somebody else might have bought it or you bought it and already shipped it. Let me let me look again. My mind my mind's thinking of it like it definitely should be gone, that card. Let me see if I can find another bag for you. That's JC, JC. 
JC. Guard of War Sylveon 2, huh? Well, we just went through your bag. I saw it last night. What are you talking about? Yeah, that weird PSA 2 Guard of War Sylveon. I thought somebody bought it instantly. I thought somebody bought it the day I showed it off. That's what my brain seems to tell me. How many spots left? Mines, sir, give them a random PSA. I can give them... Well... Hmm. You know what you ought to do, Mary? You ought to, uh... You ought to take your time, and I'll find one that I think Cheese will like. And I'll tell you to, to gift that one to him. How about that? Would that be a good idea? Yeah, give me a minute to find one he will like. But, uh... I'm going to keep the stream moving. Streamlabs is filling up. I'm pretty sure that PSA 2 Gardevoir, somebody bought it from me right away. And I don't think it was you. I thought it was somebody else. But maybe I'm maybe I'm remembering it wrong. I know I shipped one card off to you, but I can't remember which one it was. Let's see. Vicious says, Five Fates Collide and Rocket Mystery. So let's get this first. Here you go, Vicious. Number six, vicious. And then the fates collide, huh? Excited to get this open. Mary says, my simpin' failed. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mary. Mary, I think what happened was you asked for it and somebody else had already bought it or something. I can't remember. Has that PSA card I shipped you arrived yet? I, sh I shipped you one PSA to test your address so that I wouldn't ship you your whole group of PSA cards because that would be real risky. Rama said, yes, mister, someone bought it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Mary says, nothing's arrived. Okay, thank you, Mary. I have some cards I sent all the way out to Amsterdam. They just came back. <laughs> I was expensive to ship that, but uh, he was asking me, like, where's my package? And it finally came back. Actually, I have a piece of damaged mail to open. Uh, I want to make sure that it actually has whatever it is I ordered inside of it. Okay, here we go. And this is for, once again, this is for, where are we? <laughs> this is for Vicious. All right, good luck, Vicious. May you pull the loogie. There we go. That's going to be, <coughs> excuse me, that's going to be carbine break. Next pack. Oops. I need that slow poke, slow poke and side up though, for sure. Snubble, Mr. Mime. Did I do that right? Yeah, I did. Next pack. Pack number three. Two, three. That's going to be Binacle Amistar. Pack number four. Mandibuzz, Explode. And come on, last pack luck. Oh, it's a white pack. Let's see what it is. Oh, good. Nice. Glaceon EX. Nice, dude. Beautiful. There you go. So this is another one of the cards in the Fates Collide set that made me go, we should get Fates Collide. Check it out. That's Glaceon EX. Oops. Place these over here. Place these over here. So vicious. I think I need a new bag for you. Let's see. Where's the fet? Nope. No, I don't. You got a bag. Here we are. And we're all done taking care of vicious. Thank you very much, vicious. Who's next? Hawaii says two mediums. You got it, Hawaii. Two mediums. All right. Chris Finchie wants one medium. Jessica E, too small. Wow, the, the uh, mystery repack games are real popular. I guess it kind of makes sense. We had all these cool PSA returns come in, and now there's so many cool cards to uh, give out. Five eights collide, please, and thanks. Your boy, Russ. How was your first night? 
how is your night first off? And I saw one listing for unknown for a hundred. Can I please get five small for me and one for my girl reef cards? All right, one for creep cards. Let's do it. So I'm going to put reef cards over here. Reef cards. And then four for Russ. Let's go one, two, three, four. All right, so I just extended this up by four. Who is next? Ra Oma. Rosa, I swear to Pokey God, you better show up. Let's see if we can get Rosa to show up. It will be the perfect night. Come on, Rosa. Secret Rare Charizard would be nice, too. One, two. Three, four. And five. What do we have? Pack number one. Trap inch. That's green. One medium mystery. One medium mystery, he says. That's cricket tot. Pack number three is actually going to be green. Two, three, four. Whoops. Reverse hollow. Sylveon. What? Do, 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 do. Gonna have to drink more energy drink, I think. I'm thirsty. Oh, there we go. There's the white back. We're gonna need a hit out of this, please. Three, four. Oh, those were really cold that time. I'm sorry. You got a hollow wishy-washy. Well, that's why your pulls weren't good that time, because it had wishy-washy in it. Mother fricker. Frickin' wishy-washy. Every time he shows up. Every time he shows up. Wishy-washy comes in and he says, Meh. And then you, all your pulls turn rotten. <laughs> That, is, that can't be a coincidence. Every time we run into wishy-washy, the pulls are typically not that good. <laughs> Did I get the last two met John Bright? Tyler H., Unified Minds. Guys, there's a bit of a line. So if, if you don't see your cards getting pulled, it's because there's a bit of a line, okay? Tyler H., good luck on your Unified Minds. Tyler, did you tip me? Or is Unified really that expensive? I don't remember. Looks like Tyler might have left me a tip. I know Unified's gotten more expensive. Small mystery. Small mystery. There we go. Two, three, four. We got a white back. What do we got? That's Hollow Terrakian. Next pack. That's also a white back, so this is definitely... That'll be a hit. Oh, nice. You got the Giant Bomb Secret Rare. There you go. I feel like you've already pulled one of these. Next pack. That's going to be green. Hello, and Grimer. Pulling those Secret Rares. Necrozma. And last pack is also white. Let's see what we got here. Wait, did somebody leave me a tip and I didn't even see it? Murkrow Aerodactyl. Let's see what that was. Can I click on it? Can I scroll through the comments? It says somebody left me three bucks. I didn't even I didn't even see that. I can't see it. Weird. Was it censored? Maybe it was like censored. It says that somebody sent me a super chat for three bucks, but I don't see it at all. Cosmic Eclipse and throw in the ball, please and thank you. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. So this is going right over to Tyler H. Wait, Tyler has a box. <laughs> okay, let's re go ahead and reassemble this real fast. <laughs> Here, Tyler, have some bonus bulk. Tyler, you have a you have a bulk box. My bad. You gotta remind me, okay? If you got a bulk box, you gotta remind me, cause uh. Each time, because I will forget. That's how bad I am. I do not. My I mentally do not spend any energy keeping track of the uh, the priority mailboxes. I don't use any memory space for that. I forget it after I've seen them, like instantly. There you go, Tyler. And this is your bulk. Let me go ahead and wrap this up for you. 
Unified mind screens. Hopefully get some pulse versus all the shining legends. XD when I grow. Up I want to be as lucky as Von Doom. Mr. <laughs> I grow up, I want to be as lucky as Von Doom. <laughs> we all want to be that lucky. <laughs> Who's next? Tyler H. Hawaii says Crimson. All right, we got somebody buying some of the Crimson. Give me a moment. Good luck on your pulls, mister. Hey, we got 100 viewers. How cool is that? We're breaking 100 more consistently, I'd say. So definitely the audience has grown. And five. Toss this over here. This is going to be a much more fun stream than yesterday. Yesterday was a shipping stream. The shipping streams are always, they're slower, you know, and I'm working. So I don't, I don't talk as much. You got like the tape sound in the background, right? But this is a regular stream. This is our go hard stream. <laughs> go deep or go home. Let's see. Pump Kaboo, Starmy, Crimson Eclipse. We're looking for Secret Rare Gyarados. Come on, Gyarados. So that's a green pack. Come on, we need a white pack. We need a white pack. There's a white pack right there. Let's see what we get. We got something. Some kind of GX. A lone executor. GX. That's right. Lone executor is in here. Shuckles in here, right? Shuck no, he's the Lost Thunder. Shuckles in Lost Thunder. That's another white pack. Let's see what we got in the second white pack. Now that's just going to be hollow. Hollow Xerneas, though. That looks pretty cool. So just one GX for this round. Not too bad. Better than if it was purely cold pulls, right? Okay, and that was for... That was for Hawaii. Here you go, Hawaii. Hawaii, Hawaii. Going deep, huh? After Hawaii, we have Gus S. Five Fates Collide, please, and thank you. All right, Five Fates Collide. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Good luck, Gus. Best card in this set. What do you guys think the best card is? That's a question I'm asking myself. I really like that Alakazam card. Look at this Tyranitar. I even like this. I would I would consider grading this just to have them. I'm that big of a fan of Tyranitar. Huge Tyranitar simp over here. Look at that. The comment section cut out again. What happened? I'm not getting any comments from you guys. Jesus. Mr. Hawaii has a box. Oh, dude, my, my comment section is like, it's, it's the app. I, I didn't, I just now got that comment. Let me think about it. Hawaii has a box. What did he open? He opened up Crimson. Okay. He just finished opening up Crimson. I think I can still save it, okay? Give me a moment. The comment section keeps cutting out. I don't know what happens. I know it has to be cutting out. It has to be an, an issue they're having on their app. Here's Arduino. M Arduino, huh? Last pack. How's it going, Pokey Pathway? Ooh, that's another white back. What's it going to be? That's going to be Glaceon EX. Look at that little smile on his face. What? That is a legit pokey smile right there. So wait a second. Don't let me touch that. We're looking for... That's a fly. We're looking for Hawaii's Crimson. Is that right? Was this Crimson? I can't tell. I think this is Crimson. So this might be Crimson. And these are probably Crimson. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to throw this together for Hawaii. How do I get a box, says John Bright. You can do a math calculation and purchase a whole box. Uh, or you could play the medium game. This is the medium game. It's $10 per spot, uh, per, per repack. It's $10 per repack. Uh, those are the two ways, I'd say. I priced the cards five at a, five at a time. Mary asking you to time out someone. Can you please time them? I sure she has a good reason. What happened? Who's, who needs timing out? I missed it. What happened? 
Guys got to remember my eyeballs are on the cards. They already got timed out. Oh, okay, cool. Who's next? So this is for Gus. Gus, you're going to get a new bag. Nice job pulling the Glaceon. You know, it was crazy, guys. We streamed for 10 hours yesterday, and the app did not crash even one time. Isn't that wild? Crimson. Crimson? What? So after Gus, we have Steven Lopez. I like one of each mystery and a rocket mystery. Wow. Okay, Steven. One large mystery investment pack, please. Stephen Lop. You're going to be going by Stephen Lop. Stephen Lop. There you go. That's the medium. Here's the small. Stephen Lop. There you go. Uh, and the large. Stephen Lop. Actually, let me make sure your math was right as well. That's There's a bit of math involved in that. And I didn't even look at how much. So for one of each, it would be 20 plus 20 plus 10 plus 5. Nice. All right. Then we have John Bright. Two medium for John Bright. We only have room for one medium. I'm going to put John Bright here. And uh, we could give him another spot and have another prize in here. John Bright, I'm just going to owe you a spot. I don't think that's fair to everyone else. Let's go ahead. I'm not going to add another prize to it either this time. It's really just one. It's for one box, so we're not going to add a second prize. So on the next round, John Bright, I'll throw you into the next game. Two small spots, Mr. Sir. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. 16, 17, 18. All right, that's 18. Let me recount. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Perfect. And now we're going to take one of these little cards right here. I'm going to scribble on it. No looking, no looking, no looking. Sweet. Sweet. One, two, 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 one, two. Oops. Now we split the deck. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. My fingers are going so fast. That's what she said. All right, there we go. Where's Das Boot? Das Booten. Das Boot lands on a 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and we put the other one on the rest of it on top, effectively inverting half the deck and splitting it in half. We've got John on one. No luck, John. Von Doom. Nope. Three, four, five. Oops. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14. Oh, 14 for Sam H. Sam H. Sam H. You're the winner. Look at that. <laughs> Sam H on 14. Congratulations. Is Sam here? He was here earlier. He was like, what's in my bag? Sam H, the winner of the medium. He's like, holy shit. This is yours, Sam now, I can ship this to you whole, totally wrapped up, or I can open it right now. You tell me what you want. I'm here. Do I count? I'm getting the next one ready. Sam, you make a decision to open it here or to save... The comment section cut out again. I'm sure of it. What? Why is it cutting out so much? I'm getting no comments. Hold on. Let me see if I can fix it. Something weird, man. All right. We're going to put John back in. John Bright. I'm putting you on number five. Crack open and give me bulk. Sounds good. 
All right, John Bright, you are on the next card. The next card is for Rebel Clash. Large and two small in different spots, please, mister. So this is for Sam. Good luck, Sam. I want to share my wealth. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I opened it up, and they all went flying, dude. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> let, me let me fix this. Hold on. This will just take me a minute. I, I had a good grip on them, I thought. But actually, I think my grip was too strong. And what happened was, because the pile is so fat, right? The pile of cards is so fat the center of the pile started to like squeeze out like this and it did that and I launched them. <laughs> so I had a tight grip and I think the grip was too tight. That's what, all right, no sexual jokes. Let's just clean this up. I'm so sorry. We got to count these up, make sure we got 36 of them. <laughs> PSA will return with no grade. Oh, come on. They're fine. They're in, they're in foil and the, the, the rare cards in the middle anyways, they don't put the rare card on the ends. They didn't actually go flying that far either. They just plopped on the table, if anything. Let me make sure there's like none way back here. Yeah, I think actually one went way back here. Give me a second. Anywhere else? My cat's like, what are you doing? Oh, I found a pack of uh, Fates Collide. Weird. There we go. <laughs> All right. That's going to slow us down a little bit. Let's see how many packs we got here. Watch this. We'll be missing one pack. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So that's 18. That's half. <laughs> one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. They're all here. Jesus. <laughs> when I lost, when I, I like squeeze it. It was a, it's like all the the middle contents of your of your tomato sandwich or whatever just flying out. Your hamburger. It's like gripping a hamburger too hard. That's what it was like. All right. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Ten more likes to get giveaway. Heck yeah. Giveaway night. What? 30, 36 greenbacks coming. That's exactly right. Yeah, it's like when you have a, a large sandwich, right? And you grab it, and then, like, the tomato comes out from between the bread. That's exactly what they did here. That's why I lost my grip. So I got to remember that for next time. Eating a hamburger with coffee. Blah, 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 blah. What the, what the. Oh, could you blame me? Look how, look how tall these stacks are though. Look, that's a thick stack. That's dummy thick. <laughs> you guys, I wish you could have seen it from my point of view too. They just kind of like, it's like a man who couldn't hold in his diarrhea anymore. They just went pfft. I can't believe I won for four ten. Oh, for ten dollars. I see what you're saying. Sam got one spot in the game and won the game. See, so you don't have to go real deep on these games. I think that can be really expensive. It can also be really disappointing if you don't win. But if you had like one spot in the game, that's the best way to win, in my opinion. Win on win on one spot, and you didn't really spend any money. Well, you did, but you spent such a small fraction that the uh, that the excitement of winning is larger. You're like, no way. 10 bucks, whole booster box? Hell yeah. Here we go. You ready? Did you ever accidentally cut the cards? Yeah, actually, uh, I cut the card by accident for the first time, like, last week. But uh, normally I never do. Here's what I'm going to do, actually. If, the, if there's a greenback, it's just going to stay in the pack, actually. 
Oh, this is much harder than it looks. Here, let's take the coat off. There it goes. We're gonna leave the greenbacks in the pack. That's green. Green. Oh, that's that's gonna be white. We're gonna sort it out just like we did last time. Rip Metapod. That's like three white backs in a row. White, green, green, green. That's green. Okay. Sam H, you're gonna have a heavy bag now. If I can get 12,000 packs, can I swim into the packs like a pool party? Yeah, it'd kind of like be jumping into a block of wood, wouldn't it, though? Because that's what paper's made out of. That's what cardboard's made out of. Wouldn't be a fun swim at all, actually. Probably hurt. You'd probably walk on them fully. They're not that liquid. <laughs> Next, that's green. Green. Green, green, that's green, green, white, green, there we go, that's white, green, white, 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 oh, that's a lot of white backs, green, 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 and green. Oh, Scrooge McDuck jump, jumping into his vault of gold, who's old enough to remember that? Some of you guys are old enough. God, I love that scene. Love that scene. It, there's something so hedonistic about it. It's hard to it's hard to describe, isn't it? Sam H. He's like me. I'm old. I'm gonna have another sip of my drink here. You guys ready? So the whole box boils down to these hot cards. Pack number one. Toxapex Arcanine. Pack number two. Actually, I can just do this, can I? An upside down card. Upside down Incineroar. Three in the small mystery, please, John Bright. John Bright. What's up, John Bright? Crocodile, another hollow rare. <laughs> another upside down GX. Primarina, we see a lot of Primarina in this set, so weird. Not my favorite GX card at all. I don't think there's a lot of boys going, oh man, I gotta have Primarina. We got Rangaru. Another upside down GX. That's Tauros. Come on, full arts. Where's the full arts? I'm ready for the full arts. <laughs> oh my god. There's Lapras GX. Nice. It's a decent one. Yo, TCC, you just want me to KMS. No, no, come on. Nah, -uh. come on. Let's see. We got Hollow Shenotic. Ooh, what do we have here? We have Team School Grunt Full Art. Nice. All right. Oh, looking really clean, actually. That might have a shot at a 10. Next pack. Three, four. Let's get two Full Arts. Tan Sam says, hey, check it out. You got the Umbreon GX. Nice. He looks well-centered on the front. Let's check the back. Yeah, that looks pretty clean, too. You might get a 10 on the Umbreon. Both of those are real solid. People love Umbreon. They simp for him, right? Here's Decidueye GX. Hmm. So you might not get too full arts. You got too many GXs there. Let's see what the last pack is. Ha ha. One full art in the whole box. We do see that from time to time, especially with the older sets. 
one full art. But that's okay. It was Team School Grunt. I think that's actually pretty decent. And you end up picking up the Umbreon GX. And they're both pretty well centered. That's, believe it or not, that's pretty good. Believe it or not. When your cards in a set come out well centered, uh, those are the ones you make money on. And the reason because the reason for that is because people will buy PSA 10 cards pretty easily, especially if you go down on the price. Um, but they will not buy PSA 9s quite as easily. You lose a lot of money once it's a 9. Sometimes the value cuts in half. If it's a popular Pokemon, it will cut roughly in half. If it's an unpopular Pokemon, it will cut far below that. So it's not too bad, Sam. Not too bad. Let me go ahead and toss these off to this side. Okay, there we go. Not too bad. Oh, that's going to fall over. Can't have that falling over. All right, we're almost ready to continue working on the Streamlabs. So there's definitely a line at this point, guys. Let me find Sam's bag. Tyler H. Sam H. Remember, Sam, if you're looking for a trade, you can also offer to make a trade. Who's next? The next person is... Where were we? <laughs> so we reset the medium. It was John Bright. He was the last one in. Yeah, he wanted two medium mysteries. We took care of that. Then we have Mike Ben, who would like one medium mystery. All right, Mike. Sorry if I'm not reading the comment section too carefully. There's so much going on. John Bright, he says, did I get the last two medium? John Bright. John Bright, you got one medium in one of the games and a medium in the second game. Either way, you would have lost because Sam H won on like, he was like halfway through. You would have lost either way. Asian Tim says, small mystery. Here you go, Asian Tim. Asian Tim. Your boy, Russ. Are you in the UK? Shoe game unbeaten. Five cosmic eclipse and throw in the bulk, please, and thank you. Sounds good, shoe game. Shoe game. Sounds like the best game. Shoe game and bulk. How's the small? Very close to the end on the small. And the rocket mystery. They're both close to the end. I've... Something exciting about the small mystery game now is that every time we're going to run it, we're going to have one person win a spot in the large. So the large is always going to be counting down. For small mystery, thanks. Here we go. Cosmic Equips. Aw, where'd Quick Quip go? She's in the other room. She's probably playing with her virtual headset. She got a virtual headset. So Galio Hollow, huh? Oh, wait a second. No, that's a white back, so there wouldn't be a uh, trainer card in it. All right, no trainer art in that one. There could be a trainer art in this one, though. Yes, there is. Coughing trainer art. Looking really nice. I don't have that one. I want it. Okay, next pack. What do you do when a package says delivered, but you didn't receive it? Freak out, basically. There's not a lot you can do, unfortunately. I looked it up. There's not a lot you can do. When a package says delivered and it did not actually arrive, it's lost, uh, places like eBay will rule against you if you try to say that you never received the item. It's really terrible. Okay, coughing Nagana del Guzzlord. And here's your book for shoe game. He says, no, I do not live in the UK, mister. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> what? Russ has the perfect winks. So this is going to say uh, shoe game. Shoe game. And shoe game, I think you're still on the table. So let me see if I can just add this. Not bad, shoe game. You got two pulls out of five packs. Not bad. Here you are. Hey, you got the Nagana Dell Secret Rare and the Nagana Dell GX. Very cool. That's some BS. What? I found two trainer arts and white bags today. Question mark. Uh, what's going on, Tyler H? You have a uh, you have a booster box where the code card colors are not correct. I, I run into those with Cosmic all the time. So what's next? Sam H. 
See Shintani. Unified minds. Hopefully get some pulls versus all the Shining Legends. When I grow up, I want to be as lucky as Von Doom. Good luck, See Shintani. Look at those unified minds. Unified minds. As lucky as Von Doom. I don't think that's possible. He's been waiting 28 minutes for me to do this. Man, we get backed up. We really do. What does the large mystery get? There is a secret rare PSA 10 Mewtwo test tube from Shining Legends. That card has been selling like crazy. If you go on eBay, I think the cheapest one is $700 right now. And it's not $700 just sitting there unsold. They keep selling. Can we go back in time and I can trade the Sun and Moon base set box for a sword? <laughs> Uh, you know, if, if people wanted to trade boxes, that would be something I'm open-minded to, actually. Yeah, so if you get a certain box and you want a different box, you can request it. I can't guarantee you that I'll make the trade, um, but you can definitely request it. Look at that, Garchomp Giratina. For example, most of the time, whatever box you get, you can trade that box with... Uh, the two would be Crimson Invasion and Rebel Clash. So whatever box you want to open... Or whatever box you win in the medium, if you tell me, hey, I want Re I want Rebel Clash, or hey, I want Crimson Invasion, there's a very good chance I'll make that trade with you. Here we go, next pack. These are Unified Minds for C. Shintani. Good luck, mister. You've already pulled the Garchomp Giratina. Come on, he's got another white back here. This is a chance for a full art. Let's see what he gets. It is a full art. Oh, I think you're about to have good luck, man. Mewtwo and Mew Full Art, dude. That's one of the best cards in the set. That's like top five, I'm pretty sure. Mewtwo, Mew Full Art. Nice. This is the card people want from this set. How's it look? It really doesn't look that bad on the back, but I want to say maybe a little thicker here than here. And when you look on it on the front, that's kind of similar. It looks a little tight on this edge versus that edge, but it's really not too bad. Maybe the top versus the bottom, though, is a little bit off. Really nice. Hopefully a 10. May, I think it's more likely to pull a 9, though. Really beautiful, though. Wow. Great job. So, C. Shintani. Let's get this in your bag. Change E. Sean Cow. Select figure. Oh, man. We got too many S's. Toxtricity. C. Shintani. Yeah, you had some tough luck with Shining Legends. It's kind of interesting because you open up a little bit of Unified Minds and instantly have good luck. That's just how it goes sometimes, isn't it? You can't really control your luck. That's why it's luck rather than skill. <laughs> okay, who's next? Blastoise Buddy, 20 bucks. So Blastoise Buddy donated 20 bucks, but he didn't say what he wanted to do with it. Blastoise, you still here? Small mystery. Blastoise Buddy did not define what he wanted to do with the 20 bucks. Five Crimson Invasion. All right, so. When Blastoise Buddy tells me what to do with the 20 bucks, I'll get that done. Let's move to the next one. Mike Ben, Five Lost Thunder. Good luck, Mike Ben. Two, three, four, five. And just double check. Okay, so we are now sold out of Lost Thunder. Lost Thunder is sold out. There were four packs left which means I can't make a, a final round of five. Sold out of Lost Thunder. Here we go. Mike, Ben, good luck. Snip. Maybe I'll just open them for myself. I don't know. Toss this over here. Yeah, I know. I know. I know it is. That's Tapu Coco. That's a white back. What do we get? Giratina, he looks pretty cool. Do you think Darkness of Blaze will be interesting? Yeah, it'll be pretty cool. I want that secret rare Eternatus. What are the gold cards in, in uh, Darkness of Blaze? Does anyone know? 
Next pack. That's green. I gotta pull my own secret rare shuckle. That's green. Ooh. Very tough luck, Mike. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mister. That's pretty tough. Let's get you all your reverse hollows, though. Mike, Ben. I feel like I might have shipped you out. Put you on the table. So this is Raul. He goes in here. I was about to ship Raul out, but then the labels, the label printer stopped. Jaquez and Lewis just have really thick bags. Uh, that means Mike does need a fresh bag. Here you go, Mike, Ben. Getting you a fresh bag. Means you got some cards on the way, Mike. Salamence, Butterfree, Eternatus, I believe. Yeah, but what are the what are the golden cards? The golden secret rares. Mike, Ben. There you go, Mike. And uh, you know what? I'll go ahead and open the last four packs. I don't have five, so I can't really sell them off. Probably all garbage as well. But who knows? Maybe there was an extra hot card in the box. Probably not. I've noticed these old Sun and Moon boxes really were not that generous. All right, we're going to have to take this out to know. Oh, that is actually a hit. Watch it just be a hollow. Let's see what it is. Verizian. Oh, the Meganium's nice, though. Ah, but he's off-center. Into the bulk you go. <laughs> if he could grade like a 10, that would be nice. Then I'd sell him as a 10 Meganium from Lost Thunder, but uh, he's not going to grade a 10. What's, what's this? Hey, I actually pulled a card I wanted. How cool. I got a Tyranitar GX. Nice. Big big Tyranitar simp over here. I was trying to pull him last night in the Neo... Neo 2s, and uh, I didn't get one. Oh, that looks really clean. That might be a 10. Perfect. Well, I'm satisfied. That's green. When do you when you ship, do you wait to fill a bag box first or just when you get to the shipping day? It's when I get to the shipping day. That's what happens. Because I don't want to hold on to people's cards indefinitely. That would be too crazy. Uh, so it is when I get to the shipping days. And, oh, wow, one, one more white bag. Let's see what this is. What do we got here? Just uh, Ariados Top of Finney. All right, so there was no additional full art in the box, but I'm happy enough with my Tyranitar GX. And uh, I don't really care about Verizian GX, but we'll put them over here anyways. All right. Wow, I'm so pleased. I got my Tyranitar out of that box. Perfect. And, it, and it's well-centered. That's, uh, that's good luck. That might be like a $50 card if I'm lucky. The golds are Rillaboom and Colossal. Right. I remember that now. Thank you, Deathbath Nation. He is correct, people. Rillaboom and Colossal. Golden Zora Magdaros. We definitely got to pick that one up. That guy looks awesome. So let's see. We're done with Mike Ben and myself. I took a round. Hawaii says Crimson. He wants two rounds of Crimson. You got it, mister. Mr. Sir, Mr. Sir, Mr. Sir, Sir, Mr. You got it. How long has he been waiting for that? 28 minutes is amazing. 28 minutes he's been waiting. So here's one round and another round, right? Give me a moment. Three, four, five. Two rounds. Good luck, Hawaii. Hawaii's like, well, I'm having some good luck tonight. Double down. Wait, is, is Hawaii having good luck? I feel like he is. I'm trying to remember. Who's having the best luck tonight? Ryoma had really good luck. He pulled like three full arts in 10 packs. And one of them was Cynthia Caitlin, which is insanely desirable. I'll pull my Tyranitar. I'm so lucky. How much will Sword and Shield Darkness Ablaze boxes be? $2. Let's see. What do we got? Gastrodon. Hollow Agron. That's pretty cool. I like Agron. I wish we had an Agron full art. Don't you guys wish we had that? That's going to be a green back. Hawaii's got a box. Hawaii's got a box. Got to remember this stuff. Hawaii's got a box. So you get all your bulk, Hawaii. That's how this works. You can have your codes, too, if you want me to hide them, okay? Uh, that's green. That's green. We know that the green backs won't have anything in them. So we can skip the whole pack. That's white. Here we go. We're, we're hoping for a hit with the white back. You ready? And it's going to be a low and right you hollow. Not really a hit, in my opinion. That's green. So far cold, mister. 
Come on, we need some last pack luck here. That's green. We got two packs left. Both white backs, both secret rare. That's green. Oh, man, these are really handling you right now. Last pack. Come on, we cannot have bad luck here. Oh, that's rough, mister. That's very rough. I tell you what, I'm going to be your best friend. What do I got that I can share with you? Oh, wow. How many of these do I have? Raichu's. Here, take a Charizard. Oh, my God, man. That was tough to watch. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Hawaii. And I think I'm going to take a minute. I'm going to move this off to his bag. Because the sidebar is getting pretty full. We got any other? I'm sure I got some others. Ow. Some others I can move. That's Scratch. Yeah, he's got another one I can move to, to this one. Okay. Give me a moment, guys. I'll be right back. Ooh, standing up's a good thing, too, because I've been sitting too long. I've already been sitting too long. How long has the stream been so far? One hour? We're on our first hour. First out of ten. You know what I think I've earned, guys? I think I've earned myself a little, a little treat. I earned myself a pokey treat. So we'll put that Charizard in there. There you go, Hawaii. It's not like a huge constellation kind of, uh, wait. I think I'm saying it's a little bit of a constellation price. I got my Lifesaver gummies. Look at this. Mmm. All right. You gotta have a little snack when you're working. Two medium for Blastoise. Sounds good. Thank you. There we go. Okay. Danny A, one large mystery investment pack, please. How's it going, Danny A? Nice to meet you. Danny's new. Don't recognize him. Danny A. I almost wrote Dammy. Danny A. All right, you're spot number 14. Look at that. Now it's really moving. We're almost a third. We're almost uh, halfway there, right? Gerard, too small. You got it, Gerard. I think that, in my opinion... The uh, large is a lot more exciting to open. It's actually kind of scary the way vintage booster packs are scary to open. You know what I mean? Blastoise Buddy, large and too small in different spots. All right. There we go. And too small, he says, in different spots. Well, that's getting kind of hard. I guess we'll do that. We'll do blast B blast B. Then we have your boy Russ. One pack of hidden fates for my girl reef cards. All right. Sounds good. Let's get these cards. Don't forget me, mister. <laughs> How's it going, Blastoise, buddy? We got you two packs of medium, one pack in large, and two in some small. Who in the small? What did I just do? Oh my gosh. That looks cold. It is cold. I'm sorry, your boy Russ. That's a very generous gesture or gift for uh, reef cards. But unfortunately, that Hidden Fates pack was, <laughs> it was so cold. So, John Bright, three in the small mystery. John Bright. We only have room for two. John, bring it. Can't really think of a $5 additional price to give out. Um, so it's not going to be given out. John Bright, I owe you a, a small. That's what's going to happen. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. This is a big one. It's a little more expensive. It includes one spot in the large. Alone Ninetales, eight. 
Raichu and Raichu 10. This card goes for a lot and is an in-demand card. Unified Minds. Hidden Fates, Charmeleon 9. There are people putting together PSA 9 collections of the Hidden Fates set. And Eevee Snorlax 9 from Team Up. So we got some 9s. We got this perfect 10. We've got an 8. And a spot in the large. Five rewards. Let's get it moving. Let's get it going. No booster packs? I kind of like it that way, actually. It's, it's kind of annoying having booster packs in the middle of the uh, mystery games because it's like you got to stop, you got to cut them open. Um, they're fun, though, especially when something hot gets pulled, right? So we're going to say nine for nine tails, char for Charmander. We're going to say um, Raichu for Raichu. And what's the last one? The last one is uh, EV for EV Snorlax. Not bad. Some decent nines, a good 10, and an 8. Now we need 40 packs. There's a lot of spots. This one costs a little more, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. Ta da! <laughs> Let me go ahead and load up these packs, these Booster Pie X. So, what if we got to 100 likes? <gasps> 100 likes? That would trigger the Super Omega Ultra giveaway, where I give away one free Charizard every night. <laughs> Without going broke. No, we'd go broke. We'd go broke. Just a thought. Just a T-H-O-T. A T-H-O-T. All right. Moving these around. I like to kind of do a little pre-shuffling. And now we're going to shuffle. The reason I can't do this faster is because my left hand can't really hand them off to my right hand faster. And the reason for that, because the pile's too thick. So I can't hot, I can't start handing them off fa fast until it gets smaller. See, now my, now my other hand can handle them faster. There we go. We're going to split the deck and do it again. Oops. Do Scooby Dooby Doo, Do Booby Doo, Do Booby Dooby Doo, Scooby Dooby Doo, Dooby Dooby. All right, what do we got? <laughs> Dust Boot landed on a two. Wow, just a two, huh? So we got one, two, and the deck is split. You ready? Let's see who walks away with that beautiful right you, right you. Actually, some people probably want the Charmeleon more than the Raichu Raichu. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa, the first ten, no pulls. That's good for the people on the end, right? Eleven, twelve. Oh, there we go. Silver Chris snatching the Raichu right off the bat. <laughs> Silver Chris, sniping the Raichu right off the bat. Was that on 12? All right, make sure I write the right name down. Silver Chris. Oh, my God. Silver Chris, what the? What the? We're going to do a recount to see what number we're on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, here we go. 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 for John Bright. John Bright winning his first game. You ready, John? And it is the Nine Tails. Nice. Picking up the Nine Tails. All right, we're going to get your name on this. John Bright. John Brigitte. <laughs> We're going to do a recount, make sure we're on the right number. I'm a big fan of these recounts. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. We're on 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Russ on 25. Ya boy, Russ. Picking up the Charmeleon on 25. Wow. That's also really valuable. All right, what's left is the Eevee Snorlax, which is actually decent. There he is. Ya boy. 26. 27. 28. 29. 30. <laughs> that would have been crazy if he went on 30. 31. 32. 33. 34. 35. And Hawaii winning on 35. It's not over. There is one more prize. There is one more prize. We're going to write Hawaii down here. And the last prize, of course, is going to be the large spot, valued at $20. 36, 37, and Russ won on 37. The large spot and the large game. Russ sweeping. Russ, I think, got the best deal out of this. Here we go, Russ. Your boy, Russ. Picking up spot 17, and this just keeps moving. Your boy, Russ. Picking up another spot. And it is time to restart the small mystery game with only the coolest cards. Only. Congratulations to the winners. Sorry, everyone else. That is the nature of the game, I'm afraid. Yo! <laughs> Here we go. Now, another round, huh? Let's see what kind of awesome cards I can find. It's a little tricky because I could do like more cards or less cards, um, and that would change that would change like the quality of the cards. Like let's say I just did one really good card, we could do that if we wanted, but then only one person would win. So we're gonna have that probably this. We need a ten. I like to offer one PSA ten card that's really sweet. The hard part is PSA 10 cards get really expensive. Well, this is a decent one. I like this one. So we're going to have that 10. We got to have this guy in here. Look at this guy. <laughs> PSA 1 Blastoise. I love that card. It's so hilarious. I got room for one more card, huh? That's pretty cool. You said throwing a Charizard? You got it, mister. You ready? This is Charizard from Hidden Fates. It's a PSA 9. Here's the 10, Celebi Venusaur. That's a Celebi Venusaur 10 from Team Up. He's actually pretty decent. Scoop Up 9, that's from Rebel Clash. Uh, you know, this is one of the earliest Rebel Clash cards graded. It's not terribly valuable, but don't worry. I won't be marking it as terribly valuable, so it won't take up too many spots. And then the Fortress from Neo 2, a, a true vintage card, but he's only going to be valued at like 25 probably. He's really not too too crazy. So don't worry. The, these, these two cards won't take up too many spots. The Celebi Venusaur and, well, actually, I feel like we could add a fifth card. Let me do let me do some quick math, okay? I'm gonna do some quick math to see if we can fit another one in. What was the Charizard valued at? It says 33 for the Charizard. So we could stop there and there would be 27 spots, which is pretty small. Um, we could fit one more. 27 spots, you say. I say we stop there. Let's get let's get two spots for the large in this time. So we're gonna have two spots for the large. We've got four PSA cards and two spots for the large game. The chase card is this Celebi Venusaur right here. This PSA 10 Celebi Venusaur from Team Up. All right, that's the chase for the small. There's a total of six prizes and a total of. Uh, 31 spots, 31 spots, six prizes.
my job is I'm a professional professional number writer. Thirty one spots right there. And uh let's see. Ooh. Ending in 14 minutes, first edition PSA 10 Shining Charizard from Neo Destiny. I'm so curious to see what that ends on. That's why I saved it. I I'm not bidding on one because I already have one, but I'm curious what he ends on. So I believe we owe John Bright one spot in here, right? John Bright. Small PLZ. John Bright, I'm putting you on 10. So that was the spot I owed you. You are now on 10. And now we return to the list. 28 minutes ago... Gus Esp said, too small. You got it, Gus. One small number 14. Also, I am new. Nice to meet you. I'm giving you 11 and 12, Gus Esp. Silver Chris, one small mystery for me and one for Hawaii. Okay, Silver Chris. Silver Chris, Hawaii. Oh, that's so nice. Gift to Hawaii, huh? John M. Small mystery. You got it, John M. John M's new. I don't recognize his name. John M. Shoe game unbeaten. Wants five Quimson invasions. Shoe game unbeaten. Small time mister. Place this over here. Small time, heck yeah. You ready? Shoe game, good luck. Over under 10,000 for that shiny Zard ending in 13 minutes. Hmm, it's a good question. I think it'll definitely go over. I, I think it'll end just at around 10,000 actually. If it goes for 15, I will be surprised. That will shock me if it goes for 15 actually. That's just so much money. Here we go. $15,000 for a Pokemon card, guys. You want to see the card that we're talking about, everyone? Let me show you the card we're talking about. Four small spots, Charizard. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. That's right. Where's my Charizard box? Quip, Quip stole my Charizards. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Give me a minute, guys. I'm going to show you. Okay, see this card? Take two random small mystery spots, please, and thanks, mister. PSA 10, first edition, Shining Charizard. I'm going to show you guys. He's in an auction right now. He's a pretty prolific card, so it's just kind of interesting to watch him. Gives you, a, gives you an idea. Actually, one more small. Still new. All right. So this is the Zard we're watching. It's the same one on my table. Mine actually has a better certification than this one, so mine's younger than it. You can see the number on this one is uh, 24, which means that it was graded further back. One small one, met good, sir. 302 people watching this. It's a big deal. About 350. So whatever that Charizard sells for, I could pretty reasonably ask for somebody to buy this one at that price. Pretty reasonably. Too small and too small for Silver Chris. Okay, here we go. Let's keep opening these packs, though. These are for... These are for... Shoe Game. You ready, Shoe Game? Yeah, it's an interesting thing because it gives you an impression of how much money is in the community. And it's a lot of money. People underestimate how much money is in the card community. Small mystery, you pick spots, please, and thank you. By the way, I just spent nine hours on your surprise I'm sending you. Nine hours on the surprise? Oh, I'm super excited. Rule 34 shuckle. I knew it. <laughs> we need some last pack luck. Ooh. Oh, it is white back. Come on, full art. Come on, full arts. What is it? What is it? <laughs> well, it, it looks well-centered. Does it? Actually, maybe it's thin on the bottom. I love the mustachio on the alone go golem. Ugh. No, he's terribly off-centered, off, actually. Darn it. Shoe game? I'm going to have to say that was pretty cold. I'm sorry, mister. I'm sorry, mister, mister. Those were not hot. Take your go-goat with you. 
Shoe game, those were cold. Here you go, mister. You like pistachios? Pistachios? Don't be cray cray. Nine minutes left on that auction. I'll let you guys know what it finishes on so you don't have to watch it yourself. Who's next? We took care of sh shoe game, right? Where'd shoe game go? Here it is. Then we have Quentin Small, sir. You got it, Quentin. Quentin wants to be put into this mall. Quentin's a man who's won the small a lot. Small, please, John Bright. Silver Chris, Crimson, and Fates Collide. I have a box. All right, give me a moment. I have a box. LSGX God says, I got four spots for the small. Sounds good, man. Three, four, five. Five more Crimson Invasion. And where'd my face collide go? Oh, oh, it's over here. <laughs> I'm moving it around. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Let me place this over here where it belongs. Oops. Come back. Get this out of here. Here we go. So this is for Silver Chris. He says, I have a box. Mr. TCC, you know what to do for small mystery. You're a boy going in today all day. It's your boy. Wink, nudge, nudge. Wink, wink, nudge, 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 wink, wink. <laughs> it's your boy. Wish you luck. I wish you luck. Ooh, ah. Ooh. A little ritual over the cards there. Now they're now they're in. Now they're especially lucky. My Discord message. Sorry, it's just really important. I will go and read your Discord message when I get to your Streamlabs, okay? So we got Ryolu. What's next? Three. That's gonna be Seal. Come on, face collide. Don't do us don't do us dirty, face collide. That's gonna be the Mew. Recognize it right away. I like the Mew. I wonder if the Mew's valuable graded. I feel like people who are Mew fans would probably buy that graded for like 30 bucks. Three. Team Rocket's handiwork. Last pack. Last pack. Oh, that's rough. That's rough. Del Fox. Pretty cold. Let's try the Crimson Invasion. Maybe they'll treat you better. Starting out green. Hound Hour. You know, I could just do this. It's actually faster for my hands to do this. Como, oh, oh, but then you might be picking up dead codes, and I don't want you to try, and I don't want you to find out they're dead later, so we'll just get rid of them. Holographic Agron. Oh, this is hurting me. Come on, hot cards. Where's those hot cards at? Mancino, last pack. Oh, shoe game and Silver Chris picking up some really cold cards, guys. Hashtag pray to the pokey gods for better luck. I'm so sorry, mister. Dude, those were cold. Cold as ice. That's correct. Here, let me grab you something. Uh, something better than that. Oh, I didn't know I even had one of those. What box am I in? I'm going to grab you a Charizard, okay? Throwing in the pity pull Charizard. That's a nice Charizard, by the way. I give these out all the time, but this one's actually in pretty good shape. Also, here, I'll toss this into your fancy bag with your Mew. So this is for Silver Chris. I'm sure you have a fancy bag on the table somewhere. Definitely next time. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. <laughs> No, I want the char I want the Charizards. <laughs> I know I could probably sell them for like six bucks each if I had to guess. They're very decent cards. They're from Hidden Fate, so everyone's gonna want one. Silver Chris, Silver Chris, Shane G, Sean. Yeah, the new Charizards that come in those tins are in terrible shape. They're all messed up. The old ones were in good shape. Here you are, Silver Chris. The old Charizards. These guys came from the old tins, and they're actually like they're like flawless. You see that? That's basically a 10 that I just gave you. Do you understand? I just gave you a flawless Charizard GX. Very different from just a raw one. Just a typical raw one. So that's probably like... If you graded it and he came back a 10, he's probably like 30, 30 40 bucks. Who's next? Quentin. He wants in the 
small. We just did Quentin. So Quentin wants three more in the small. One, two, three. There you go. Who's next? Death Bat Nation. One small, number 14. Also, also I'm new. <laughs> okay. Death Bat, I thought you said you were a negative. You better not be buying Pokemon cards on a negative credit card. I'm watching you, mister. Although it is Thursday. We find music. Small, thank you, mister. We find. What's up, man? Snipe. Who's next? Hey, we're catching up a little bit. Gerard, just one small on 24. That's not going to happen. We'll put you on 30. Alex God, he says four small spots. Charizard, come to Papa. L S. What is it? Is it L X? L S X God. <laughs> and he's got four spots. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I counted that right. One small, please. Times high. What's up, man? He says, I'll take two random small mystery spots, please, and thank you. Times high. What's up, man? Times high on 31 and on 616. Times Hig. Death Bat, actually one more small, still new. <laughs> you got 14 and 15 now, mister. Who's next? Von Doom, one small, one medium. Von Doom will put you on 13 for the snipe. You're in the medium, Von Doom. Hawaii, too small and too small for Silver Chris. Really? Wow, so generous. Too small for... Let me read that again. So too small for Hawaii. I'm going to give you six and seven. And then Silver Chris is going to be right above you. Silver Chris. He's like, I'll out generosity him. All right. Well, this is almost over. Last Doys Buddy, small mystery, you pick spots, please and thank you. By the way, I just spent nine hours on your surprise I'm sending you. All right, I'm ready for this surprise. Surprise sex toy? Don't answer that question. To a hidden fate's open mind after One, Sean. two, three. Sean got the SPL you last night. It's my turn. <laughs> it's my turn. Spot 29 is open. Jessica E, too small. So Jessica E is going to get this one right here on 29. And I owe Jessica E one spot. All right, here we go. 31 spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, I lost count because I was thinking about what the person was saying. God damn it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. All right, we'll recount that after we've created the actual custom repacks. So, the prizes, let's get them down here. You got two large prizes, nice, keeping the large moving, and we got these four PSA cards. Scoop Up Net, Fortress, Charizard, and this lovely PSA 10 Celebi Venusaur. Nice, nice. Okay, oops, we're gonna say Vina, Charizard. Oh, I should have found a Blastoise, that's why I should have. Fortress and Scoop. Scoop. Let's get these prizes off to the side. And we get these two large, so six prizes, 31 spots. See, this one has actually better odds than the other one. The other one had 40 spots and only five prizes. To hidden fates, one large mystery. So you guys got to pay attention to the number of available spots, which kind of explains, you know, uh, well, and it doesn't matter. The price of the cards that I'm putting in, I just set them at the market price anyways, but, uh, you know, understanding your odds helps you kind of shop better. 
if you know what I'm saying. Oops. There we go. I got them built up. Let me place them in the deck. Okay, now we'll split it and we'll we'll start uh, shuffling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. Good, we've got the correct number. Let's go ahead and split the deck. Oops. One, two, three, four. Oops. We just do this one more time. I think people like to see it well shuffled. There it goes. Das Boot. This is the real RNG, man. Landed on eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, wait. <laughs> we placed this on top of that, not the other way around. <laughs> Here we go. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Oh, first wins on nine. Silver Chris picking up the Venusaur. Silver Chris winning twice, dude. You got the Raichu Raichu last time. Dude. Silver quit Chris sweeping man. Holy sweeping. Oh, where's the comments? The comments are gone again. Dude is broken. There we go. I'm getting comments again. What the hell? I think the app is struggling. I'm not getting comments. They're like breaking. So I'll do a recount real fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Silver Chris, I just want to point out that's the pack that Hawaii bought for you. So you should say, you know, big thank you to Hawaii. Let's go ahead and keep moving. Yeah, Hawaii got you that spot. Number 10, number 11. Number 11 is also a win. Gus Esp. What'd you get? What does that say? <laughs> that says Fortress. Odd, oh, cool. You got the Neo Fortress. All right, Gus. Cool, very cool card right here. Gus S. So this fortress is from these Neo packs. He's a vintage card and you got a mint. A nine is a mint card. Okay. So that was 11, right? Recount. One, two, three, four, five. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're on twelve. Thirteen. Thirteen's a win. Von D's thirteen. Scoop. Von Doom's got the scoop up. Nice. Five bucks. You get the scoop up card. Jesus. Jesus. Von D. Von Doom. Number fourteen. Fourteen's a win. Uh oh. The people in the back are getting nervous. Number 14 is a win. Death Bat, you are in the large. For five bucks, you got into the large. Number 15. Oh, ho, ho, ho. these were so well sh It's the other large. You have no idea how well shuffled these were. So one of the things you guys don't know is I'm getting better at rearranging the cards when I'm creating the prizes. And... Uh, the fact that both of these are together, that's a sign of actually very good shuffling. That's crazy. He picked up both of them. The odds of that were tiny. I kept those separated on purpose, and they got shuffled back together. Death Bat on 19. Two spots, Death Bat. Maybe the real winner here. Number 16. Number 17. Number 18. Number 19. 20. 21. No luck. 22. 23 and Quentin wins on 23 the Charizard man Quentin do you ever lose this Quentin Quentin on 23 all right there you go mister there you go and that's all the prizes
Just like that. I'm sorry to everyone who didn't pick up a prize. Let's place this over here. The person who got the best best deal out of this, in my opinion, is definitely Silver Chris, followed by Death Bat, who picked up both large. Two packs? He bought two $5 packs. And they both turned into 20 bucks, basically, is what they did. Crazy. Buying two spots in the large for $5 each. Nuts. All right. Toss that away. I have to put together a new small. That'll take me a minute. All right. Something for the small, huh? How about this Raichu? Look how fancy that Raichu is. Let me double check. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to pick something. Raichu and Clefairy so far. What else we got? Tops. Hmm. Gotta get one more. By the way, how did that auction end? I think the auction ended on only eight thousand eight hundred dollars. Wow, that's uh pretty good actually. Oh, I could put one in that would make it much more expensive. But you guys would probably want that, though. Here, I tell you what. We'll put this uh, for alligator in for now. For alligator. That's Neo 1 for alligator. All right, this round is only vintage cards. But it's going to be an expensive round, unfortunately. Okay, so pay attention to that. We're going to go ahead and have the fifth prize be one large. For alligator, Kabutops, Clefairy, and Raichu. All vintage. Five small mystery randomly between five and twenty-five. Between five and twenty-five. So let's see. So there's going to be 42 spots. Oof. There's a lot of spots. 42 of them. But actually, it's not too bad. We had a round with 40 spots earlier, didn't we? So 42 spots. Three small mystery. Costs a little more because the vintage cards, of course, are loved a little more. You know what I mean? Small Mr. Sir Mr. I got to be in it. Hey, you know, you won on one spot. That's not bad, right? If you win in one spot, it's possible. Five prizes just like normal. It's not like you have super high odds. But of course, if you're not in, you have no odds. Oh, no, he did not just ask for a booster box of Unified, did he? I don't have a booster box. I have something else. Oh, dear God, you did not just ask for a booster box of Unified. You did not just ask for that. You're supposed to ask for five packs, mister. So let's see, let's see, let's see. We owe a spot in the small, actually, to Jessica E. I remember that. Keep it up. Hell yeah, I'm always up. That's why my wife loves me so much. Let's see. Gerard, Alex God, Times High, Death Bad, Von Doom, Hawaii, Blastoise, Buddy, Jessica E. So she's owed a spot. Here you go, Jessica. Small. What are the large rewards? I'm actually going to show you what the large is. So the large has a lot of spots. But that's because the large has PSA 10. Read it and weep. PSA 10, Shining Legends Mewtwo, Test Tube Mewtwo. 
this very fancy first edition holographic expedition Mew. So you get the Mewtwo and the Mew together. That's the that's the theme here. Mewtwo and Mew together. All right. And then there's a backup prize. This is uh, no symbol Snorlax. See that? No symbol. So this is an error card, right? Just like that Dragonite's an error card. This Snorlax is an error card. Additionally, there will be four more winners who get a pack of Hidden Fates. Okay. And we'll throw this back here. Here we go. So where were we? We took care of Jessica. Now we're on to John Bright, who wants too small. So if you win one Mew, you win the other. Oh, no, they're actually going to be separated in the... Uh, I'm sorry, they're going to be separate. So with the dogs, if you remember the dogs, they were one prize, but the uh, Mewtwo and the Mew are separate prizes. Shoe game, five more crimson. All right, five more crimson for shoe game. Good luck, shoe game. Two, three, four, five. Did John Bright not want to be in the small? I can... Uh, I can move them. Cheese said, did you get my 10 bucks? Cheese, there's a huge waiting line. So I'm pretty sure I did get your 10 bucks. I'm pretty sure it's just a, oh, well, oh, I see. Oh, you've got a, are you asking for like a, like a $10 on a tab? Is that what you mean? Oh, you're asking if you got the $10 payment for the tab. I think that's what you're asking. I think I finally understand. It's all dawning. Yeah, it's probably higher up the list, Cheese. Let's see, we're 21 minutes behind. That's how far back the line is. So here we go. This is for Shoe, right? Shoe game. That's right. Good luck, Shoe game. He says, no, I paid the 10 to you. When did you pay, Cheese? Was it like much later? Or... Oh, look at this Pikachu, man. That's adorable. It's adorbs right there. Were you paying in the middle of the live stream or did you pay like this morning? Ooh, picking up the full art as well. Full art Guzzlord. He looks decently centered. He says a while ago. Oh, interesting. Okay. I should be able to look it up, Cheese. I'm going so deep again tonight. You're going deep again? Holy. How you do it, man? All right, let's see what we got. We got Gorgeist, Houndoom. Middle of the live stream, says Cheese. All right. I will have to, uh, maybe I'll do a, a quick search for you. Last pack. Here we go. Crimson Invasion. So it looks like your hot pull is going to be the Guzzlord. And of course, you're going to pick up that cute Pikachu as well. Not bad. This time, much better picking up the full art. As you guys know, the full arts are much rarer in the old boxes. They seem to show up fewer times. So when you can pull one, it's a good thing. Shoe game. Shoe game, what's up with you and all the Guzzlords? You've got like three Guzzlord cards now. You're the Guzzlord King. You're the Guz Guz 9000. After shoe game, we have your boy Russ. Mr. TCC, you know what to do. Four in the small mystery. All right. Four in the small mi mystery for Gus. One, two, three, four. I was going to say Russ. There we go. Hallow Fox. What's up, Hallow Fox? He says, one small, sir. Please, sir, Mr. Sir. And did you have to read my Discord message? All right, let me go look up Hallow Fox's Discord message. I'll be right back. All right, I just saw your message. Uh, weirdly, I, I, I must have clicked on this when I was half awake and then forgotten I read it. Hello, I would only have your new... Oh, I see, you did send me a message. All right, what I can do, Hello Fox, is I, I think I can cancel it. So, Hello Fox, we'll keep an eye on the... We'll keep an eye on it. They might return it, or they might forward it to you. One small one, med one, LRG, please, sir. Actually, maybe they wouldn't forward it, because you probably don't have your real name on the package. Hmm. Hello, Fox, uh, I'm going to have to make a note of it. Ooh. John wanted random spots. Uh, okay, we're just going to leave them the way they are. It's, it's, I already wrote it down. I mean, does it really make a big difference? Hold on. Sorry, guys. I'm kind of bogged down at the moment. Let's get Hallow Fox in there. 
Hollow Fox. I don't know if this really makes a difference. Does it really make a difference if you're like here and here, for example? Actually, you know, most people who win, they do this right here. Most people who win spots, they do it in a row. I've, I've been doing this for a long time. The reason they win is because by clustering together, you increase your odds that you run into one of the cards shoveled in. Whereas if you were to split all your spots up, your odds would become higher that you get more hits, but also higher that you get no hits at all. It's the same way with the way booster sets are, or booster boxes are shuffled. It's exactly the same way. So guys who have this, they actually score more often. A little something I've observed. I don't say it out loud. If you guys want to spread out around, you can though. Okay, let's let's see. Let's see. Your boy Russ. So we took care of that. Hello Fox, I got your message. Did I put you in here? Yes, I did. Alex Rod, one small. Let's get Alex. That's right. Heck yeah, Von Doom. Alex Rod. He says, no, I don't. What? Don't tell my wife. Sean Cal, what's up? He says, two hibs. All right. Getting the hibs. By the way, guys, you can always request to open up Hidden Fates or Vintage Packs on uh, TikTok and Instagram. Where did my Hidden Fates go? I think I have to go get more. I'll be right back. Those are special packs, and I, I love showing them off. It's so nice when I get to stand up. It's like a luxury. <laughs> That's pretty bad, isn't it? Here we go. Grab an extra tin right here. All right, I'm back. Ouch. John Bright's heading out. Good night, John. What time is it? It's 11. That spot is destined to be a winner, John. <laughs> hey, you never know. Just really just ends up with how it's shuffled. Small mystery in a row. Oof. Do you still have that PSA 10 Raichu from Unified? Do you still have that PSA 10 Raichu from Unify? I do, yes, I have, I do. I had two of them, I just gave one out and I have one left if you're interested. Okay, how many do you order? Shoe game, your boy, hello Alex, Sean. Sean ordered two of them, you ready Sean? Here we go. Two packs for Sean. I hate that saying. I had those once. The bed bugs. Ugh. Oh, you're talking about the full art with the Raichu grabbing onto the other Raichu's tail. I honestly have no clue if I still have that. <laughs> it's a lot's happened. I have a lot of PSA cards sitting in a box behind me. Hey, you're picking up the Charizard 9. Nice, dude. This car is actually pretty decently valuable if it scores a 10. 34. And that's a Lone Vulpix. Two packs, two hits. Nice job, Sean. The Lone Vulpix is very cute. Did Sean Cow have a box? You got to tell me if you have a box, okay, guys? If you don't say so, I'm just going to not, not give you the bulk, okay? Because I'm going to forget. So let's see. Sean, Sean, Sean. He'll be in this box over here. My brain's telling me he might have had a box, but I can't actually remember. Here we are. Pulling that. A low and Vulpix. Very cute. Gus Esp. One hidden fates. You got it, Gus. Here we go. Gus bound to pull the Shining Zard. It happens eventually. Somebody grabs it. Three, four... Gibble, nice. Also picking up a hit. 
Ooh, he looks a little off center, doesn't he? So Gus is gonna be over here. Gus Asp. There you go. Who's next? Danny A. Two Hibs, open mine after Sean. Sean got the Espeon last night. It's my turn. Heck yeah. Here you go. So this is for Danny A. He's new. Nice to meet you, Danny. Let's see if you can get a hot pull out of here, huh? Hot pulls all over the place. Pack number one. Hey, you did get a hit. That's going to be the Zerka Tree Shiny. See? So this is like a shiny hollow. They're, they're still a shining Pokemon, uh, but it's it's in the style of a regular hollow card. They're considered hits, and they're actually quite valuable as tens. How's this one? I think this one's cold. That's a cold pack. <laughs> Freezing cold. He ordered two of them, right? Yeah, Danny ordered two of them. All right, Danny. Danny A, your first card. Nice, man. Danny A, if you get another card, I'll get you a bag on the table, okay? Who's next? Cheese, the 10 I owed you. See, Cheese, I, I just didn't get far enough in the stream. That's all. Streamlabs is backed up. Pete Swizzy, two hips, one large mystery. All right, Pete. Oops. Two large, two hib, one large mystery. You might want to update your description. I just checked. You might want to take off Lost Thunder. Oh, you're right. Lost Thunder is sold out. My bad. We'll do that right after this. Lost Thunder is sold out, guys. That looks cold. Yeah, that's cold. Well, you did pick up the Starmie GX. Starmie GX isn't going to be worth much. Maybe like 20 bucks. Too common of a card, unfortunately. What do we got here? I think that's... Oh, that wasn't cold at all. That looked like a cold pack. Stack attack of full art. Nice job. And let's take a close look at him. He looks fairly well centered. Yeah, it might be a 10, man. Well done. All right. Stack attack has been pulled. Whew. And this, of course, was for Pete Swizzy. Nice to meet you, Pete. Pete's new. Pete, what? You'd be in the... Oh, I see what pile you'd be in. Cool. Pete Swizz. There you go, Pete. Let's get you your large. On number 20, huh? There you go, Pete. Oh, man. Large is moving. Supreme Boy, one hidden bats. You got it, Supreme. Everyone decided to go deep on hidden. Oh, we got to fix that description. Supreme Boy. There we go. What do we have? No luck on that booster pack. No luck. Let's go ahead and update the description now. We're removing Lost Thunder. Lost Thunder is sold out. Okay, there we go. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mike Ben, five small mystery, randomly between five and 25. Three small, please, mister. Mike Ben. Mike Ben. Mike Ben. Uh, Mike Ben. Mike Ben. One, two, three, four, five. See, you've made me write your name five times, but you haven't actually increased your odds of winning. Silver Chris. Three small. You got it, Silver Chris. I'm going to put you up here. Two, three. There we go. 
We find, I got to be in that small, mister. You got it. We find you're going to be number 12. Read my real little thanks. We find Tyler H. Boost a box of Unified and one rocket pack. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. I did not realize how deep that was. Tyler H. Picking up another booster pack. Seven. And now he's also got eight. Holy, I wasn't even paying attention. So that's eight, nine, ten of the booster packs. Ten of the booster packs are gone. And uh, here's the rocket, rocket mystery list. All right, so that's almost done. Holy. Now, for the unified minds of booster box, give me a minute. I got to go figure out how this works. I got a special kind of booster box coming. It's not going to be a booster box. It's not going to be a booster box. It's going to be booster packs harder to obtain unified at a reasonable price and I had to buy this weird thing. All right, so let me show you something, Tyler. This is gonna be weird. So, is something happened to Ryoma? What happened to Ryoma? If anything, before you donate, tell him in chat so he tells you how much. Did something happen? I have no idea what's going on. You haven't read my messages all night, barely. Oh, sorry. It's because it's so busy. Would Canada be $13 extra shipping? Uh, yes, it would. If I had a tail, I'd wag it. Yes, $13 shipping to Canada. What you could do, alternatively, you can buy a $55 priority box to Canada, and that will allow you to ship 20 pounds of cards. Uh, $13 for every 8 ounces, actually. International shipping is pretty tough. Someone's asking about the cost of grading cards. Well, you guys know that. It's $18 for most cards, $32 for a really expensive one. Ryoma's heart hurts because no rocket pack. Oh. <laughs> so take a look here. You see this? This is a sealed product. All right. I'm going to slice it open and show you what's inside. You're going to find this interesting. Now that's factory sealed by Nintendo, or basically the people who print the cards, all right? And what it has inside of it is this. These. So I can get you 36 of these put together. It's gonna take me a minute to get them all out. Small mystery for Jennifer Ryoma and Professor. See, so we got two, three, four. This is going to take a while. I got to get 36 of these. See, if, if somebody was just buying five of these, it wouldn't take that long. But 36, we're going to have to break them all out. Be interesting if you got better pulls than a, than an actual booster box, wouldn't it? What if it turned out these had a better pull rate? Probably not. But no, that'd be really interesting, wouldn't it? I'm sure they don't. I'm sure it all has the same pull rate. If I was the Nintendo company, I'd want it all to have the same pull rate. So these are called blister packs, and they're these big, goofy-ass things they sell at places like Walmart. And they're they're in these blister packs to make it harder for people to steal them. So see, and I got a bunch more to open. And here's what they look like on the back. So, hey, here's a uh, here's an interesting fact. One of my very oldest videos on my YouTube channel was me opening these blister packs of Unified Minds. 
It was Unified Minus. That was the set that was coming out when I got into Pokemon cards. It was Unified. Tyler says, I feel so bad. Oh, don't feel bad. I was going to make my wife do this for me, but she's gone to bed. <laughs> I was going to be like, open these all up for me. <laughs> she's off to bed. She knows. God damn it. I <laughs> keep... They're upside down. Now, I think this will only end up being 24 of them, which means I got to go get some more of them from another sealed box, okay? So the nice thing about buying a, a booster box is it's all sealed, but the truth is these, these are also sealed. They just don't come in a traditional booster box. Okay, let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's twelve. So this is a pile of twenty-four. I need to go open another box. I'll be right back. This will make my trash can fill up instantly. So 24, that means we need 12 more. 12 more and we've got enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven and twelve. Holy, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. I gotta get I gotta employ quick quip to open these all up for me beforehand. Cut one of the packs, Tyler. Yeah, Tyler, cut one of the packs. Do it, Tyler. Just cut it. Cut your secret rare Mewtwo in half. By the way, one of the very first things I opened in these booster packs was uh, secret rare Misty's Favor. And I sold it on eBay. I sold it on eBay for $25 and thought I did a good thing. Until I learned later about... You know, the value of grading freshly pulled cards. How's it going, Pete Swizzy? How do I change my name on what? Streamlabs? You can you can change it on Streamlabs or you can change it in YouTube. Last pack. There we go. And now we can begin to open up Tyler's bag. Box one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So this is going to be eighteen over here, and this pile over here will be the other eighteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. We've got all eighteen packs, Tyler. How do you feel about that? This will be a really fun experiment because I want to see what the pull rates on these uh, blister packs are. If it was, let's say that the pull rate appears to be higher, well then you wouldn't want booster boxes. You would want these guys. So that would be really interesting. Oh, they're sticky. Oh no, the outer, the outside of them have a bit of glue on them that makes them harder to handle. One, two. Oh, this is a pain. Three, four. It's all sticky. I did it all for you, Tyler. <laughs> what a what a pain in the booty cheeks. I don't know. I buy these all the time. I do pretty well. What? I got sneeze. <coughs> 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 
just sharing some Corona. Coronavirus. Ooh, did you guys hear about Herman Cain dying from coronavirus? Oh, Herman Cain. He's a Republican black man. I, I think he was formerly the CEO of Coca-Cola or something like that. And um, he was like, oh, you don't need to wear masks. And that did not age well because later on, he died of coronavirus. That must have back... Uh, he must have felt pretty bad at some point, you know what I mean? He must have been in the hospital bed one day, hanging on for life, going, well, that didn't work out for me, did it? God bless you, mister. And don't share corona. I'm Asian. I don't... I ain't want it, sir. <laughs> Here we go. Let's snip these off. Let's snip. Did we get it? Yeah, we got it. TCC wants to cut a pack to bless Tyler's cards. Cheese wants to cut a pack to, to bless Tyler's cards. Oh my God! No more, no more cult of cut is bad for you. Rest in pieces. <laughs> Way too much cutting, guys. <laughs> Can't do it. It's like watching you cut a cut a dollar bill in half. You know, like and especially if there's something hot in the pack. It's like watching you cut. He says, "Whatever, party pooper." Wow! Listen to you. I'll cut a pack if you really badly want me to cut a pack. I'll do whatever you want. We'll cut all the packs. All right, there we go. Tyler finally trimmed all the tops. I noticed the tops on these packs were, like, harder to trim because they were, like, folded over. Unsub, unlike. <laughs> Here we go. God, this stupid box is stopping me from scooting in. Stack this over here. There we go. Oh, that's much better. Here we go. Pile number one. You ready? Oh, we're going to sort them out. White, green, green, green. We're going to put the green straight into his booster box. No, no wasting any time. Green, green. So we're looking for the Mewtwo Mew, which is now selling for about $400 as a PSA 10 secret rare. 400 That card used to go for 120 so all you math nerds can do some math in your head and find out just how fast some PSA cards have appreciated. All the doubters and people are like, oh, the modern cards are terrible, don't buy them. It's like, you don't understand if you owned a lot of just those cards, just those Mewtwo's, and you're sitting on them now and they're trading around 400, you just start slowly selling one or two off at a time, no rush. There's actually a little bit of money to make in there. It means that the supply did not meet the demand. And if the supply is not meeting the demand, that means there's a little money to make. There you go. And of course, the price is being based off, out of how, how difficult it is to actually pull that Mewtwo. It's difficult to pull them, right? You can open a whole case of these Unified Minds and not find a Mewtwo Mew. Or maybe you do find one, but it's not a 10, it's a 9, isn't it? So that's why they're so expensive. If anything, $400 is probably cheap. $400 is probably cheap. Okay. So the whites versus greenbacks ratio is pretty similar to a booster box, actually. The bigger question I have is how many how many full arts do we pull? Yeah, that's actually a very similar pull rate to... Uh, or the whites versus green rates. Very similar to everything we've seen. Here we go. Pack number one. Three, four... That's Chandelure, pack number two. Ooh, a low and Raichu, Raichu. I'm loving the centering. The centering looks perfect, like that. Cut a pack of hidden for doing me green and my birthday tomorrow. <laughs> Your birthday's tomorrow? <laughs> okay, we'll cut a pack. You crazies? We got Keldeo GX, not necessarily the coolest card, but that's okay. We got Raichu Loan Raichu earlier, so that's all right. Hidden farts, please, sir. That's Oogzy. Sounds like a submachine gun. There's Slowpoke Psyduck. All right, we got three out of four GXs that are expected. No full arts so far. Okay, that's four out of four. Espeon Deoxys GX. That's a good one. 
I have to open. Oh, there you go. U turn U turn board, looking perfectly centered actually. Yeah, these look really well centered. Just saying. U turn board secret rare. What's next? Another. <laughs> it's Kellyo. Ah, get out of here, Kellyo. You're ruining it. Come on, third full art. You still got plenty of white backs left. Let's see some more full arts. I think you have a chance for a third. Yeah, you got Grimsley full art. He ah man, you got three three full arts out of the set, but none of them super rare. What do we got here? That's Latios GX. So you're now at five GXs, three full arts. That's a good pull rate considering you have three left. Well, he bought a ton of them, didn't he? That's Victini Hollow. He bought uh, 36 packs is what he did. That's Aerodactyl GX. Interesting. Super interesting. Hmm. And a low and right you. So you end up with three full arts and something like six GXs. That does seem like a higher pull rate than usual. Very interesting. I might have to sell unified blister packs separately. Blister packs are better. Facts. Well, he could have just gotten lucky here. The other thing I'd point out is that he didn't necessarily get the best pulls with these three. But let's see. Three full arts. One, two, three, four, five, six GXs. You almost never see that in a booster box. You rarely see... So what you see in a booster box, you rarely see the six of these combined with three of these what ends up happening is if you have six of these for some reason you usually only get one full art the other way around works too if you get three of these usually what you end up with is only three of these so they actually balance each other out but the hits seem to be more common hmm. uh, i'm going to create a unified minds blister pack price then so will i maybe i won't who cares maybe i won't who cares who cares? Let's go ahead and get this into Tyler's bag. They're already priced. Who cares? I'm like thinking about them. Oh, the pull rate's better. It would just be something that we know. This community knows about it. It'll be our little secret. But we don't We don't actually know if the pull rate's better. Maybe Tyler just got lucky. So something to think about. Maybe he just got lucky, guys. That pull rate appeared to be higher than a normal booster box, though. Six GXs and three full arts is very high for the pull rate, in my opinion. All right, I'm back. I'm back. Woo. Is this TV turned down? It is turned down. I swear to God, you know what Quip does? She tries to sleep on the couch and she turns my television show down. And I only notice it later. 
Taz says, how much for the Rocket Game? Rocket Game spots are 20 bucks each. They're real expensive. So, we finished Tyler H. It is finally time to start catching back up. Sneaky Sup says, keep it up. And he gave eleven eighty nine. I think it was just a donation. Sneaky, thank you so much for the donation, Sneaky. I appreciate that. Quentin says, put me in the small. You got it, Quentin. Anybody watch that liquor game? What? There you go, Quentin. Zero, zero. Too small mystery for zero, zero. Fourteen and fifteen. Gus Esp, one small. You got it, Gus. Gus. Von Doom. Small mystery. He wants a medium, small, and large. Von Doom on twenty-six. Von Doom on fifteen. And Von Doom on 21. I can't wait for my pyramid card. My Do pyramid you card? Get it graded? Yes. You should definitely grade that card. So Peter Swizz is apparently Peter Kizzy. There we go. Peter Kizzy. And he wants four small mystery in a row. Peter Kizzy. Start at 32 and at 35. Who's next? Ice says three small. You got it, Ice. All right, who's next? Silver Chris, grade my real boom. Number 18, Silver Chris. Silver Chris, Tyler H. Shoe game, silver. All right, sounds good, Hallow. One X Japanese Neo, please. There we go. We're going to write Silver Chris. And jump over here. And let's see. We're going to write down. Here it is. We're going to jump over here. Rocket hideout. PSA requests. Silver. Chris. Would you grade any of the ones I won tonight? John Bright. Rillaboom. Full Art. Rebel. Clash. There you go, Silver Chris. Who's next? Silver Chris is done. Where is, where is he at? James B. Small mystery for Jennifer, Ryoma, and Professor. He only listed three people, so I'm going to put James B. in as well. So I'm going to put James B. up here. Jennifer is going to be two. Very generous. Ryoma and Professor. Ryoma. Uh, Professor P. Vince. There you go. Tayf, cut a pack of hidden for doing me dirty and my birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday. Give me a minute. Let's see. Where's... Do I have another 10? I gotta go find another 10. Damn it. <laughs> Doing you dirty. Oops. All right, let's get this pack sliced. If you really want, just remember it could be the Charizard. I'll do it. He's like, yeah, that's the whole point. <laughs> 
He's like, it won't. I mean, I've cut a secret. I've, I've cut a shiny Mewtwo in half already. So that was that was Mahasvara's shiny Mewtwo. So you say it won't, but it's like, hits come out of these Hidden Fates cards all the time. Let's do it. Let's do it. Slice. So I used to cut the actual whole pack in half, but that actually, it ruins the scissors. So what we do instead, these are the two hit cards back here. And place this up here. That'll go into bulk. All right, so now slicing the slicing the pack doesn't hurt the scissors. You ready? There it goes. Oh, and it's cold. Thank God. Woo! Cold pack. All right. Cold packs all day. Kelleray, hidden farts, please. Next pack goes to Kelleray. Kelleray. And he wants small mystery. What do we got? Three, four. And it's cold. <laughs> Another cold pack. Cold pack. It's kind of like cold play, but less whiny. Kelly Ray in the small mystery. One spot. There you go. Dane F. I can't wait for my pyramid card. Do you think I should get it graded? Absolutely. Taz Fan says, one time Japanese Neo. Oh, yes. Yes. Now, the question, Taz, would you like for me to open it right now in the live stream, or should I save it for tonight after the live stream? I can open it on Instagram and TikTok. He, Ryan says, yes, yes, yes. Cut it in half? Sabrine Boy says you wanted me to cut it in half. You guys are crazy. We need a card cut highlight stream. Yeah, I know. I agree. <laughs> There's no burning shadows on the horizon. Burning shadows is overpriced and your odds of actually... He says, you know, it open it now. Sounds good, Taz. Good luck. Let's see what we got. Let's see what you got. All right. Come on, Espeon. Come on, Umbreon. Come on, Dark Raichu. We need to pull a Dark Raichu already. Oh, it's green. I already know. So what do we got? We got... Oh, Yanma. Oh, no! That's not Umbreon Espeon. That's a Yanma. <laughs> Yanma. You can actually tell on the reflection of the foil, the color of the card, uh, as it's getting open. So I saw the green, and I'm like, that's not purple or black. <laughs> Caterpie, Natu, Polyswirl, Spinarak, Larvitar, Kakuna, Wooper, Sentra, and this lovely Eevee right at the back. This will, this will be a decent card. You could probably grade that one, too. Oof. All right, time for the Neo 2 battle. Are you ready? I'm going to open up mine now. Are you ready? Oh, no, no, no. I'm saving me for TikTok. TikTok. If you guys want to open one on TikTok, you're totally welcome. Oh, I so want to cut one open, but uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm saving it for TikTok. It takes some self-control, but it's worth it in the end. So let's see. This goes straight over to Taz. Let me find your bag, Taz. I know where you're at. You're in this pile. We got Tyler, Sean. It takes some self-control. But then we get a lovely TikTok video out of it. Supreme, Toxtricity. I thought you had it back. Here it is. Here it is. Waiting for those gym cards. They'll be here. They'll be here, I promise. After Taz, we have Sam H. Base set, base set sword. Hopefully doper pulls than the box. Let's see, where's my, here it is. Two, three, four. Oh, you're talking about the box you won. Hey, don't diss on the box you won. You did okay. Yeah, TikTok openings are good, guys. It actually, um, TikTok and Instagram, it's, it's not just good because, you know, new people join the community, but the other reason is because uh, I think it's actually very cool having just one video for your one pack. You see what I'm saying? You can go back and see yourself opening that card. 
All right, toss this over here. But you know, if nobody else wanted to open up cards on TikTok, I'd probably just end up doing it myself. That's how I started anyways. It's not too many cards. Here we go, we got Krabby Patty. Who's next? It's just something I offer you guys to do. I'd do it myself uh, either way. There we go. <laughs> I have a box. Is that Russ? It's your boy. He gonna pull the Espeon Umbreon on TikTok, you watch. We need to have a talk after the stream. How's it going, Mary? Yeah, send me a message, Mary. Whatever is concerning you or whatever you want to do. Here we go. Last pack. All cold, Sam. 100% cold. Hashtag pray for Sam. I'm sorry, Sam. I'm sorry, Sam. On my order, can I have bulk since I won the booster box? Let me think about it. I need a moment to think about it. Hold on. How heavy are these? I'm trying to decide the cheapest method of shipping your cards. Yeah, I think I can actually throw these in without changing the, the cost too much. But I, I couldn't keep doing that, I'm afraid, Sam. If you want a, 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 yeah, if you want, you can get like a Pokebox. I couldn't do that again. It would make the price, it would make the weight of them a certain amount. Here we go, toss that over there. But don't worry, you're getting all the bo all the bulk from that booster box, okay? Will shipping be next week? Shipping might be sooner than next week. I didn't get to finish shipping this round because I ran out of labels. So if I can get new labels tomorrow, I might start up another round of shipping if I can get the labels tomorrow. Jason Navi says, how much for a box? Yeah, the uh, priority mailboxes are $13 and you keep all of your bulk, all your reverse hollows, your hollows, whatever. Uh, you can ask for your codes, um, and you keep those all. They just go into your priority mailbox. Really, that was that was the only thing that ever concerned me about all that stuff is just the weight of the cards. Like, can you guys imagine how much this weighs? See this? Not only does it weigh a lot, do you know how big of a bitch it is to ship that? So the priority mailboxes make it much easier. Yeah, that's heavy. You have no idea. That's pretty heavy. Let's keep moving. Sam H., sorry about your tough pulls, man. That was really tough to watch. John Bright says, would you grade any of the ones I won tonight? All right, John, let's take a look real fast. John Bright. Wow, the Weevil looks really good, actually. I would grade all three of these. They all look perfectly centered. You did well. So this is something you guys, this is a learning moment, actually. So one of the things you have to realize is when it comes to PSA card value, you have to try and get the tens. The tens affect your card value so much. You know, PSA 10 Venusaur Snivy, that could be like 50 bucks. A PSA 10 Weavile, that could be like 50 bucks. But let's say it goes for a nine, actually. Let's say they all score nines. Now they're going to sell for like maybe 25 bucks, maybe 20. And then you're not even going to sell them too fast, in my opinion, unless you drop the price even lower than that. Um, but, you know, you're looking at the 20 to $25 range as nines. But at the $10 range, or the PSA 10 range, you're looking at maybe 50, 50, 30, if I had to guess. If I had to guess uh, off the bat. We can actually research this if you want. You can see how quickly they sell. This one will probably sell fast. This one will probably sell okay. Uh, so yeah, you could grade all three of these because they look like tens. So when you pull stuff out of a bag, it's not just about pulling Charizard, it's about getting the tens. The truth is, people who like to collect completed PSA sets, you know, they need every card and they need it in a, the grade of a ten. And so, you know, there will always be some demand for like that Weavile art, for example. Uh, I'll look it up real fast. Let's take a quick look on eBay because this is like a learning moment in the stream. Let's say Cosmic Venusaur PSA 10. All right, and we're going to sort it real fast. We're going to find the cheapest ones real fast. Okay, so here it is. Check this out. The cheapest one, so we sorted by buy it now and shipping lowest. So the cheapest one is 55, but that's the full art. And then you scroll, this is the GX. See, this is the card you were asking about. The cheapest one is only is 62. It's actually quite expensive as a 10. But now let's say we were to change it to nines. There might not even be any available, but let's say we were to change it to nines. All right, and so exactly like I said, here's the card you're talking about as a nine, and it's only 25. So exactly what I said was true. And the question is, will it even sell that fast? Well, it will sell probably eventually, but it won't sell too quickly. 
because people will typically save up and just go straight to the 10. So let's try Cosmic Weavile. It looks like there's only one Weavile for sale, and this one's $60, okay? So again, that's that's pretty close to what I was predicting. I was saying maybe 50 for the Venusaur, maybe 50 for the Weavile. And uh, you know, there's a little room in there to, to make a profit. You gotta, you gotta consider eBay fees, shipping fees, stuff like that, right? The cost of the grading itself. But there's a little bit of money to be made in there. Or if you're just looking to work on a, a PSA collection, then yeah, you would want to try and get the tens, and and that's what I'm kind of doing over here. I kind of just collect PSAs myself, but I also try to have some available for the mystery games because the you guys love the mystery games. But yeah, you know, I've got uh, you guys have seen my collection in a while. I got a lot of PSA cards, so those are all just sitting on the floor over there, and they get older and they get more valuable. That's what happens, actually. They get older and they get more valuable. What do we see getting more valuable, like Shining Legends, Secret Rare Mewtwo? He used to go for uh, $75. That's not even an exaggeration. I bought my first my first Mewtwo Test Tube PSA 10 was $75. That's how much it cost. And uh, now they go for like $600, $700. Yeah, let's keep the stream lives moving. I know there's a line. Let's get back to that line. Sorry about that. So here we go. Taz fanboy. Do not ship list John Bright. Taz fanboy. Did we already do that one? We already did that one, right? Keller A, Keller A, Dane F, Taz fan. Samuel H. Wait, I, I wait a second. Let me make sure. Is that the same purchase twice? No, no, no. It's not the same purchase twice. All right. Sam H. Base set, Sword and Shield, John Bright, Trevel, two hidden fates. There we go. We're back on We're back on track. We got it. So these two hibs are going to Trevel. Trevel. All right. And you were asking me to get yours. Here we go, Trevel. You ready? <laughs> Sorry. Snip. Good luck, Trevel, on your polls. Peter Kizzy says, put my bag into Sean Cow's. Uh, I could do that. What's your relationship to Sean Cow? Like, I can rename your bag if you want. I can rename your bag. Uh, I, I try to keep the shipping easy to understand for myself. I don't want any mistakes made. Lieutenant Surge. That's a cold pack. What's this next one? Homies. Damn. Shiny Inke, nice. <laughs> Much better than two cold packs. But actually, take a look. So this time, uh, on this card, you can see this side's thin and this side is thick. So his pull is not even as good as you would hope because it's not, it's not going to pull a 10. It's probably going to pull a 9, or at worst, it'll pull an 8. So that's that's close to a cold pull, actually. That's a tough pull for you, Trev. Did I say your name right? Welcome to the live stream, by the way. That's going to be Trevel. Trevel. Okay, Trevel. Trevel with the Inke. All right, better luck on the next one. It's not valueless. The ink is not valueless, but it's not going to make you money. You see what I'm saying? So if you buy a pack and get a green code, you get nothing. That's not always true. There we go. Von Doom, open a Neo 2 on TikTok for me, and I will do a Hibben. I have a box. Let's do it, Von Doom. So let's get that. Wait. He'll do both. Oh, both on TikTok, I think. All right, nice, man. Von Doom. Here we go. Talk. That's going to be Von Doom. Hib and Neo 2. There you go, Von Doom. Oh, Hib here. Okay, no problem. No problem. Thanks for letting me open up the Neo 2 on TikTok. Russ says, can I see my cards, please, so I know what I can, sir? What? So you know what you can? <laughs> what? <laughs> your boy, Russ. I think I moved your cards over to your box, Russ. I'd have to stand up and go find them. All right. Who's next? Oh, no, no, we're not done. We got to open that hip. You ready? <laughs> Do I got to find another? Oh, here we go. Hip tin. Tay is becoming my favorite. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> what are you even talking about, Jeeves? Oh, what you can grade. I see what you're saying. Yeah, we'll have to do that in a minute. Can you check mine to see what cards are worth grading, says Gus. Let me keep servicing the people who... There's a lot of people who are, like, waiting to have their cards open. Let me let me focus on that at the moment. They've been waiting real patiently. I, I don't want to keep them waiting. She wants to cut packs. Oh, I see. <laughs> Doom, you won't buy another hib, lol. What? Here it goes. Snip. Standing good for sir, please, and thank you. I mean, cutting is the true entertainment. Oh, my God. You guys are crazy. There we go. Caterpie Brock's training. Wow. Oh, wait. He said, I got a box, sir. I got a box, sir. How much does service me? Uh, what? <laughs> Hib and face. Sounds good. Von Doom. Who's after Vaughn? John Bright, please add me to the do not ship list. Uh, John, you can do that yourself. You just go into the Discord server and say... Two more hidden fates. Please can't go to bed like this. Ha 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 ha. You just leave a message in the do not ship channel. All right? So, John Bright, there is a do not ship channel in the Discord. You just say, please don't ship. Real simple, okay? Asian Tim. What's up, Asian Tim? He says, Hib. Give me the Hib. All right, let's get Asian Tim the hib. Snip. You can put my cards in the Sean Cal's bag is what I meant. What? That's gonna be no, uh, that's gonna be uh, reverse hollow Paris and wheezing non hollow. Travel two more hidden fates. Can't go to bed like that. Good luck, travel. Let's see what you got. Travel, travel. Snip. Here we go. What do we got? What do we got? What? Oh, my God. So it's, it's a stream that never ends. One Neo for TikTok. One HIV. One Neo for TikTok. Nice. One Hib. Two, three, four. Oh. Oh, cold. Oh, my God, mister. I thought you were going to have a shot at a hot pull, too, because the two packs before you were also pretty cold. So I thought you would have a shot, but that's just not how it works. You just can't predict what's going to be in the next pack, can you? Trev, you do have two cards now. Oof, that's tough, Trev. You're going to get a bag on the table. Just can't predict what's going to be in the next pack. I am with Trev. Can't go to bed like that. Treble. There you go, Treble. Mom! That's right. Mom, he's selling Hidden Fates. Might be. One Neo for TikTok. One Hib. Hidden Fates, Dad, I mean Mr. Dad, I mean Mr. Mike. Ben. We got Neo 2. And uh, a Hib on Neo or a Hib here? You got to define because uh, Von, Doom, Von Doom didn't define it either. It's kind of confusing. <laughs> One hidden farts. One hidden farts. Let me go get the hidden fates up here, Beck. Hidden farts. Everyone decided, oh, yeah, hidden fates is a thing. They were like, wait a second, I want a hidden fates. Wait a second. One more HIV base. Vaughn, you have no room to cry with your lucky booty. What? Hib here, he said. Sounds good. Hib here for Mike Ben. SNS base, mister. SNS base. All right, so that's for Mike right there. Steam Siege. You guys want some Steam Siege? How far are we? We're almost three hours in. Not too late. Where does that mean? Another seven hours to go? Pretty easy. Easy seven hours, guys. Easy. Dude, it's so humid in this room. 
We got the AC all the way up. It just doesn't matter. It's so humid. No luck. But this Hidden Fates, uh, no, that's even off center. I'm sorry. So that was for Mike. Mike, let me throw this into your bag anyways, though. It's pretty to look at. <laughs> Mike, you're right here. Tough luck there, Mike. Better luck on the Neo Pack, right? Neo Pack will be much better, I'm sure. Danny A says, one more hib. I'm with Trav. Can't go to bed on that. Danny A. Here we go. Toss, toss that over there. I believe it's that lean. Here we go. What do we got? Nice. Shiny Ryolu. Pulling the shiny Ryolu. He looks really well centered, too, by the way. So this was for Danny A. He looks real well centered. Danny, did you have a... There you are. See, the Zerka tree is off center, but the Ryolu is not off center. Awesome. He's like, hey. <laughs> hey. I'm not complaining. The stream is fun. Here we go. Danny A, I'm going to toss you into the, the D pile. <laughs> toss you into the D pile. Who's next? Taz Fanboy. Hidden Fates, Dad. I mean, Mr. Deeds Nuts. That's right. Taz Fanboy. You got it. Anyone wants to play... That's right. I'm playing Warzone with you guys on Xbox right after this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's see what we got. Darkness Energy and Starmie. No luck that time, Taz fan. Somebody causing trouble? Let's see you guys mention a name. So let's see. Taz fan. Let's get this put away. My nightly HIV. My nightly HIB. Nightly HIB. Blastoise buddy. He wants a hidden fart as well. Here you go. Do you think the summer fest for Monster Hunter was a letdown? Yeah, it, it was a letdown. That's the truth. Are we close to the large investment opening yet? It's moving. Take a look at it. Take a look at that. It's moving. What? Three, four. Here we go. Star you. That's tough luck. I'm so sorry, Blastoise buddy. Asian Tim, one more hib. Sorry, guys. These are like flying by. Yeah, the baits have been cold so far. They're coming out of these. Fresh tins. The returning monster coming back. What about it? Have they announced a new arch-tempered monster? They need to announce a new arch-tempered monster already. There's nothing to do, honestly. What's the small looking like? It is very close to finishing. Favorite Pokemon game? Well, I can tell you it's not Sword and Shield. <laughs> here we go. Toss this over here. Boop. Problem solved. All right. Wow, what are you guys doing in this live stream? Get out of here, man. So let's see. We're opening for Asian Tim, or are we just opened for Blastoise. We're opening for Asian Tim now, right? Here we go. Problem solved. Snip. Wow, why would you come to this live stream? You're crazy. Pack number one. Wait, whose pack was that? <laughs> I'm paying too much attention to the conversation. No luck, Asian Tim. <laughs> We need full Charizard right now. Ice, Sword and Shield Base. I, I feel like we already opened for Asian Tim. 
I, I thought we already opened Raging Tam. I think I'm losing it. I says Sword and Shield base set. You got it, mister. I probably didn't. I probably didn't. I'm just going crazy. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. I don't know what's happening, guys. I can only read, like, so much. Bring them back. I'll think about it. <laughs> One, two. Three, four. And five. All right. Let's keep moving. We've got... Ice one one one. Two, three, four. I don't think Carlos is getting freed. <laughs> I don't think so, cheese. Three, four. What do we got in pack number two? That's Pikachu. Yeah, Rakusaga, I was paying attention to the whole thing actually. That's why I was doing the opening so poorly. Here we go. What do we got? Krogunk and Wobbuffet. What? Mr. TCC, I want to say <laughs> Give thank Carlos you for a free pack. being on my packs. You are good luck and awesome. Thank you very much, man. Also, I realize I've gotten two Golden Rods, two Snorlax, B-Max, two Hyper Beat, and two Special Fire. Woo! Birds, and let's go deep, long 20 packs of Sword and Shield, Mink Wink. Wink Wink, heck yeah. Jesus. Oh. Four hidden fates, please. Four hidden fates. All right, Ice. No luck this time. You picked up the Waba Fed. Let's get this into your bag. That's because the person who opens the packs right after you is the one who's going to pull the secret room, Marty. That's how it always works. Ice, I think I shipped your pack. I think I got to get you a new bag. I think I shipped you. Okay. Oof. Ice one one. Oops. All right, fresh bag for ice. Can you gift Sean Cow my cards or not? Says Peter. Yeah. Okay. So you would like these to go to Sean Cow? Sounds good. Sean Cow. Let's go find this box. Let's see. Collision. Sean Cow, where's he at? So with Chris, Fondy, Jake, Nate, Devin A, where did we put his box? Tyler H, Hawaii, Sean Cow. Okay, I think what you're trying to tell me is that he has a bag already. He does not have a box, he has a bag. So it sounds like you just want me to toss these into his bag. Okay, give me a moment. I'm Sean Cow, I didn't have a box. What? No box. All right, let's find Sean Cal. Silver. There we go. There we go. Cut a rocket booster pack, cheese, you want. Oh, there you go, cheese. The big boy stuff. <laughs> Cut a heavy pack, cheese. Harry M, my nightly hib. All right, so Harry M, now you're getting this pack that was probably for Blastoise, Buddy, or Asian Tim. Watch it be the Charizard, though. Hey, mister, you can open two of the Hidden Fates on TikTok if you'd like, says Dizzle. All right, sounds good, Dizzle. I'll have to write a note of that when we reach it. Here we go. No, this pack was cold, too. Man, what is up with the Hidden Fates, man? Those were some freezing cold packs. There you go, Harry. H for Harry. Harry M. Harry Armpits. Cheese is going to curl, guys. Stop. <laughs> what? Who's next? Sean Cow. Hidden farts, please. Also, what Peter was saying, he's giving me those two cards. No problem. Very friendly. It's rigged. So this one is for Sean Cow. This will be the Charizard. Toss that over there. Incoming Wimpod. No, that's even worse. Purely cold. Wow, we must have opened the two coldest tins ever. Your boy, Russ. TCC, I want to say thank you for opening all my packs. You're a good 
you are good luck. And also, I'm also I realized I've gotten two golden rods, two Snorlax V Max, two Hyper Bead. I think you only got one Hyper Bead, but I could be wrong about that. Two special Firebirds, and let's go deep, long. 20 packs of Sword and Shield. Wink, wink. Oh, man, I think you're about to have a good time then. Let's see. Can you start weighing the tins? <laughs> He's got weighed tins. <laughs> Five. <laughs> I want to I wanna buy two heavy tins, mister. Thank you. <laughs> Did I get the tins from the fridge? They are actually next to the fridge. They are actually next to the fridge. I should show you my kitchen. My kitchen is basically just where I stage Pokemon cards at this point. One small Mr. Bro, that's not even a thing. All right, 20 packs right there. Your boy, Russ, you're about to do pretty good, I suspect. Your boy, Russ, might have bought these at exactly the correct time. Oops. But let's see. We don't know until we know. That's what it's all about, right? Nobody knows what's in these packs until... The packs are open. The packs could, in fact, be full of, like, Grandma's research, and it could have Keldeo, you know what I mean? Do you have any full boxes of Fates Collide? Yes. I have sealed boxes of Fates Collide. How late did you finish shipping? So, after our nine-and-a-half-hour stream, I returned to shipping, and I shipped for about four solid hours before the, the, uh, before the labels gave out. It was 8 a.m. It was about 8.30 a.m. in the morning when I ran out of labels. And so I just uh, went to bed after that because I had nothing else to do. Yeah, it was a busy night for me yesterday. Here we go. Here we go. Hashtag only hot pulls. What are we looking for in the Sword and Shield base set? Gold Zacian, Gold Zamazenta, Marnie Secret Rare, Marnie Full Art, and Grandma's Research. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> do I sleep? I do get sleep. Uh, I did not get good sleep last night, though. I just kind of did a lot of work. I'm trying to remember. Your boy Russ, doesn't he have a box? Did he say I have a box? This guy has a box, right? I'm pretty sure he has a box. Yeah, he's got a box. I remember now. Your boy Russ, if you got a box, you got to tell me, mister. You got to remind me, okay? To make sure I get you all your bulk. There we go. Full art bead. <laughs> Russ, you are the bead champion at this point. <laughs> Full art bead. So that's a green back. And we know that's that's not going to have anything on it. That's a green back. You know, we can just set these to the side like this. There we go. That's simpler. There we go. There's a white back. Vince is heading out. Good night, Vince. Lapras V, very good. Next pack, what do we got here? That's going to be a Galarian Preserker Hollow. It's another white back. Delmise. Come on, Zacian Zamazenta. We need Zacian Zamazenta. Can I order one Hidden Fates 10 with a razor blade on the side? <laughs> yes. There you go. That's the best V card to pull. The Zacian V card. This probably goes for 40 on its own, if I had to guess. 30, 40. That's a green back. What am I doing? I'm not supposed to pull that out. That's a white back. What do we got? That's going to be Sableye V. Okay. Lots of V cards. Where's the full arts? We pulled one full art, bead full art. Look at the, these are all white bags. Have you guys noticed that? Let me tell you exactly what happened. The previous two purchases basically cleaned out a bunch of green bags. And so now he's just pulling a bunch of white bags. It's actually ridiculous. Club of puss. Oh, that's green. That's green. Look, he's had, he's had like what? Six green packs so far? Seven. Oh, there we go. How many secret rare per booster box? Well, I've, I've had booster boxes that have no secret rares at all. Um, and then I've had plenty of booster boxes that only have one secret rare. But if you're lucky, two to three. And and on a rare occasion, four and even five. We've seen five. That's right, Perrier. Wow. What's this last pack? And the last pack is green. It's the worst box. You just don't know what you're going to pull until it's done being pulled. I thought that Russ was going to definitely pull some kind of nice secret rare out of this box. 
There was no secret rare in the box. There was one full art, and it was bead. Dude, tough box, man. Did you see how many white packs he pulled, too? There were so many whites. There were so many hit packs. Your boy, Russ. Not doing bad anyways. Like, so, with for 20 packs, this is what you got for 20 packs. You end up with full art bead and Zacian, right? So, you pull up, pull up bead and Zacian, and you got these other three. But no secret rares, man. That was a cold-ass box. No secret rare in that box. Renz is like, oof. Take that. TCC pulled the box straight out of the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> so cold. All right, let's put this over here. It's your boy. Where's your boy, Russ? There's Hawaii, Michael, Collision, Amazing, Spanky, KF, Jacob, Bond, Jake, Snake. Wait, did your boy Russ have a box or not? I can't remember now. Bondoom. Oh, here it is. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Thought I was going crazy. I see your Lillian here. That looks pretty nice. It's not the worst pulls, but I mean, it was not a hot box. So let's just say that. Wandoom. Like, for example, he could have not pulled the Zacian V, for example. Could have been something else like Keldeo V, right? It's your boy. I think I moved your other hit back over. Hibs on TikTok. Hibs on TikTok, he says. Ooh, TikTok time. Ooh. Ooh. Dizzle, four Hibs. All right, Dizzle going deep. Dizzle gonna get dizzy. Six hours art stream. Oh, I remember that. We got more evolutions on the way. So there'll be more evolutions any day now. I don't know when they're gonna arrive. Four hidden farts. Come on, Charizard. Show me up. Show me up one of those Charizards. Dizzle says two on TikTok if you'd like. All right. Two on TikTok. Dizzle TikTok. Two hips. Uh, let me place them somewhere where they won't get mixed up. There we go. Make sure you get the same two. It's real important. I don't want to change your hidden fates after all. Snip. So this will be the secret rare Charizard. Here's the Lance apology video. All right, guys, I'm sorry. Lance is the strongest weapon in Monster Hunter. All right, first two packs, that's a little cold. You got the darkness energy. Pack number two. Surprise will be out tomorrow, but you got to open on stream when you get it. <laughs> Sounds good. And cold. So you're relying on the other two packs to be hot, all right? What's going to be in the other two booster packs? What's up with these cold hidden? We had like a two tins with barely anything in them. So this is going to go in a Dizzle's bag. Where's Dizzle? Dizzle, Dizzle, Dizzle. Fature. Dizzle. Here you go. Toss that over there. Thank you, Jessica. Give me a moment. All right, he's gone. Woo! Easy mode. I'm so glad I got to do that. I'm going to have myself a little gummy. A little gummy time. Hell yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Ben hammer and gummies. Got me some gummies. Hell yeah. Mmm. 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 Oh my god. Freaking gummies. Okay.
Where were we? Alex R, one small. There we go. Looks like we got one, two, three, four, five, six spots left, and it begins. John Bright, you pay now, and then I just ship them over to you after they return. Got me for the bands, hell yeah. Asian Tim, Hibs on TikTok. Oh, we got a bunch of TikTok. Um, hmm. How much do we have? Neo Neo Hibs. Well, I tell you what, I'll, I'll throw you in there anyways. I was going to say, I think we got enough for one day, but we'll throw you in there anyways. One Hib. You got it, mister. How much for a lifesaver? <laughs> I start selling bags of candy as well. <laughs> I think we're caught up. Dude, we're caught up. How do we do it? Cut one HIV and a tip for banning the free. Oh, you want me to cut a hib? I mean, what if it's hot, dude? Oh, it's killing me, Cheese. I'll do it for you, Cheese. Oh, my God, Cheese. Too small. Too small. Two, three, four. What do we got? Wait, oh, I was supposed to cut this in half. I'm so sorry, Cheese. I wasn't thinking, I was thinking about something else. Okay, this was mine, this was not Cheese's. Let me put that to the side. That was a hit too, uh, Cheese, that was my pack. That was my pack, that wasn't your pack, that was my pack, Cheese. I haven't gotten your pack out, let me get your pack out. <laughs> Hold on, Cheese, I haven't gotten your pack out. Give me a second. That was my pack. <laughs> I wasn't thinking, Cheese, I was not thinking. I was thinking about the guy actually that we just banned. I, actually, you know, you want to know what I was thinking about? I was thinking about getting another moderator for the Discord, but then in my head I was like, "But the problem is, all the moderators are probably going to be watching the live stream." And then I'm like, "How do we get a guy who doesn't watch the live streams, but for some reason would be in the Discord? It makes no sense." All right, here we go. So I was thinking about all that, and then I just opened the pack like normal because that's my that's what my hands are used to. All right, cheese. You pick the pack, cheese. Four small mysteries, please, and thanks to all my TCC. Cheese, guaranteed, guaranteed shiny Charizard cut. Guaranteed Charizard ban. Because you know, I'm I'm busy hosting the stream. I can't really mod the Discord server and the live stream at the same time. But I was thinking to myself, well. If I was a moderator in the in the Discord, I'd probably be watching the stream. You know what I mean? So which one you want sliced, cheese? You you decide. You cut the full art in half. The Mew pack is gonna be hot, says Blastoise Buddy. Cheese was there. Cut the Mew! You got it! Cut the Mew! No problem. This time we do not reveal. Three, four. All right. Oh my God. Toss those into the bulk. You ready? Oh, I hope it's a full art because I, I did not mean to flip that one over. And it is, and it's the Mewtwo. Oh my God. You just lost a Mewtwo. What are you doing, Cheese? That's like a $200 card. Dude, and it's like perfectly centered. Why, Cheese? Why are you having me cut these packs? It makes no sense, Cheese. Dude. Cheese, it makes no sense, Cheese. Cheese, you could have traded this with me for like, you could have even asked for like 50 bucks of trades and I'd have jumped at that. I'd have been like, yeah, 50 bucks for Mewtwo, that's easy. Cheese, what are you thinking? <laughs> Cheese, it's like, cut a pack in half. Oh my god. I'm cringing, dude. Hold on. <laughs> You're gonna be like, oh, I want to I wanna find Cynthia. Oh, what if it had been Cynthia that you had cut? Jesus. Cheese. Alright, cheese, I'm gonna send it to you. <laughs> oh, no, ban cheese. 
There you go, cheese. <laughs> See, cheese, that's better than cutting the guzzler. The guzzler's boring. You want to cut the Mewtwo. Get it graded. Technically, it was your fault, says Jose. <laughs> oh, my God. Get it graded. Send a Pokemon Sate came that way. <laughs> I'm officially retired. No more cuts. Oh, my God, cheese. All right. Who's next? Nadam, too small. Sword and shield base. I have a box, Mr. Thanks. I have a box, Mr. Thanks. After Nadam, we have Danny A. Four small. Four small mysteries. Danny A? Yeah, Danny A. One, two, three, four. That's it. It's full. Danny A. That is the end of the small. We're gonna be, we're gonna be playing the small now. Oh my God, jeez! So give me a second. Okay, I'll I'll get to that when I get to that. Cool. What the frick? That's like a two hundred dollar card, jeez. Maybe more. I don't know what that's going for. That one looked perfectly centered too. The frick? I pulled a real boom. That was messed up, says Stephen. Let's get the small running before I lose my mind. I just coomed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty, forty one, forty two. That's a few packs. That's a few packs. That's one or two packs. But let's take a look at the prizes. So as usual, a spot in the large. And now, this is why it was kind of pricey. These are all vintage. We got vintage for alligator. Vintage Kabutops. Vintage base set Clefairy. Nice. And there's vintage base set Raichu. Nice. They look actually fantastic. Good luck to the winners. Will there be a movie night tomorrow, Mary? I want to go to movie night. Where's movie night? Where's the movie night? Okay, Raichu. Clefairy. For alligator. And what was the last one? Kabutops. Okay. What's... Wait, was the cut the hottest Hibben tonight? That's the hottest one tonight. Yeah, you just cut like a, a quality card, dude. That's a card you would not want to cut, Cheese. What are you thinking? Cheese is singing Nine Inch Nails Hurt. I cut myself today. <laughs> All right, next pack. <laughs> If you think about it, Cheese, if I had not kept that Guzzlord, you would not have cut that Mewtwo. It was a lucky mistake. Which one would you guys want to watch? I want to watch Akin Aka no Kimi no, no Nawa. That's the one I want to watch. Cut my pack into pieces. That was my last 10 bucks. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Got my pack into pieces. That was my last 10 bucks. Oh my god, jeez. You could have graded that and traded that. I think that's part of the fun of cutting, though, isn't it? Because you know you have a chance for the Charizard. All right. Let's get this shuffle on. Whoops. Oh, man. This is like a huge stack. This is like a huge stack. All right, we're going to cut it. And again. I feel like I could do three piles. Oh, my God. Don't look. <laughs> Just trying to get over the fact that we're cutting like a probably a PSA 10 Mewtwo from Hidden Face. It's like Smack, 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 smack. I should be in bed, but I was trolling the creep. It's 400, says Nate. Nate says that Mewtwo we sliced goes for 400 as a 10. What? 
Did it hurt inside? Yeah, it hurt a lot. Oop, mu oops, must have been a ghost then. All right, here we go. No, wait, the, the dice. Here we go. Almost forgot. Dust boot, so important. Landing on a 20. Wow. That's the highest number it can land on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oops, must have been a ghost then. Here we go. James B. Nope. Number two. Nope. Three. And Silver Chris with the doing pretty good on the luck himself. Pulling the fur alligator on number three. Wow. Silver Chris. Jesus. Okay. Who's next? So that was three, right? Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Your boy Russ. Waiting on eleven. Let's see what he got. Kaboo tops for your boy Russ. Here you go. I'm going to write Russ on the back. Hell yeah. Did you guys know I'm actually a huge fan of Kabutops? And one of my earliest favorite cards as a child was Shining Kabutops from Neo Destiny. Still have, I, I, I repurchased him after I got back into card collecting. And he's sitting in a box over there. He used to cost $500. That was 11, right? He used to cost $500. I think he's much more now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. He used to cost $500 as a 10. 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, number 17, Quentin. Wow, Quentin, you can't lose. What the hell? You had one spot on 17. The right you goes to Quentin. Oh, look, it's Quip. What's up, Quip? So I believe the right you might have been the most. Why did I just write right you on the back? <laughs> Quentin. I believe the right you might have been one of the most valuable ones. Tell Quip you cut the Mewtwo. Oh, yeah, these guys were, like, paying me to cut booster packs, and we cut a real valuable one. So Quentin's number 17. So the next one has to be 18. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 31 a winner. That's Gus Esp on 31. Is it Clefairy? It's the Clefairy. 31, Gus Esp picking up the Clefairy. Wow, Gus Esp keeps winning too. Oh, the Clefairy's the most valuable card here. Interesting. Nice job, Gus, on 31. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. The last spot was a winner this time. That's the one large going to Danny A. All right, Danny. The last spot, the last of the Mohicans. Danny A jumping into the, into the large. All right, moving quite quickly. Now that the smalls include a spot for the large, this is moving. Wow. And that's going to be the end of the small. All right. So here are the cards. We got Clefairy for Gus Esp. We've got Raichu for Quentin. Uh, Kabutops for Russ. And for Alligators for Silver Chris. Right? Yeah, Silver Chris. Beautiful. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Post my cut on TikTok. I can't do that, cheese. I would have to go in and edit it out somehow, and it would be a ton of work for me to do that. I probably should, actually. That would be pretty funny. <laughs> so let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We got to start another small. That's what we got to do next. Incoming small. Let's get this PSA 9 Thick Wick. 
The thickest wick. You know why. Can I tax deduct? No, you cannot. I'm pretty sure you can't. <laughs> I think you're the first person to ask me that question. That's a very interesting question. <laughs> Are my donations tax deductible? Because <laughs> that would be nice. I do post that cut Mewtwo, you'll get banned for sure. Oh, look, it's quick. Buy a cosmic wand medium mystery and extras for you biceps. Call me hand. Call me hand? What? I'm happy you picked my spots. You are lucky at picking my spots, sir. It makes me happy. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> All right, give me a minute. I'm gonna search for some other PSA cards here. So this PS, this uh, small is gonna be a little lopsided. All the value is gonna be in that Blastoise. I gotta find some other cards. Make sure you cut it. <laughs> what? If he wins, make sure you cut it. What? One small for cheese, but if, if you actually win, you have to cut it. What? It makes no sense. I'm still looking for other cards we can throw in here. The problem is the rest of these cards are too valuable. Small, please. I need that Blastoise laughing face. All right, hold on, hold on to your pants because this one's going to be a little pricey as well, okay? And that's just because the, the Blastoise is in. So the Blastoise is valued, believe it or not, even as a six, this Blastoise by himself is valued at 120. I'm going to reduce the price of the other ones just to make it so that there's not too many spots. So I'm kind of giving out these cards at a lower price than, than if I had perhaps listed them. So let's see. Ooh, 43 spots. That's that's the highest we've ever done is 43. But that's that's because of this one guy. He's causing all the all the price. 43. <laughs> Put the Mewtwo in. I tell you what I'll do, guys. I'm going to pick uh, a bonus card to slip into one of the packs to make it uh, not so bad. Okay, there's there's a long number of spots in here, all 43 spots. Uh, to make it a little more uh, fun, why don't I go ahead and toss in a Shining Ho-Oh as well, okay? So somebody will pick up the Shining Ho-Oh. So there'll be a total of six prizes. He's This one's pretty nice looking, I guess. Shining Ho-Oh. We're going to snip him out of his package. There we go. So there's going to be one large spot, one shining ho, -Oh, one shining Jirachi, one Pokemon breeder, one birds, but most importantly, this base set Blastoise. Small mystery, random spots, please, and thanks. So this small mystery is all about winning the Blastoise. The other ones are like they're nice, they're okay, uh, but really it's just about this guy. Good luck, guys. 
And you know, the large spot, maybe you'll win the whole large game on that large spot. You know what we should do? We should put a star next to the ones that are from the small game. All right. Sorry if I missed any comments. We've just been very busy. Very busy. So Danny A finished out the previous small. Blastoise Buddy is right behind him. He said, four small mysteries, please, and thanks. All right, actually, Blastoise Buddy, Buddy would probably want to be in this one. So I'm going to put Blastoise Buddy right here on six, seven, eight, nine. Good luck, Blastoise Buddy. TF, Sword and Shield Base. I have a box. All right, now I need to go get some Sword and Shield again. I'll be back. Five small mystery. I want spot one hundred twelve million three hundred twenty thousand three hundred twenty five. Can't be over here, Kitty. Oh, Kitty pushed the. Oh, it's not too bad. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I need to take the trash out, guys. The trash cans are all the way filled. Thanks to those hidden fates tins, they really fill the trash can up. All right, here we go. Oh, I got white paint everywhere. How do I get on that Blastoise list? How's it going, Justin? Will you just buy a, a small mystery repack? They're five bucks each. So, TF. Let's get it, TF. You ready? Good luck, mister. Four random small, sir. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna go stream on my free cam. What? One, two, three, four. Mary's like, I need to pay the bills. Oh my God. Mary, you gotta say, I gotta pay off my college loan. <laughs> Offer my Mewtwo as a prize. You really want me to? I can do that. All right, guys. This sliced Mewtwo. This sliced Mewtwo that she sliced in the live stream, uh, and so it's been recorded forever, uh, is going into the small as another one of the prizes. It, it's more like just a funny thing. It's not really. It doesn't really have value. Uh, but yeah, if you want, if you want to give it out. Here we go. So who's this for again? I'm sorry. Tf. Good luck, Tf. Does Tayf say I have a box? Tayf says I have a box. <laughs> oh, what did we pull? Oh, that was it. The Zacian V. It was upside down too. How funny. That's it. You did it, Tay. Woo. <laughs> and it looks so well centered. We finally pulled one. There we go. The stream's awesome now. Jesus. This card, if it grades a 10, right now it's going for like some like over $300. Nice. You got to grade that one, Tay. 20 in the small. My cut gave you the Zacian, Tay. You're welcome. <laughs> Jesus saying he made a pokey sacrifice and that's what caused the good pull. <laughs> Thank God Cheese didn't buy that pack. Oh my God. Oh, double full art pull. Tay, this is like the luckiest five packs of your life. Oh my gosh, picking up the Zacian and the Wobbuffet together. Small repacking and then five cosmic please. Jesus. Jesus. Frost moth. There we go. <laughs> Let's get that in there. Oh my god. Let's get Tayaf written here. Two random small spots, mister. Two random small spots. Imagine if Cheese wins his own cut Mewtwo. <laughs> that would be fate, wouldn't it? Hey, you got to grade this, Asian. We got to have that come back at 10. That would be amazing. I think it looks really good. I think it definitely has a shot at a 10. So, Tayf. You're in this bag. Taz fan. Travel. What do we got here? Silver, Tyler, Shu, C. Shinati, Sam, Shane, Select Figure, Supreme, Toxtricity. Where'd your bag go? 
Did I miss you? Travel. Do you need a new bag? Tyler, shoe. Oh, he's great in the gold doggy. Grade the gold doggy. Hell yeah. Can't wait to find out what he comes back as. Hell yeah. So we flip him around. And he just looks perfect. There's no way this... I think that this is definitely a 10, in my opinion. If it's not, I'm going to be so disappointed. I never know what to believe anymore with... with uh, PSA, they're so picky, but I mean, I'm looking at it and it just looks like a straight 10. Tay F. Sweet. Also, the Wobble Fett. So it looks like maybe you don't have a bag. Maybe I shipped you. I think that's probably what happened. Man, this pile's getting too big. The T pile, we're going to have to start putting. I don't know what we're going to have to start doing. Maybe we'll start doing like an overflow into the middle. TCC has bigger problems? What? Oh, I'm sorry. Tay's a girl? I did not know that. Tay? TCT, you should fill the small since I got 20 spots. Oh, snap. Really? Oh, that's always risky, man. I hope you get a win. <laughs> you got 20 spots? No way. Who's after Tay? Gus S. Five cosmic, one medium, and the extra is for you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So let's see. Gus Esp. There you go. One media mystery, five cosmic, he says. Cosmic equips. Let me move this out of the way. All right, we got five booster packs. One, two, snip. Three, four, snip. And five. Snip. And we'll go ahead and toss these over here. Here we go. Who's this for? <laughs> it's for Gus. Good luck, Gus. Bless Cephalon. Next pack. What do we got next? Three, four. Zatu, we got your Necrozma. Pack number three, come on, pack number three. Let's get the Reds Pikachu. Rapidash, ooh, I'm gonna show that off tonight. Pack number four, come on, Reds Pikachu. You got a green back, it's gotta be Reds Pikachu. Nope, that's a lose, full force. Last pack, oh, that sucked. All five of them were green. Hmm, man, it's tough to pull hot cards. Oh, and that's Como O as well. No hot pulls this round. I am sorry. Well, I got to throw in something extra. Let's get the Charizard going for this guy as well. We're we'll throwing these Charizards. I've got a lot of them. All right. And the Ultra Necrozma. Zacian V. Yeah, he goes for like 325 or something like that. Last time I checked. Okay, Gus, let's put it into your bag. Your bag's over here. Here you go, Gus. My cat's meow. Meow. Pay attention to me. We have Ice, who says he wants a pack of hidden farts. Good luck, Ice. All right, here we go. Snip. <laughs> I think that's going to be cold. No! Only hot packs. Only hot. Sorry about that, man. That is very cold. Ice, almost as cold as an ice cube. Tayf says one small for cheese. If he wins, make sure you cut it. Okay, so we're going to write down cheese here. Who's next? Jerd, small please. I need that Blastoise. All right, Jerd. Jerd on 25. Silver Chris, too small. Too big. Too small. All 
All right, we're giving you 11 and 12. We find music. He wants a small. Five crimson. We find music. Danny A. Five small mysteries. 11, 23, 23, 25. Danny, that is way too confusing. I'm doing this for you, Danny. Danny, I'm so sorry, but that is way too confusing. And it, I promise you, it does not increase your luck. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. Those are probably like your lucky numbers or something like that, Danny, but I can barely read that. <laughs> You have to understand, Danny. I'm sorry. If you want, I can refund you, though, okay? If you if you want me to refund it, I can totally refund it, okay? That is, that is too much work, I think. <laughs> you can say just throw it in randomly. Death Bat says... Oh, oh, please, you got a Death Bat. He says, ugh, it's fine. I'm sorry, man. It's, it's complicated. You're like... I want spot 11, spot 23, spot 20, spot 3, spot 25. It's actually too much work. <laughs> Mr. Horror says four random. So Mr. Horror, you can do that as well. So he just says four random. And so I don't have to do any thinking. I have to write his name down a bunch of extra times, though. Technically, the reason it, why it doesn't matter is because the cards are shuffled, right? So as long as you believe that the cards are appropriately shuffled, which they are, uh, your order on the list does not affect whether you win or not. What affects whether you win is how the card's shuffled. So you could be in spot one or in spot 43. Neither of those spots matter. The shuffle matters. All right, here we go. Next pack. Edson, 20 in the small for Edson. Jesus. So we're going to say one, two, three. Three, four, five. So Edson's going to take spots one to five. And then what do we got? One, two, three, four. So there's some more spots for Edson. I think we're up to nine spots then. One, two. We're going to say Edson. So he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11. You got 11 spots so far, so I got to give you nine more spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. There we go. And then we, we've got these three spots left, and it's over. What? No, wait. There's also 23. 23 is available. Oh, my God. Edson. Justin Red says, small repack gig, then five cosmic. Okay. So, Justin, we'll put you on this one right here. Justin R. And five cosmic equips, he says. Give me them cosmics. My cat's over here meowing. He says, why couldn't you give me 23? Says Danny. Danny, it was too complicated. Danny, if you say, like, give me random ones, I will try to do that. But uh, I'm not going to, like, stare at the screen, come back here, write your name, stare at the screen, come back here, write your name. But if you want, I can refund you. Somebody else will buy those spots. So if you don't if you don't want these, I'll refund you, Danny. Just let me know before we start, okay? Yeah, if you, if you want to back out, you can back out, okay? Oops. Kitty, you got to stop meowing. My kitty's like, she really wants me to play with her. You think you can take my special treatment for me, says Mary? Jason said. Here we go, pack number one. All right, good luck, Justin. That's not two. We got a big team. Pack number two. Codes. That's right. Throw. That's a green. Wow, how much green are we going to go through? It's got to be white soon. Slugma. What do we got? Cricket tot. Watch Danny sweep. <laughs> Whoa, those were all green as well. And <laughs> no trader arts. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to open another box of cosmic because that's a that's a loaded box of, of cosmic right now. Gonna have to snipe that cosmic. Alright. 
Justin R. Justin R. Over here. R. Keller, James B. Keith. Okay, looks like we're going to get you a new bag, Justin. Here you go, Justin. That's probably a loaded box. Go ahead and give me that cosmic, mister. Rocket mystery. Rocket mystery. Sounds good. Who's next? Harry M. Too small. You got it, Harry. Forty and forty-one. That leaves number forty-two left. Blastoise, buddy. Five more small, but in random spots. Blastoise, buddy. I'm afraid there was room for one more spot. I'm sorry, man. I tell you what. Blastoise, buddy, had his birthday, and he's got Blastoise in the name. Blastoise, buddy. I'm throwing in this special spot just cause, just cause, okay? Bonus spot for Blastoise, so I'm, I'm using up another one of your spots to give you an extra chance. All right, here we go. Here we go. We need 44 packs. This is the largest small. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, small seven, eight, spot. nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, so that's twenty. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. That's it. That's going to be all the packs. They're all sold out. Now, the prizes. Cheeses Cut Mewtwo from Hidden Fates. It, it's still pretty looking. You could put it in your folder, actually. It's, it's got actually some story to it because it's recorded here in the live stream. You can actually go look it up. Shining Ho-Oh. One person will walk away with the Shining Ho-Oh. It's actually not bad for $5. One spot in the large, normally costing $20. We've got Shining Jirachi 8. Pokemon. Sure. Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon Breeder 9, Moltres, Aptos, Articuno 9. So you'll notice those other three are not like super valuable. That's because most of the value is right here on this Blastoise. I mean, these guys actually do have value, by the way. So all three of these do have a value, but it's around the $20 to $30 amount. But this Blastoise is expensive. Okay. Good luck, guys. It's quite a few prizes. Let me go ahead and start building the prizes up. If I win the large, can you put it in the rocket instead of the large? Eds and I cannot do that. I can only put it in the large. People have to people have to actually purchase the uh, rocket packs. Is a it was worth as asking though. That's a fair thing to ask. Maybe one day we'll do one large, one rocket. TCC, give me the ho oh. All right, how many more do I need? I need four more of these. Same value for the spot. I, I, I'm aware of that, Edson. I'm aware of that. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Go ahead and get this plane again. So, here we go. This is going to say, uh, which one should we put the Blastoise on? Pokemon Center Lady, obviously. Blastoise. Then we have uh, the birds. And then we have uh, Breeder. And finally, we have Jirachi. Sex and Nurse. That's right. Maybe what you could do, Edson, is you could get somebody to buy you a spot in the uh, rocket and trade you your spot in the large. You could do that. Did Ruby make this small? I don't think Ruby's in this one. This one basically sold out very fast because Edson bought like 20 spots, which I actually don't. I don't recommend doing that, but uh, maybe it will pay off for him. You never know. It's a big gamble, basically. Edson took a, a big gamble, and it might pay off big, but we don't know that yet. If it does pay off big, I will be happy for you, Edson. Actually, I think most of my concern is that it won't pay off big, and then I'll feel bad for you, and I don't want to feel bad for you. Here we go. Oh. 
Oh, there's so many of these. I can barely hold it. TCC confirmed empathy. No, no, no. I, I'm, I'm a psychopath. What are you talking about? I don't want to feel bad. <laughs> Actually, I guess that's technically what empathy would be because trying to avoid the feeling of feeling bad is not the same as simply not feeling the feeling of feeling bad. Did I say feeling three times in one sentence? Whoa, that was a big shuffle. Yes, so you got four spots right here, Blastoise, buddy. And then I, you got two spots down here, okay? Total of six spots. Oh, you're talking about uh, from what you just purchased. Well, I threw this. I threw in an extra spot just for you to allow you to purchase that, Blastoise, buddy. If you want, I can remove that right now. Do you want to save that spot? You got to let me know because I'm shuffling them right now. Yeah, if you want me to remove spot number 44, I can do that. Hidden fates, please. Please, mister. Oh, I was supposed to count these again, damn it. Double check the count. It would suck to be off by one. I will just assume that they were counted correctly. Oh, yes, that's boot time for sure. There we go. Good luck, players. Blastoise Buddy, uh, I can do that. However, if you want me to do that, I'm going to go ahead and erase number 44. Go, Give me a moment, guys. I'm actually going to now remove a light pack from the game, okay? All right, the light pack has been removed. All right, here we go. Number 11. All right. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Your fates are sealed. Here we go. Pack number one, number two, three, four, and five. Blast to his buddy, number six. Remember, only one person can win. Seven, eight, and nine. Cheese on 10. Oh, Silver Chris on 11. 12. No Silver Chris. Number 13, Mr. Horror. Number 14, Edson. 15. 16. Oh, man. 17. 17 is a winner for Edson. Edson on 17. Picks up the Pokemon Breeder. Okay. Pokemon Breeder for Edson. Whoa, it made it really far with no hot pull yet. Somebody in the second half is going to win. There you go, Edson. Wrote your name down. We'll do a quick recount. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We're on 18, and the Blastoise has not been pulled. Ready? 18. 19. Oh, 19's a hit. What's it going to be? One of the prizes was removed. It's the birds. <laughs> Get nervous there. Get nervous. Danny A picking up the birds. It's not over for Danny either. There we go. There you go, Danny. Birds is really one of the better ones, actually. I'll do a quick recount. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We're on 20. 20... 21? Oh, 21 to win. <laughs> it's the large. 21 large. Danny A. Danny A, you did well, actually. Picking up another large spot. He's got another pack. 22. What's 22 going to be? Oh, no luck on the Blastoise, Danny. So we're on 23 with Justin R. 24. Ooh, we find picking up the Ho-Oh. Picking up the ho -oh on tw Oh, wait. That's not the ho -oh. That's the Mewtwo. <laughs> we find you got Jesus Mew Mewtwo. All right, let me throw this in your box. The sliced Mewtwo. The best card, obviously. That's the card we were all simping for. I'm going to write... Oh, I'm going to put it in a bag and write your name. 
So we find was on 24, which is easy. So now we know we're on 25. There we go. We find. All right. Get you a fresh bag. Put that over there. 25. You guys want to recount? Let's do a recount. I'm pretty sure we're on 25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 25 is Jurd. Oh, no luck. Who says 26 is Edzin? 27 is Edzin. Oh, Edzin. Will your gamble have paid off? <laughs> it's the Jirachi Edzin. Picking up the Jirachi. Okay. Okay, Jirachi. Everyone sweating bullets yet? Edzin. You still got a chance, Edzin. So that was 27. Unless Horror takes it right here on 28. Nope. Edzin on 29. 30. 31. 32. 33. Oh, that's the Ho'o on 33. 34. 35. Oh my god, what is this? That's the Blastoise. Edzin sweep. Congratulations, Edzin sniping the Blastoise and two of the other cards, I think. Edzin sniping the Blastoise. He went deep and it actually paid off. Wow. Jared says I cry. It paid off. Congratulations. <laughs> See? Edzin. That's like a complete sweep for Edzin, basically. Look at what Edzin walks away with. He picked up the Blastoise, the Pokemon Breeder, and the Shining Jirachi. You got all three of these, mister. Holy. Holy. That's actually just lucky. That's actually just pretty lucky. Because you didn't buy out all the spots. You only bought 20 of them. Let me make sure there was nothing else. What were we on? 30-something? I don't think there's anything else in here. I just can't remember. We already pulled the large. <laughs> okay. Woo! Blastoise, buddy, it was good that you pulled that extra spot out because it was not a winning spot. Edson, let's get this over here. And now, Ed, and now, Blastoise, buddy, I can apply that to the rocket game. You got a bag on the table, Edson? It's not good, guys. This... We are already full over here, and I just finished shipping. That's not good. The table's full, man. Edson, let me start you a new bag. Edson taking the Blastoise, man. Damn. Going deep and sniping. You know, if he took 20 spots, that means there were only 24 spots left. Crazy. You guys basically just entered to help pay for his Blastoise. <laughs> okay, next game. That's how the games are played. That's how the games go. What hot pull will we get next? Don't go to the casino. <laughs> Here's a PSA 10 S Beyond Deoxys. I got a lot of cards. Here's a cool looking Venusaur. That's a Venusaur 9, though. Jirachi 10. Here's a secret rare Como O. I want to see if I can get one more 10 in there. I should put this in there. Look at this guy. Como, oh. Como, oh. The best dragon. Oh, that's expensive. I can't do that one. It's hard to do a lot of prizes when they're so expensive if they're actually tens. Ampharos, maybe? Let me look up their value together. 
<laughs> my heart was pounding. Was that an exciting one? <laughs> you won, you did it. All right, we're doing these. There's gonna be 36 spots on this one, so this one's definitely smaller than the last. What's nice about this this round is there's actually gonna be two PSA cards. So there's gonna be two PSA 10s, Espeon Deoxys and Ampharos. This Ampharos actually comes from the team-up set, and the team-up set's gotten real expensive. It's like $300 a box now. So it's actually pretty cool, and especially if you're a fan of Ampharos. And then, of course, this one will probably always be popular. It's an Evolution Espeon. So we got those two 10s. Two people walk away with 10s. And then the 9s are actually decent. Here's a 9 Venusaur from Team Up. Also, you know, once again, we're talking about Team Up. The Como O is probably one of the less expensive cards in this group. Uh, he's a secret rare, at least, so that's kind of cool. Uh, but I guess people aren't simping too hard for Como O. And, of course, we're going to have a spot for the large. So that's the small now. I got to go ahead and add 36 spots. You guys are real. You really like this. Because I sell out so fast. Mystery. 34, 35, 36. Okay. Let's see. Blastoise Buddy needs a spot over here, right? Here you go, Blastoise Buddy. Good luck, mister. There's three spots left in the Rocket Mystery Game. All right. Five small 1115, please, sir. We find Danny A, Death Bat Nation, Mr. Horror, Edson, Justin Red, Harry, Blastoise Buddy. There we go. Tay F, grade the gold doggy. We got that taken care of. Jake's, he wants five cosmic, five crimson. You got it, Jake's. Five crimson. Where's the crimson? All right, we got five crimson. And let me get this. Let's get that rocket pack filled up. Toss this over here. Sweet. Two, three, four, five. There we go. How many spots left in the rocket? Uh, there's three spots left in the rocket mystery, and there's like 28 spots left in the booster box, I think. Here we go. Nate says two after mine. Ooh, so we got to catch up to Nate. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. And five. Then on the crimson, we got one, two, three, four, and five. Good luck on your pulls. There's these in here. Ooh. Small. One and off. Why not? All right, good luck, Jakes. Pack number one. Oh, that's a white back. Come on, white backs. Wait, Jakes, you got a box, don't you? Did he say I've got a box? He didn't say I have a box, but I feel like he does. Cacnea Guzzlord GX, nice. Von Doom was the first one. What? What are you talking about? Here we go. One, two, three, four. We got a Stuffle. Three, four, codes. Miss Mages, somebody came in asking for codes. Hey, Master, where are the codes at? <laughs> we find out the inflated uh, viewers is actually just little kids coming in for the codes. <laughs> where are the codes? 
I have a box. I have a dream. All right, the Crimson, you pull Guzzlord. Let's see how you do on the Cosmic. Ten, sun and moon base, please, sir. That's Whalemore. I think I can keep stacking these here. I think I can keep stacking these on top of here. I heard there were codes here. Codes! <laughs> There we go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We do actually have to check greenbacks with... There we go, it's Chin Chow. Yeah, we do have to check greenbacks with Cosmic because Cosmic... Cosmic gives you a chance for trainer arts. Solgaleo Reverse Hollow looking pretty fine. Ooh, it feels like I got something crawling on my leg. Here we go. Two, three, four. That's Rock Rough. Drop the base. Drop the base. What? <laughs> Last pack. Ooh. That was pretty cold, mister. Hmm. Well, let's get you a Charizard. I've been giving Charizards out all night. We're going to get you a Charizard as well, Jakes. Hmm. Those felt a little cold. Hmm. We need more Zation pulls. Hmm. I'm sorry, mister. Let's see. This is going straight over to Jake's, right? Jake's, Jake's. You should have a bag in here then. Kelly Ray, James B, Jake's. I found an alternative art, Charizard Brexton. Giving out Zards, you say? That's right. Fancy Zards. Here you go, Jake's. Giving you that extra Zard. Zard GX. My chair is way too squeaky. Let me get these bags off the table real fast, guys. We got too many bags. Kind of piling up. So we're first. I got stand up anyway. Let me send them way too long. All right. Let's see. Some Chris. He's right here. And you're. Where's Jake's? Collision. Jacob. Taya. Bondi. There's Jake's. I found you. All right. Sweet. Dude. There is no walking space over here. This is way too crowded. Oof. Who's next? Sorry about that, Jake. That was pretty tough. Ruby says small. Ruby Rod. Von Doom. He wants a small. Nadem, Rocket Mystery. All right. That's getting very close. Ruby R, Cosmic Gimme Dem Junk Hollows. You got it, Ruby. Three, four, five. He says, I was super late to the last small. It's because Edson bought them all out. Edson bought out... 20 spots in that small and it paid off how crazy was that he walked away with three of the psa cards including the blastoise so he gambled big and he actually won big it's crazy all right let's see what you got let's see what you got so this is for ruby good luck ruby i bought one space in the medium it's a sam h oh did i miss it and boar, you got this black Caillou Rim. What the heck is a Caillou Rim? Is that like a Zekrom? We got Flabebe. It's Flabebe. What the heck is a black Caillou Rim? What do we got? We got End Resolve. Slot number one for Team Rocket. Three, four. Weavile. You can't be here, Weavile. Weavile, trainer art, looking off-centered, unfortunately. And last pack. Wow, you were not wrong, mister. You pulled two white backs, both hollow. Duskull. Holy. 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 All right. That's, um... We gotta get some hotter pulls, guys. I don't know what to say. You can put Ho-Oh in a card saver for me, please. Too small mystery. Nineteen and twenty-two, please. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. Let's take care of Ruby. Ruby. 
Eds and I'd like to do that. The, the problem with doing that is what would end up happening is I wouldn't know where to place him on the table. He would be like, he would be kind of awkward. You can send the Ho-Oh straight off the grade if you want. Then I would be happy to put him into a card saver. Caver? I can't, I can't speak. Card saver. Who's next? Asian Tim, small in random spots. All right. Asian Tim. Your boy Russ, four spots in the new small mystery, please and thank you. And that gold vision V law. And I was going to make a joke about sniping that other hoe. <laughs> it's your boy. I know, man. You must have been like, grr, that's my zation when you saw it. <laughs> okay, let's see who's next. Gus, he wants a Hibben Fates. You got it, Gus. Your wish is my command. Snip. Gus, did, Gus purchased that 20 minutes ago. I'm doing my best just to keep up with Streamlabs. It is actually really crazy. Oh, and oh, that was a hit. It didn't look like a hit. That was so wild. Weird. Maybe they just look different. I don't know. Nice, nice. All right. You're not walking away with nothing. Nothing. So this goes into Gus's bag. Man, wouldn't it be nice if we pulled, like, I don't know, a full art Mewtwo out of the hidden? That would be cool. Let's get 10 green backs in a row. Coach. Manny, book box, HIB, cosmic, please, Mr. Nudge Wink. You got it, mister. Give me a second. I need to order more of those medium boxes. All right, I'm going to be using the tape dispenser in a moment. So it's going to make a really loud noise. All right, hold your eardrums, guys. Hibben, hold your ears. All right, we're good. Let me get these wires out of the way. There we go. And this one is going to say Coach on it. Coach. Manny. Number seven and number 20 for small. Yeah, place it right here, I think. Good spot for it. Oh, actually, I gotta put something on the bottom here. I forgot about that. I forgot a step. I need padding. Where can I get padding? Right here, maybe? I'm looking for padding right now for your box. I, mean, I got some padding. <laughs> I got some padding. Let's get let's get some more. This, I think this will do it. Yeah, that'll do it. All right, you're good, Gus. I like to pad the bottom of the box because I know how rough they treat these. All right, book box, and then what? So, so, Coach Manny didn't just want that. He also wanted Cosmic and Hib, but I don't know how much. Hib. Small spot, sir. Let me let me do some math to find out how much. So fifty seven minus thirteen. Forty four. Minus thirty. So one pack of hib. You got it, mister. Gus is heading out. Good night, Gus. You guys don't want to stay up all night with me? What's tonight? It's, it's a Thursday night, right? Which makes it Friday. It is Friday. It's 1.33 a.m. Friday time. There we go. All right. Starting with the Cosmic Equips packs. One, two, three, four. He's pulling a lone Persian, one of my wife's favorite Pokemon. She likes Suicune, too. She's a big fan of Suicune. The girly Pokemon. What? Girls like girly Pokemon? Imagine that. We got Little Pup. Three, four. 
Ooh, wishy-washy. Fill me on the rocket sheet. Uh, we're going in order. We're going in order on Streamlabs, okay? And there's a little bit of a line. Oh, picking up the secret rare Sogalia Lunala. There we go. We're waiting for the hits to show up. Jesus. Look at that. That looks well-centered and everything. Very good, man. What next? Another green pack. Three, four. What do you got, coach? Oh, nothing there. And here we go. Hibben Fates. Got the Hibs. That looks cold. And it is cold. Amazing. So you walk away with the secret rare, Solgalia Lunala, and you got a booster box now. You got a Poke Box, I mean. Let's fill that Poke Box up with your bulk. So anytime you get bulk now, coach, you just anytime you get cards, just remind me that you got a box. And I will go looking for it. Coach Manny. Toss it over there. Okay, and I know you have a nice bag on the table somewhere, probably in the first slot over here. Oh, man, I'm having a real problem where the there's simply too much. The organization system I have can't really deal with this many people. Anita, Cro-Mag, Cyber, Chief, Andy, Antonio. I don't think you're in there, so I'm, I'm going to get you a new bag. Any interesting boxes for me? Yeah, so, uh, Mary, the box I recommend for you is still the base set box. This one right here. Mary, this base set box gives you a chance for Lily, Espeon, and Umbreon. Three cards I think you would like a lot. Uh, the other set you might consider a new one, Fates Collide, Collide arrived, and it has it has a Glaceon, Umbreon, those two Pokemon in it, Glaceon and Umbreon. So that's the other one. So Fates Collide and the base set are both going to be pretty decent for you. I mean, unless you're looking for different Pokemon, which if you are, just let me know. Coach Manny. Toss this over here. Woo! We're done taking care of Coach Manny. And now we can move on to Silver Chris, who wants two spots in the small. Let's see, let's see. Silver Chris. Fifteen and sixteen. Devin A, five small spots, 11 to 15. <laughs> Those are exactly the ones that are full. Uh, I'm going to start you over here. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry, Devin. Those are exactly the spots that are all gone. <laughs> exactly those spots are gone. We find music says small. Why not? Why not? Give myself a shot. It's fun when it when it works, right? One spot, one win. Devin A, 10 Sun and Moon base. Please, sir. You got it, mister. Sun and Moon, where is it? Mary says, give me a base. All right. Sounds good. So we're going to be opening up, I think, a whole booster box for Mary. Four and five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And place this over here. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten packs for Devin A. Good luck, Devin. Nice to see you again, man. Devin, you always seem to go pretty deep. Okay, pack number one is green. Pack number two, also green. Pack number three, that's green. Pack number four is a white back. Pack number five, six, seven, eight. Oh, my God. Nine, ten. Okay, so that actually evened out right at the end, didn't it? Three white versus... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven green. So roughly almost uh, every two packs you get one white. But then again, not all whites will be hollow. Let's see what or not all not all whites will be GX or um or full art, right? So let's see. 
Here we go. What do we got? So, like this one. This is just hollow Toxapex. How about this one? Let's see what's in this one. Oh, don't put them outside, Tyler H. If you got a lot of cards, keep them inside, okay, man? Keep them air-conditioned. Look at that. See, so, Mary, this is that uh, Umbreon, right? So you can go after the Umbreon in the set. And the next pack, what do you got, Devin A? Let's see. Nice, pulling the Solgaleo full art. Very cool. Solgaleo Lunala are in this set. Umbreon, Solgaleo are your hot pulls. Everything else will be cold pulls. Very cool. Law's got AC and it's insulated. Damn, dude. You renting rooms? I need an upgrade. Dude, this place we live in is so freaking small, man. There's no room. It's so small. Like, we, uh, I mean, I could show you the whole house by just spinning around in one spot. I can show you the whole house. My wife and I, we need a larger home. All right, Devin A. And now you should have a bag. Danny. Oh, no. There's way too many bags now. It's, <laughs> it's getting difficult. Here we are, Devin A. Can you show Rocket Game? I sure can. The Rocket Game has two spots in it. There you go. Two spots in the Rocket Game. Somebody ought to, like, keep score or something. Okay. Justin R. Three small packs. Pretty please. Okay, here we go. There you go, Justin. Seven, eight, nine. After Justin, we have Aki. Drop the base. Drop the base. Is that you picking up base set? Or are you doing sword and shield base set? I think he's doing sword and shield base set. I'm kind of confused. Somebody paid 22 and another guy paid... Oh, okay. Base says 21. Okay, so one guy must have overpaid by a dollar. That's what he did. Greenbacks weigh more and usually don't have hits. Actually, they all weigh the same. Greenbacks weigh the same as whitebacks. Okay, he wants sword and shield base. Here we go. Three, four, five. Thought you said they weighed more. Take my best card on the table the grade on the tip for the hard work, sir, mister. So let me explain. This this card weighs less than this card. So this card is actually heavier. Maybe that's what you meant. This card weighs less, this card weighs more. But the reason they insert these different cards into the pack is to counter off counterbalance the weight of the rare card. So the counterbalance makes it so that the packs weigh the same. The packs weigh the same. That's the point of that. Have I shown these off? So the packs weigh the same. All right, here we go. Snip. Which will be really interesting when people do like box splits in the future. They won't be able to weigh the uh, packs to know which ones are light and which ones are heavy. <laughs> Here we go. Pack number one. Who is this for again? Aki. Good luck, Aki. Does Aki have a box? You know what? Aki did not say I have a box, so I'm just going to assume he does not. I'm not even going to try to remember. We have Thwacky. Pack number two. We've got Mudbray. Pack number three. Oh, man. Three greens. We've got Lum Berry. Pack number four. Three, four. Rookity. Oh, my God. And pack number five. What's this? Drampa. Drampa and Tapu Coco V. All right. Picking up the Tapu Coco V card. Let's see. Let's get this into your box. Aki. Aki, I think I shipped you. I'm sure I shipped you. I'm sure because I had to recall that I didn't get your PSA card. Renz, did you snipe those code cards he showed off? What? Oops. 
There you go. All right, there we go. Who's next? Simmer, slot number one for Team Rocket. Simmer 23. Good luck, Simmer. Nice to meet you. Simmer 23. That leaves spot number three. What? Jessica E says two smalls, 19 and 22. Okay, who's next? Samuel H. Base says sword. Let's get 10 green back. I see what you're saying now. One, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, Mary, did you still want to buy a whole a whole booster box? Is that what you were wanting, Mary? Snip. Did you put Blastoise Buddy in the rocket? Yep, yes I did. He got spot number four. Yes, I did. All right, here we go. Pack number one is green. If I win the lottery, these mines the Sam H? I believe they are. Yes, they are, Sam. Here we go. Sam H. Thanks for your patience, Sam. Just a constant line. We got citrus berry. Oh, man. Where'd Mary go? Did Mary want me to open her? She says, sorry, hi, was AFK. Mary, you still want me to open you a booster box? Rocket mister, dude. Oh, thank God. You still have a shot. <laughs> Here we go. You ready, Sam H? LVV. You know, it is better than actually... She says, I don't feel lucky today, so save it for later. Sounds good, Mary. You don't feel lucky? I bet today's Mary's actual lucky day. She just doesn't know it. <laughs> Mary, what are you talking about? Today's your luckiest day. Mary, there's no such thing as luck. Okay, so Sam... Sam, 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 Sam. Sean, Trev, Silver. Here we are, Sam H. I feel cursed. I've been losing so many matches in league. Aw. I'm sorry to hear that, Mary. Oof. Woof. So, Sam H. Angel Z, he wants a pack of Hibbit. I got any more Hibbit? Where's my Hib? All right, I got to go get some Hib. Universe is telling me not to open because it's cursed day. <laughs> okay, Mary. <laughs> what if the universe is trying to play a cruel trick on you? What if today's actually luck day and the universe is playing a cruel trick where it wants you to not try? Pop this over here. Mary goes, Oh, I didn't think of that. Let's go for it. So let's see. This goes right over to Angel. Good luck, Angel. Would you trade Magby for some packs? That's tempting. Uh, how many packs would you want for that, Magby? Not bad. You got the... Mr. TCC, I want to give it another bow. Your boy is determined to pull more gold. And can I see... Ooh. When it slows down, I want to send off some grades, please and thanks, sir. Your boy, Russ? Sword and shield base. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I don't think I have any more sword and shield base set is the problem. Let me get to that because I don't think we I don't think we have any more. So this goes to Angel Z. Angel Z. He's going to be in the A's. I don't think you have a bag, do you? Coach Manny, Blastoise Buddy, Chris Finchie, Coach Manny. Oh, there's two Coach Mannies. We can combine... You sold me the last base set. Cringe. Angel Z says he has no bag. Perfect. Okay. That answers that question. 
Here you go, Angel Z. What's up, man? Welcome back. Welcome back. Oops. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, I'm gonna knock the camera over. <laughs> Dandal, number seven and 20 for the small. You got it, Dandal. Seven and 20, seven and 20, seven and 20. Seven's taken. You're going into six. And 20's over here, Dandal. All right. Tyler H., small spot. You got it. You haven't thought about Pokemon since you were a kid? That's a long time, man. Devin A, pick my best card on the table to grade and a tip for the hard work. Mister. Sounds good. Best card on the table, you say, huh? Let's see. Ooh. Dude, you got two of these Umbreons? Nice. That stack attack is pretty solid. Let's see. I'm probably this Umbreon based on how he looks. Oh, he looks perfect. <laughs> it's definitely this full art Umbreon. That's a very good card. I don't know what he goes for now, but I'm betting it's getting close to $100. If it's not already there. Devin A. That's an easy choice. It's the same artwork as the Hidden Fates Umbreon, but this one has the correct colors for it rather than the uh, shiny colors, right, in the shiny background. Let me go over to the PSA requests. Devin A. Umbreon. Full art. Sun and moon base set. There we go. You're in, Devin. Thank you very much, man. Can't wait for that to return. That'll be cool. Ruby Rod, Rocket, Mr. Dude. Oh, interesting. We're about to start the Rocket game, guys. We're about to start the Rocket game. So this is a big deal. The Rocket game is kind of like the large uh, mystery game. What's going on here is there's one booster pack of first edition sealed, unweighed, Rocket uh, rocket booster pack here, and they're playing to try and earn it for themselves. Do you have Sun and Moon base? Yes, I do. I do have Sun and Moon base. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So that's 18 packs. This Psychic Sabrina will be the card. I don't know why I even write on it. That's not that's not even necessary. Did you put my spots in the small? Uh, it depends on if I've made it to you. If I have made it to you, I'm sure I did. Give me a moment. All right. Oops, good luck to whoever wins. Oh, look at that. Look at that, it shuffled like a pack of cards there. I didn't expect that. Okay, let's split it in half. It shuffled like a regular pack of cards when I picked it up. All right. Das Boot will decide the winner. That landed on a 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, here goes Simmer. Simmer's the winner. Look at that. <laughs> Nobody ever wants the first spot, and the first spot wins just as often as any spot. That's because it's RNG. It's not superstitious magic. Congratulations, Simmer. Picking up that rocket booster pack. You're going to be with us on the opening of that booster box. Simmer 23. The way it works, Simmer, when all the packs are sold, I will announce that we're opening the box the next day, okay? December 23. So keep up with us. I'll announce it in the Discord. I'll probably announce it on my YouTube channel. 
uh, but it, there will not be a long period of waiting. It will be open the next day, okay? Simmer, you're on the list. You got a $360 pack here. Well, that's why I'm selling them out. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Actually, it'll be easier to count the sold ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of them are sold, which means there's 20, uh, 25 left. There's 25 left. Technically, 24 left because this is the next rocket game. Rocket mystery twenty dollars per spot one in 18 chances of winning 360 dollar booster pack all right good luck whoever is the next person to win that spot TCC's like, you're the man. Or Simmer's like, you're the man, TCC. Whew. Just remember, you know, when you win, it's because 17 other guys lost. <laughs> so you got to thank them. But, of course, they were all playing with the chance to win. So, really, you don't have to thank them. You all have an equal chance. Um, but, you know, one guy walks away with the pack and 17 others don't. You've been chosen by the Poke Gods tonight is what I'm saying. Mary says, I believe I have an Umbreon that got gifted to me. A vintage, please grade it. Okay. Uh I will have to get your bag out. Is your bag here? All right, Mary. So, Mary, that's a $32 grade. Not a, not a bad idea. Take a quick look at it in case it's in bad condition. Mary, that's going to be an $18 grade. Sir, I have a box. Thanks. All right, so that's an $18 grade. How does the price of grading work? Uh, it's pretty simple. If your card is valued over $100, then it's a $32 grade. If it's under 100, if it's under 100, it's an $18 grade. I try to work with you guys to keep it 18 as often as possible. Here you go, Mary. So in this case, I can tell Mary's Umbreon isn't going to pull a 10. So I think it's closer to 100 now. And so I'm giving her the cheaper version. If it, if it was a 10, then that would, that would easily be like a $300 card. And it would have to be $32 to grade. All right. Just like um, Von Doom might end up having to pay $1,000 for his grade. It depends on what PSA charges me. Here we go. This is going to be Mary K. Umbreon. Small on 13, sir. Hollow, Neo, Neo 2. Would I ever consider doing a giveaway? Well, we're doing a giveaway tonight at the end of the live stream, like I do just about every night these days. It's a small giveaway. It's not like a huge one, but yeah, we do a giveaway every night. Who's next? Woo! I think Simmer was the last one. Where's Simmer? No, no, no. Was he? Let's see. Simmer, Simmer, Simmer. There he is. Slot one for Team Rocket. Yep. And Simmer won on spot number one. Then we got Jessica with two small mystery, uh, 19 and 22. It appears we already did that. Sam H, base set sword. Let's get 10 greenbacks. Angel Z, Hibben, Dandol, number seven and 20 for small. We did that already. Tyler H, small spot. We did that. Devin A, oh, I see. Ruby Rod bought the last spot. Now I understand. So your boy Russ says... I want to give it another go. Your boy is determined to pull more gold. And can I see my bag when it's slow down? I want to send off some grades. Please and thank you, sir. Sword and Shield base, wink, wink, wink. So here's the deal. Um, I do have Sword and Shield base set packs left. The Zations are already pulled. We can keep going if you want. But I do not think that a Zation... I don't think there will be two Zation golds in one box. Uh, maybe it's technically possible, but probably not. So... Uh, if you're going after the gold cards, you probably will want to go after Rebel Clash, which will give you a chance at Frostmoth and Galarian Berserker. Alternatively, you said you were open-minded to the Sword and Shield base set. Let me go grab your bags. To hit the face, please. All right, your boy, Russ. You got a lot of cards already, mister. You got a lot. Let's see if I can find your hot poles, though.
Your boy, Russ. Is Mary still here? See, Mary, this is that lily. See? This is the lily in the Sword and Shield base set. Your boy Russ pulled one of those. All right, and then this is your bag, your boy Russ. You got the Unknown A, Bead, Secret Rare. Let's put this in the back real fast. Okay, so you got Bead, Secret Rare. He's pretty good. More Peko Full Art. You got a few more V cards. V cards can definitely be graded, but I would target your textured cards first. See what I'm saying? So we got more Peko, Ordinary Rods, Don Jerner, and Didi. Some more of these V cards. Wishful Baton. We've got Guzzlord, Flygon, Charizard GX. Mimikyu is off center, unfortunately. I remember that. And I think those are going to be your main hit cards. Let me just see. All right, so your main hit cards are in the front. The Unknown A, uh, this is an old vintage card. We got Bead, Ordinary Rod, More Peko, Don Jerner, Indeedy, Wishful Baton, Guzzlord, and Flygon. Those are your main ones. And to grade those would be $18 each card. Okay? Hope that helps you, your boy Russ. Thanks for going deep with us. Now, did he say what set he wanted to open up? Because he can open up Sword and Shield base if he wants, but he's not going to pull another Zacian. That won't happen. I mean, I've never seen it happen. Spanky says, do I have anything worth grading? You might. I I'll need to go through your stuff in order to find that out. Let's see what he's been saying, though. Let's see. We're working on Russ right now. Is Russ still here? Actually, Russ, he says, lol. Oh, he says, how many Sword and Shield pack you got left? And yeah, and Mr. TCC, can you pick Rebel Clash for me? So for the Sword and Shield, I'm out of booster boxes of Sword and Shield. So uh, your next, if you're looking for a gold card, I'm going to recommend Rebel Clash. And what I can do is just do a quick math and find out how much Rebel Clash you can get. He says, I have a good feeling with that set. Heck yeah, I do too. I like Rebel Clash. I'm a fan of Rebel Clash. I think the Rebel Clash cards are actually excellent. So, give me a minute. Rebel Clash. Five for 20. So that's divided by four. Your boy, Russ. I can get you, according to this, I can get you 21 packs of Rebel Clash. 21 packs. Okay, here we go. I'll tell you what, let's get you a very fresh box, too. Since you're going so deep. So deep. Doom says I bought five of them. So this is five. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry for the squeaking from the chair. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. That's a lot of Rebel Clash. Here we go. Your boy Rush is going deep on Rebel. Wish him luck, everyone. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. Have you guys ever watched so many Pokemon cards opened in one sitting in your life? How many Pokemon cards have you ever watched open in one spot like this? It never happens. Only somebody with like, maybe like a card store would ever do this. Here we go. 
We do it every night. That's what you guys should know. We do this every night. It's actually kind of incredible. This is pretty unique, I think. We got Hatterene Stuffle. All right, you've got your uh, you've got your Poke Box, right? So let me do this the fast way. Green, 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 <laughs> green. Come on, whites. Green. So you got a lot of green right there. There we go. White. Green. 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 There we go. White. <laughs> green. 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 What is with these pull rates on the greens? Too many greens, man. There we go. There we go. White. There we go. There we go. It caught up at the end. <laughs> I was like, what? Lots of greenbacks. Lots of greenbacks, but we got our whitebacks right here. What will happen in five packs? Let's find out. Five packs to change the world. Let's find out. Pack number one, Dragapult Hollow. Mm. Here we go, next pack. Three, four. That's going to be Phalanx V. Hey, mister, he has a box. <laughs> I know, I know he's got a box. Three, four. Inteleon V. Hmm, two booster packs. It's not over. Let's see what happens. It's not over till it's over. That's going to be Pink Kirchen. Hmm. One boss's secret. Turn it all around. Let's see. Boss's secret. Boss's orders, not boss's secret. Oh. Okay, so hold on. Your boy Russ, let me just mention. This is that box right now. So the box that you just opened, these are the remaining packs. My opinion on these packs, your boy Russ, is that these are loaded, okay? So that's why I think these probably have whatever full arts are going to be in the box. They're right here, right? So there's one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So there's 15 packs in here if you want to go deeper on them, okay? I'll set these to the side for you, Russ, in case you want them. How many Rebel can I get for the MAGB? You make me an offer. I'm not in a rush of picking your MAGB up. That's why I gave them out. You can make me an offer, and you can decide if you want your MAGBs. What do you think of that, mister? I will give you one Rebel Clash pack for your MAGB. I'll make the first offer, one pack. Right, I'll go, put, go ahead and put this in here. You can have one booster pack. Put this over here. <laughs> hey, mister, make me the first offer. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, man. Don't take me too seriously. Serious. I'm a big teaser. I'm a huge teaser. That's what my wife tells me. I want to go deep. How much do I owe? So it's three rounds of five, okay? Three rounds of five. Three rounds of five booster packs. Your boy. And all of the full arts are going to be on that second half of the box. We see that happen all the time with these booster boxes. You'll get a booster box where the first half of the box is all GX or V, and the second half of the box is all full art. So that's what you got going on right now, you boy, Russ. Simmer 1, that's right. Simmer 1, the mystery game. The mystery rocket game. Congratulations. That was crazy. Neo, for the top, please, sir. Neo! Heck yeah. Edzen, Rocket Game, you choose the spot. All right, Edzen, I'm going to choose the winning spot. Edzen is going to win on eight. Eight for Edzen. Good luck, mister. Devin A, tool hib. Let's get the Charizard. Hell yeah. Where's that Charizard? We haven't seen a hib Charizard in a while. On the other hand, we haven't been opening pure hibs the way we used to. We used to open up so many hidden fates in a row on this channel, but it slowed down a little bit. I think there's a lot of variety to choose from. And funny enough, I think my I think my games are actually real popular, the uh, the pack games. There we go. Gus says, what about my two, two spots in the small? Let me go look it up. So Gus... So you weren't in this small. Let me see if you're above me. Let's see. Ed's in. Okay, so you're not above. Let me find the previous code card, or the previous card. Oof, I think this is it down here, is it? 
Was this the previous one? This one had the Blastoise in it. I don't see it here. Hmm. Edson, Mr. Horror, Blastoise, Danny Jurd, Edson, Edson, Death Bat. Hmm. Hmm. How far back did you do that one? Because the Blastoise one ended really fast. I see Gus Esp, a hidden fa Actually, here, let me look it up. Let me look it up. I can look you up individually. So we're going to go to donation history. We're going to look up Gus Esp. Just trying to figure out if I really missed you or if you were just in an older one. Gus? Two small mystery. Random spots, please and thank you. I think it's possible I missed you. I tell you what, man. I think I, I, I either did or... It's, it's just too far back, I don't even know. So hold on, let me go to analytics. Whew, what a crazy night, man. I'm like sweating and everything. I feel like my brain does not even get a chance. All right, here we go. Gus, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in two spots for you right here. Sorry about that, Gus, if I missed you. Gus Esp. There you go, mister. 17 and 18. You are in. Who's next? After Gus, Edson, Devin A, Two Hib. Wait, do we open up the Two Hibs? Did we open up the Two Hibs? Did we open up the Hibs and there was no hot pull in them? Oh my god. My brain does not even remember what happened two minutes ago. Von Doom, Rocket Mystery, and Rebel Clash, sir. I have a box. Let's get this for Von Doom. Edson says no. Tay says yes. Devin says yes. Oh, come on, Edson. Don't mess with me with that. Here we go, Von Doom, Rocket Mystery. There we go, number 16. Von Doom, you're in, let's get the, what was it again? Rebel, right? Rebel Clash, let's get that Rebel Clash. So we'll be pulling the Rebel Clash from a separate box from the one that we just pulled for Russ. There's a separate one. Good luck on your pulls, mister. Let's see what you got. Von about to pull. Vaughn about to pull the boss's orders. Full art. Can you live stream Monster Hunter, please? I could live stream Monster Hunter, but I, I suppose I'd probably just fight Elatrion again. Here we go. Let's go deep PPPP and can I please and off my unknown and second golden ordinary rod. Woo! Even though they haunt me, I want to be folk rich like you and PSA cards. <laughs> Gotta send them all off if they're valuable. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I do. We got Magic Carp, Dragapult. All right, not bad. A full art and a, and a V card. That particular V card is popular, right? We've got Zamazenta. Next pack. What do we got here? Three, four. Wait, Von Doom has a box, right? This is Von Doom, right? Von Doom, you've got a box. Do a helping with quest stream. Yeah, I'll probably do something like that, Ethan. Three, four. And we've got Toxel. Nice. TCC, I wasn't trying to mess with you. I was paying attention to our conversation, was not seeing the video. Oh. <laughs> no problem, Edson. <laughs> So this is for Von D. I wasn't actually that upset anyways. I was like, don't do me dirty. Von D. Von, can I have that Zamazenta? <laughs> Keep it. Tell him no. Get your own damn Zamazenta. Where's Von? We got to take this bag off. This bag is filling the whole thing. Vicious. Von D. Picking up the Caparaja, Dragapult, and Malamar. The funny thing is... The drag pull, pull V is probably the most valuable. Look at him. He looks great. Okay, and you're back in. Who's after Von D? We got Nate M, Rocket Mystery. Can I have 13? He's back in, Nate M. There you go, Nate. Good luck, mister. After Nate, we have Gerard. Small on 13. 13's taken. How about 33? Gerard. Let's go deep. 
Gerard, Dominic Castelli, two Hibs. Nice to meet you, Dominic. Let's see if I can get a fresh Hibs. Here it is. Guys, I think I'm gonna have to stop and take the trash out. It's just too full to keep working. So we're gonna have like a five minute break in a second here so while I take the trash out. Pretty soon. Fresh out of the tin. Fresh out of the tin. That's one of the best parts about this live stream is you can actually watch it come straight out of the tin. Nice to meet you, Dominic. Let's see what you get here. Snip. How much longer will you be streaming for? Could 10 hours. Why not? 10 hour stream, everyone. Let's just keep going. Leaf Energy is not really a big hit, but they're, they're kind of cool. I like the energy cards. I graded uh, some fairy energies once and sold them for 35 like instantly. I think people liked them. They're just neat. Next pack. What do we got here? Two, three, four. Oh, look at that. Shiny whooper. Nice. Weird. These cards, I cannot detect when uh, the pack is hot so much. Here you go, Dominic. Nice to meet you, man. Make sure you log into Discord and send me a private message with your shipping address. We ship once a week, and I got to have your shipping address before then, okay? So get it done early. Dominic, last name, cast. Another D. Not too bad, I agree, not bad. I, I threw in the Raichu, did you see that? The Raichu was in good shape, so instead of throwing him in the trash, I tossed him in your bag. A lot of the times, those uh, GX cards from the tins are in bad shape, so I just throw them away. Who's next? Devin A, Neo for the TikTok. Hell yeah, we got so much Neo. Oh, actually, we might have too much Neo. Hmm. Three Neos is too much for one night. Oh, you know what? I'll save it in drafts. I'll save it in tra Is that okay with you, Devin? I'm going to save it in drafts, and then I'll post it probably tomorrow. I can open it right now if you prefer. It's up to you. I've got too much for uh, for the uh, for the TikToks right now. We got two Neos, we got Dizzle, and then we got Asian Tim. So that's four videos right there. I think that's too many pack opening videos. He says just open, I guess. Sounds good. Good luck, Devin. Let's see what you got. Time to get Devin the big hit. Devin about to pull Umbreon, Espeon. I think you have a good shot at this. Rebel, no Yanma, please. And it's the Umbreon. Ah! Congratulations, Devin. Getting that hit card, man. Beautiful. Fresh out of the pack. Looks great. <laughs> All right. And that's why we like opening this set. It's such a great set. He's like, yes. <laughs> what else we got? Okay, nothing else. No crazy common uncommons. There we go. Man, I wonder where that Umbreon's been hiding. I didn't pull him. The other guys didn't pull him. I'm like, where's... The, there's got to be an Umbreon around the corner. So, Devin, let's go get your bag. Devin's going to be like, go ahead and ship that off for Graydon. That one's a $32 grade, that, that Umbreon, because that one will have a shot at the 10 for sure. Let's see. Who's next? Your boy, Russ. Let's go. And can I please... And off my unknown and second golden ornate rod, even though they haunt me, I want to be pokey rich. <laughs> so the unknown and the golden ordinary rod. Yes. So give me a moment. That's 20. Simmer is going to try and do Perfect. the impossible. One and hidden face. <laughs> what? The unknown and the ordinary rod. Cool. Got that good ordinary rod. We're going to start by sending these two off. We're going to have a terrific PSA return with this next submission, guys. Okay, here we go. And can you check if any of my cards are worth grading? 
I could do that, but I'm going to take care of anyone on the Streamlabs list first, okay? It's one of those cases where there's a, a waiting line. All right, so Russ, Russ, let's get your, your packs open next. Wow, those look fantastic, don't they? Actually, let me go ahead and I gotta add you to the PSA requests. Grade that beautiful baby. Grade that beautiful baby. Congratulations, by the way. That's such a great pull. I like that one better than the Espeon, by the way. I think they both look really good, though. This is from Sword and Shield Base. And then the other one is from Neo 2, Unknown A Hollow. All right, you're in, Russ. Now we're going to open the rest of that Rebel Clash box and pull out at least two full arts, right? Hopefully two. Could be one, I guess, if you're really unlucky. It could be a rotten box, but we don't know yet. We know nothing about that box. All we know about the Rebel Clash box you've been working on is that in the first half of the box, you pulled three V cards. So the real contents of the box have not been revealed. Best pulls in this set. By the way, I just sold my PSA 9 Frost Moth. PSA 9 for $100. I just sold it. It went for $100 as a 9, which means the 10 would sell for more than 100 that's crazy for a modern card to sell for so much. It's not a Charizard or anything. It's just some new Pokemon from Gen 8. Let's see. Snip. Next pack. Snip. Snip. Last pack. You ready? Snip. Okay. Toss these all over here. You ready? Here we go. Green. White. Green. White. Green. White. That's a good ratio so far, by the way. That's okay. There we, there we go. There are the greens. <laughs> White. Still a good ratio, actually. White. White. All the hits were probably in one half of the box. Look at that ratio between the greens and the whites. So this shows you how a box can be loaded. So that's a terrific ratio. All right. Put these in a bag for you. And not every box is like that. Some box, the hottest pulls, the first set of packs. Some boxes, the hottest pulls are spread out really evenly. And some is all in one little corner of the box. It's really interesting. All right, what do we got? Starting out with the hollow, pack number two. Some of them will probably be hollow, but let's see. Okay, full art what? Full art toxicity, nice. And he's like, hey girl. <laughs> he's got that tongue. Pack number two, wait, pack number three. Four. That's gonna be Melodic V. Actually a really good artwork on that one. That one would probably be very gradable. Next pack. Three, four. Let's see. Oh, what are we pulling? <laughs> the tool scrapper. Nice. Secret rare tool scrapper. So there's your two full arts. Next pack. What do we got here? Oh, another full art. That's going to be Copperaja V Max. And what do we have in the last two packs? Still time for more pulls. That's Hollow Corsola. And the last pack. What are we going to have with last pack luck? Another V card or another full art? What do you guys think? Oh, what is it? What is it? Boss's orders. Never give up. Not to the last pack. It's not over till it's over, guys. That's the chase card in the whole set. Boss's orders, the best pull. Nice job, Russ. It's not over until it's over. You got to open up all the cards to know what you got. That's why you can't give up. Woo! Boss's orders. Congratulations, Russ. We pulled like three of those. You know how many boxes of Rebel Clash I've opened? You know, like, I don't know, like 60 or 70 boxes. Some huge number. And we've pulled out of all of those probably three Boss's orders. He's super rare. I mean, we pull certain cards like Copper Raja. He gets pulled like a trash card almost. But we never pull Boss's orders. He gets pulled three times this whole time. He's really rare. Nice job. Sweet. 
Let me put the both in your box. Oh, my back. <laughs> when you sit in a chair for like five hours. A little bit better than B from Sword and Shield, huh? And you guys were calling, he, they're, oh, Rebel Trash, right? I swear to God. He's gonna great, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, I tripped actually. Don't worry, I saved myself. Oh my God. <laughs> There's too much stuff over here. The boss's orders. Yeah, I'm fine. I didn't like fall all the way over. I just like halfway tripped. No, 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 I'm fine. I didn't fall all the way over. <laughs> I, I, I like, my, my foot hit the corner of a box and I, I lost my balance for a minute, but I caught myself. So anyways, um, <laughs> the boss's orders. My bet is that that card is roughly 300 to $400. That's why I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay. <laughs> Okay, here, let me, I tipped over something though. Let me, let me fix this. Oh my God. I'm okay. I didn't, I didn't fully trip. <laughs> let me show you guys, let me show you guys the walking space where I work. <laughs> See you next fall. <laughs> so this is my, this is the floor with the chair, right? And then this is my whole walking space is this. So. And that kind of toppled over. I, I I bumped into it. You can see I bumped into it. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. I didn't get hurt at all. The PSA cards are all slabbed up. They'll be fine. Where's the floor? I know, I know. It's too messy over here. It's too messy. Well, what happens is so much happens during the live stream. By the end of the live stream, I'm, I'm exhausted. And then I go lay down. Jose says, none for sale, only one for $900. Yeah, exactly. And, and realistically, I think somebody would pay close to $400 for that. If you listed it at $400 as a $10, it will probably sell like that. I, I would consider buying it at, at $400. Let's take a look at him. Oh, he looks great. Yeah, it looks, it looks like it definitely has a shot at a $10. I can't ever guarantee a $10, of course. PSA is a really harsh grader is what I've learned over time. All right. Your boy, Russ. Going deep and pulling boss's orders. Congratulations, man. $32 for the grade on the on the boss's orders. And uh, we can move on now. Next person. Gerard, first time opening packs other than mystery. Five rebel. Nice. Let's get those rebels open. It's just like the Sword and Shield base set. Everyone trash talked Sword and Shield base set. And now you look at the PSA cards for that set, and they just go for a terrific amount of money. They sell really well. And people just talk trash on it. It's like, why are you talking trash on it? It's obvious that there's demand for this. Snip. Snip. There are only four PSA 10. That means that he's never found. He's super rare. He's actually quite rare. Think about that. All right. So we're opening these for Gerard. Nice nice going, Gerard. Let's see what we can get for you. Trying his hand at opening up packs for the first time, huh? So the first pack is going to be cold. Second pack is cold. Two, three, four. We got Chitat, Scissor. That's cold. Can't believe I tripped. <laughs> I was going to eat it, but I actually caught my balance. Scyther. If I fell all the way down, that would have sucked. I would have landed on all those sharp corners, all those boxes. <laughs> we got bar. I was actually nervous I was going to knock the camera over. Oh, there we go. So I caught myself with the chair, and the chair touched the table. I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to knock this camera over. Ooh, picking up the full art Toxtricity VMAX. There you go, mister. Last pack luck here, too. There you go, Gerard. Very good. Now, Gerard, if you want to get deep on opening up Pokemon cards on this channel, you might consider purchasing a $13 priority mailbox so that you can keep all your bulk. Gerard. Otherwise, if you don't care about your bulk, you can just stick to the hit cards. No problem with that. Place that up there. Who's next? Simmer. Simmer is going to try to do the impossible. One more, One and done, hidden face. All right, one Hidden Fates pack, one Shining Charizard. One Hidden Fates pack, one Shining Charizard. Easy. Ease mode. All right, give that code away. Super Snipe. 360, no scope. Well, you got Noibat. 
Noibat's kind of like a Charizard, right? They both have wings. They both have eyes. They both have two feet. It's kind of the same. <laughs> All right, we'll get this into your bag, Simmer. Simmer, you got a bag? I don't know if Simmer has a bag, does he? Sean, Taz, Trevor, Silver, Tyler, Shush, Shu, Si, Shin, Shin, Shintani, Shane. I don't think you have a bag. Put in decast box. Put in decast. Who's decast? Dominic. Dominic Costello. Dominic. All right, here we go. Here you go. Going into Dominic's bag. Very cool. Who's next? Devin A. Grade that beautiful baby. And thank you so much for that tip, Devin. That's really generous of you. Devin, the good tipper. There you go. That's why you get the hot pulls, man. That's how it works. Not really. <laughs> it's all RNG. All right. Face. Wish me luck. Devin A. I'm out. Good luck on polls. Let me know if I win the small and DM on Discord. Thank you guys. Have a nice night, Devin. Have a nice night. Your boy Russ, you still celebrating over there? I bet he's still celebrating. <laughs> he's like, I did it. Devin A, you're sending out two Umbreons. How cool. A modern Umbreon and an old Umbreon. Nice, man. Devin A, Jerd, Hidden Fates. I'll try one. Wish me luck. All right. Good luck, Jerd. Hidden Fates. Where are the... Uh... Oh, I got to get more tins. I'll be right back. I got to go get more tins. This time, no tripping. No tripping. It's so easy, easy to trip those. Like, there's no room over here at all. We're opening another tin of Hib. Hibbin, Hibbin first dates. Now, how many did he purchase? Jared got one. Here you go, Jared. Too small, Rebel Clash. Too small, Rebel Clash. Sounds good. People are like, now nah, I'm interested in Rebel. <laughs> they just had to see Boss's orders first. Yo, TCC, how's the large looking? The large is moving very fast because of what we've done with the small, where the small now feeds spots to the large. So if, if you're interested in keeping the large moving, there's some really smexy cards in there. Ah, cold. That's a cold pack. Sorry, mister. That's my show pausing. Who's next? Silver Chris. Too small? Rebel Clash. You got it. You got it, mister. Hey, mister. Silver. All right, there we go. Four and five. And the Rebel Clash. Let's get that Rebel Clash. Two more hibs. You got it, mister. Two more hibs. Snip. Snip. Silver Chris, good luck on your pulls. Now you have a box. I'm sure you do. Green. Green. White. Green. Green. So you got one white pack. You better... Hope it's a hot pull. There we go. Three, four. Ah, it's cold. I'm sorry, mister. Silver, I'm sorry. That is some tough luck on the Rebels. I am sorry, mister. Just remember, your boy Russ, he had to, he had to struggle too before he finally pulled a hot card. That is typically how it goes. Dominic, two more hibs. Let's get this Zard. You got it, Dominic. Let's oh, dropping a booster pack there. That's not good. There we go. Didn't fall really far. 
All right, many hot pulls in the Hidden Fates game. Hidden Fates set. Let's see what we get. Hidden Fates. Three, four. Shrine of Punishment. Nice. That's such a good pull. That's Dominic. Last shot at Rebel, sir. Dominic, that's a hot pull, man. Let's see. Pulling the Shrine of Punishment. AKA my bedroom. Let's see the next one. Two, three, four. Oh, double four, dude. Shrine of Punishment and Scissor. What? God, that's so lucky. Oh my God. Two of them in a row? Jesus. Very good. This scissor goes for a lot. That's the other thing. All right. So that goes right over to Dominic. Congratulations, Dominic. Man. Good old Hib. Never let you down except for when it does. <laughs> there we go. Way better. Huge upgrade. Who's next? Those are, those are, I think that the scissor is $32 grade. <laughs> He's that expensive. Your boy Russ says one rocket mystery mystery for the amazing Jesse. He wants to try my luck. Sounds good, your boy Russ. That's very generous. Let's go ahead and get that in there. We're going to say amazing Jesse on two. Woo! Never, the excitement never slows down. Last shot at Rebels, says Gerard. Good luck, Gerard. Three, four, five. Gerard, Gerard. Gotta subscribe. Heck yeah, man. Thanks. I appreciate that. You know, we actually picked up, I think it was like, dude, I think we picked up like close to 300 subscribers in the last two weeks, maybe. Pretty good for this channel. This channel's still small. For those of you who are new, I'm actually a more prolific YouTuber on my other YouTube channel. This is my, this is like my secondary channel. Uh, this is where I open up Pokemon cards. It's, become a big part of what I do each day, but I'm actually the game economist on YouTube and I have a gaming channel with like a hundred, almost 140,000 subscribers. So st live streaming is not new to me. I've been doing this for a while. You subscribed? What? You're so kind. Listen to this guy. I subscribed. <laughs> yeah, hit the bell button if you want to know when we're going live. We open up Lots of cards. I always have something interesting coming in. Darkness of Blaze, which is a new set, comes out August 14th. So hopefully we'll get it on August 14th, but I can't guarantee that. But yeah, it's, a, it's an exciting... Uh, I, I actually love what we do over here. It's why I've been doing it so much rather than uh, just playing games. Gyarados Cursola, that looks pretty cool. I'm scared that's all you're going to get. Oh, that's all you're going to get this time, Gerard. Gerard, I'm so sorry. Gerard pulling the tough pulls. Oh, man. Now somebody needs to come sweep and, and steal the good ones from him. <laughs> there you go. The reverse all Gyarados looks cool, I guess. I don't know what to say. That was really tough. I hate seeing that. I really, I do. All right, Gerard. Wait, does Gerard... There we go. Oh, you didn't have bad luck on the last one, though. You were doing good on the last one. All right. Why did I think that? I thought that you were having bad luck, Gerard. Your Gerard's pretty good, then. You pulled the full art on the last round. You didn't get, like, a, you know, you didn't get, like, a V card or anything this round. But it's not bad, actually. You did pull a hit. The hit was the, was the hollow. Hollow cards count as whitebacks. There you go, Gerard. Placing you on the table now. Congratulations. C. Shintani, Rebel Clash, please. Thank you, mister. No problem, C. Shintani. Let's get it. Are the Hibben Fates tins worth holding on to, or is it better to take your chance and open the packs? That's a really interesting question, William. That is a really interesting question. William, that kind of question is like the kind of question an economist would sit around asking himself. I guess in the end, it's going to be a gamble. You know why? Because if your tins have Charizard, yeah, you should open it right now. If your tins have a well-centered Umbreon... You should open it right now. But what if your... Is Toxtricity valuable? Yeah, I just sold one for 50 bucks. 
Um, but what was I going to say? If your if your uh, tins have terrible pulls in them, then no, you should keep them sealed, right? So it's a matter of what's in the tins. But if you were to ask, are the cards from Hidden Fates doing well? I'd have to say, yeah. The Hidden Fates cards are doing very well. You know, the Charizard's still selling for like $1,500. The Mewtwo, the Umbreon, the Cynthia, they're all trading for like 200 maybe a little more than that, right? Maybe maybe a lot more. I don't know. I haven't been keeping up. Even the Shiny Charmeleon's like over $200 as a 10. So, you know. Toss this over here. Here we go. And these are for C. Shintani. Good luck, mister. C. Shintani. We've got Scyther Rillaboom. C. Shintani, did you, did you say you have a box? He did not say he has a box. Next pack. I have a box. Three, four. We've got Electrode. Next pack. What do we got here? That's a white pack. Boxes cost 13 bucks, and basically I just, uh, basically you buy the box if you want your bulk. That's it. Real uncomplicated. Three, four. Can I keep my sight there? Absolutely. Yeah, that's the other thing. You don't actually have to buy a box. If you see like a reverse hollow or hollow that you want, just tell me, I'll just throw it up there. My goal is to keep your bag thin and small and lightweight for shipping. And uh, But if you have a reverse hollow that you think looks really awesome, just tell me, it doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. If you don't get any hits, I just give you all your reverse hollows. But my goal is to just keep the, the weight of the packs down as much as I can. So like all this, this is real heavy. And you would think that you would think that the um, reverse hollows don't matter or the non hollows don't matter, but look at this. We we built this up in one night. This is all non hollow. It's actually quite heavy, and the table is full. I mean, I can't. The I can barely flip through these. They're actually, it's actually quite heavy. So let's see, side third. Let's go ahead and slide this in here. I just wanted boss's orders. I know it's, it's such a great card. Last final final shot at Rebel. <laughs> final final shot. Oop, that's Sean. Hold on, we gotta find C Shintani. I think you're in the back actually. Shoo, here you are. Oh, you pulled that full art Mewtwo earlier. Look at this Mewtwo he pulled. He pulled this earlier in the live stream, near the beginning actually. Look at that. God, man, that's a that's a much better pull than you realize. That's probably like over a hundred dollars at this point. Okay. Gerard, last shot. You got it, Gerard. Good luck, mister. Going deep. It's been a good day. Hey, I pulled a card, too. Earlier, we ran out of uh, Lost Thunder, and just as we were running out, I opened up one of the last few packs, and I pulled this nice-looking Tyranitar. I'll probably send him off to grade. I love Tyranitar. See, this is mine. See? Place him up here on the table. Okay, good luck, Gerard. I was pretty pleased with that. He was well-centered and everything. Snip. Ship one of my packs to someone in a boat tomorrow? What? All right, Gerard about to hit the jackpot. Oh, what did I do? I just opened too many. Oh, my God. All right, the top five are his. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. And we don't know what's in these last two. Okay, they're stay on camera. <laughs> All right, pack number one. One, two, three, four. Pulling the Cinderace uh, V card. Very good. Next pack. Oh, another white pack. Three, four. Hmm, that's the Apple Ton. Okay. Next pack. That's green. Three packs. Maybe we'll make that part of the giveaway. We got S Ice Q. I'm always staying up with you. I need help. <laughs> you better be getting good sleep, mister. I just want you guys to know, I do stay up late, but I do also get a full night's rest. Okay, and you should too. It's healthy. Ice Q and... Oh, another hit, huh? Another hit. What do we got here? They were all hiding from you, Ice... Uh, Gerard. Ah, it's just hollow. <laughs> it's a hollow pack. So we'll give these last two out. Maybe there'll be a full art in there. All right. Gerard with the G. Here you are. 
It's another boss's orders, literally. <laughs> Wouldn't that be wild? He says, ah, crap. Yeah, I know. I know how it feels, mister. I know how it feels, mister. Get out there. Get your OnlyFans made. Get some people simple for you already. Second job, man. I'm just teasing. I'm teasing. All right. So, Gerard, then it's C. Shintani. Rebel Clash, please. Thank you, mister. All right. C. Shintani. Going deeper on the Rebel Clash. How many small packs left? It's nearly over. There's not a lot of spots left. Three, four, five, six. There's six spots and it's over. Use OnlyFans to drop knowledge on what you know. <laughs> I'll go open up a Pokemon OnlyFans. And the way it works is if you subscribe, I open cards for you. <laughs> is the shiny scissor worth grading? Shiny scissor. Yes, absolutely he is. I think what you're asking is, will he grade a 10? They're both worth grading. Even 9s will sell. I would say this guy has a shot at a 10. Yeah. That's a $32 grade on the scissor, though. All right, here we go. Because he is expensive. We got Clefairy, Galarian, Weezing. Next pack. So this is for C. Shintani. We've got Mr. Mime. Three, four. Barboach. Oh, man. My, my trash can's overflowing. It's overflowing. We got Metapod. Oh, and that's a greenback. Cold pulse this time. See, Shintani. I'm sorry, mister. I'm sorry, mister. How lucha? How lucha? All right, my table's overflowing. Wait, I didn't buy another set, though. What? What are you talking about? I thought you did. Too small. Silver Chris. See, Shintani. Oh, well... Consider it a gift if you if you didn't buy another set. Maybe I made a mistake. Gerard, last last final final shot at Rebel. I don't know, Mister. I might have just given you five free packs. If I did, you're welcome. All right, this is for Gerard. Four hip tins for the Magmi. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> he says I did that already. Really? Am I just rereading? Oh shit. I must be rereading it. Oh, thank you. There you go. So, C. Shintani, you got... Well, it, in fact, all I did was clear out five cold packs then. Excellent. I guess that's a good thing in the end. Yeah, I think I'm rereading. Oh, you guys have no idea. It's like running a mental marathon over here. How long have we been going? 320? What's that divided by six? That's like five. I've been doing this five straight hours. No breaks, just go, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's a good thing for the next person. So in the end, it's a good thing. Um, but what was I going to say? I'm exhausted, man. Holy. Exactly, they don't get good cold packs. I like to see it when you guys get hot packs like your boy's boss's orders. He's got to get that graded. I want to see that graded. All right, we finally slowed down for a minute. And I do have something to show off. Not really show off, but I need it to be recorded. Give me a minute here. How much inventory do I have? You don't want to know. So let's see. Yeah, you do. You want to know. I got this in the mail today, and it's very concerning for me. I know the seller's not going to like this, but his address might be shown. Let's see. So this came in the mail. We care. Sincerely regret the damage to your mail. Uh, it looks like it's crushed, first of all. And it's got like a goop on it. So I'm going to go ahead and start opening this on on camera. Because if it's ruined, I'm, I'm probably going to show the seller and he's going to file something. So hold on. Let me go ahead. I'm going to erase his uh, address so you just see his name. All right, there we go. So this is from Mita. What did Mita send me? This is a crushed box. 
with nothing in it. It's empty. It's completely empty. So that's what happens. Uh, I don't know what to say. He didn't, he didn't pack it well enough and it got crushed and lost. Received without contents right there. So uh, I'm gonna have to content, contact this person. I got it all recorded. Um, I feel bad for them. Actually, you know, uh, this should be easy because UPS, USPS themselves marked it as received without content. So he should just be able to look this up and he'll, he'll probably say something. So I'll reach out to him. I don't know what it was. I hope it wasn't anything expensive. Just another sign that you've got to ship your cards really well because these, this is like, you will get like 250 pound men who just walk on these. They don't care. They, they, they get paid minimum wage, basically. They get paid minimum wage to work in an unair conditioned, unair conditioned, uh, you know, distribution hub where it's not even 100 degrees. It's more like 120 degrees because the inside of the hub is too hot because of all the, the machines. And uh, so they work in 120 degree weathers and they get paid basically close to minimum wage and they don't give two fricks about your box. It, they don't care if it says fragile on the side. They'll walk right on top of the box. They'll kneel on it. They don't give two fricks. So you just got to pack your stuff with all that in mind. You got to pack that with all that in mind because that's how it's going to be treated. All right, let's see. Ruby Rod, too small, and I'll jump on this Zard to Fate Danka. I'll jump on this Zard to Fate. I'm confused. What do you want there? I'm not sure what you want there. Let's see. Zard to Fate? Oh, you're talking about two hidden fates. I gotcha. <laughs> yeah, me confused there. So you're going to get spots one and two, Ruby. Good luck, Ruby R. And he said two hips, right? Here we go. Two hips. Silver Chris bought packs as well. Did I miss it? Rebel Clash. You got it, Silver Chris. Did I miss you? Really? I must be getting tired, guys. I think I make more mistakes near the end of the stream. I think I make more mistakes near the end. All right. What do we got? My back's tired. What the hell? That's going to be fighter energy. Pack number two. Need one of those monster energy drinks? I know, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. Let's see. Oh, picking up the full art Zygarde. In fact, that was hot too. Hot hidden fates. It's about time. I feel like we opened a number of cold ones. I, I feel like this is well-deserved. There you go. Zygarde, nice. This goes into Ruby's bag. Let's go find your bag, Ruby. Pulling one of the full art shinies. People are buying these up like crazy because they want to complete their sets. And the price of the Hidden Fates packs just keep going up and up and up. Silver Chris, two rounds of Reb, huh? You got it. You're saying we didn't do this earlier? I will trust you guys. If you guys say we didn't do this earlier, we probably did not. My hidden today was my first lol. I don't like hidden. <laughs> you don't like the hidden? It's certainly expensive. That Charizard worth anything. Which one? The the P Yes, the 9 Charizard 9. He's worth about 50 to $70 if he comes back 10. So he's actually valuable. Okay, and we'll put these two back. I can store wherever I want in my remote control boat. I can store tiny Coca-Colas and tiny beers as well. You got a little boat? Man, I want a boat. Silver Chris says I have a box. No problem, Silver Chris. Thanks for reminding me. Woo, pulling that scissor so late. And we got that excellent Umbreon for Des uh, Devin, I mean. Devin. And then we got Boss's Orders. For Russ tonight, and we pulled the Zacian V from Sword and Shield base set. What a great night, man. This night was full of fantastic pulls. But I feel like every night's kind of like that, you know what I mean? Every night's pretty crazy because of the sheer volume of cards we open. The sheer volume is going to make it crazy every night. Oh, wait, we didn't need to do that. All right, hold on. That's green. Green. White, here we go. 
Two more hidden fates for the road, my good man. Two more for the road. Nice, you're picking up the full art Copper Roger VMAX. Uh, he's pretty common. I don't think he'll ever be worth too much, but uh, he's definitely a hit card. The Minecraft Elephant, I call him. Boss's Orders, the uh, regular trainer card. What do we got next? There's the Dragapult V, one of the best Vs you can pull from this set. Nice. That's green. That's green. TCC, Boss's Orders Hyper Rare PSA 10 is 900 on eBay. Why is it so much? I remember when it was like 300. Do you know why? Well, the reason why is because the, supp the supply of the card must be very, very low. In other words, Russ, nobody pulls this. He's very hard to pull. And you got one. Congratulations, man. You went deep and it paid off that time. It doesn't always pay off, but uh, it did that time, didn't it? Nice, man. Ooh, what do we got? Nice. Twin Energy Secret Rare. Awesome. These 10 packs are officially pretty decent. Last pack, and that's going to be green. All right. Seeing that golden... Oh, well, I just kind of gave that away. Crit, Silver Chris is like, nice. 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 There we go. Not bad, huh? That that little secret rare at the end definitely rounds it out a little bit. <laughs> secret rare, full art Kaparaja, and Dragapult. All right. Silver Chris, right? Yep, Silver Chris. Silver bells, silver bells. <laughs> Isn't that how they sing in the old Christmas music? Do, 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 do. All right, two more hibs for the road. I only have one more hib. Do I have to go get more hib? Is that, is that what's going to happen here? I have to go get more hib. <laughs> I'll be back. This will take me, I think this will take me a minute, okay? No, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, no, those aren't yours. Those are for some other guy. Whew. I'll be back. Man, what if I fell again? <laughs> There's enough shit on the floor that I could easily fall again. <sighs> Cheese snipped the Mewtwo this stream. That's right. We actually had a, a Hidden Fates Mewtwo this stream, and Cheese snipped it. He snipped it. What was he thinking? I told him, I was like, what if you cut an actually good card? And he's like, nah, cut that card. It's funny because after he cut it, he's like, all right, I'm done cutting. <laughs> it's like I would be too. After losing probably like a $200 card. All right. <laughs> He's been cutting cards for a long time. I actually stopped cutting cards because I was like, geez, you got to stop. Jeez, you're hurting my soul. All right, here we go. You ready, Dominic? Dominic's like, I'm going to double down. I'm going to pull the Shining Charizard. Easy mode. You're nocturnal for TGC? Hell yeah. Nocturnal's the best way to be. 3 a.m. in the morning for me. Okay, that's cold. What the? These cards and piles are all mixed up. But We're so close to finishing the small, actually. Two hibs. Time for the Zard. Hell yeah. Ooh, pulling the Naganadel full art. You're just full of good pulls right now, Dominic. What the hell? What the hell? Pulling the Naganadel full art. Jesus. Dominic didn't even have to go that deep. Coach Manny, you ready, Coach? Coach, you're not ready for this, Coach. So the next pack, definitely Charizard. I want to say, Coach Manny, every time we've pulled, just about every time we pulled the Zard, it was like directly after having pulled something else. All right, I can't push these down, so I'm going to open them from the bottom. We're opening them from the bottom because they're all like weirdly. All right, there we go. 
can you go to bad now? You may not go to bad. You may not go to bad. Pack number one. Club Fable. I pick up the Stormy GX. Pack number two. The Elusive Shining Charizard. Oops. Ah, but not this time. <laughs> not this time. Coach Manny? Coach Manny's going to say, I have a box. Yes, you do. I'm going to give you all this, Coach Manny. You guys think I will get tired for even one second? Guess again. Imagine you, TGC, cutting a pack with the Hidden Face Charizard. Oh, ugh, ugh. You're making me want to throw up. Stream still going? Don't you need sleep? What? Who needs sleep? Only the weak. Overtime, baby. Overtime is the path to being tired and burnt out. <laughs> What did you think I was going to say? Simmer says, how many Zards have you pulled? What do you guys think? Have I pulled seven of them? I think I've probably pulled close to seven of them. I think I've pulled seven of them. Let's take a look at how many spots we got left in the small. Here they are. Spot number three, number 21. One, two, three, four, five. There's five spots left. Five spots and it's over. Let's talk about what's in the small. That will definitely give you guys something to look at. Spawn the large. Como O, secret rare. Como O, PSA 9. Celebi Venusaur, PSA 9 from Team Up. PSA 10, Unified Minds. And PSA 10, Team Up, Ampharos. Look at that. So we got four PSA cards, and we've got one large. Woo. Oh, man. Von Doom and Silver Chris. What's up, guys? So Vaughn, you're going to take spot three and spot 21. Silver Chris. Oh no, your boy Russ. Oh my gosh, your boy Russ is not done. He's not done. Oops. Your boy Russ says, Mr. TCC, it's your boy. Just got paid Pokebucks for my job and I, and can I get, there it goes, there it goes. Mr. TCC, it's your boy Russ just got paid poke bucks from my job and can I get 10s on him? Moon Basin 2, hidden sir, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Heck yeah. And let's see, where's my, uh, I had another 10, did I not? There it is, beautiful. Do you see this, kitty? Kitty, this is called a fresh tin of hidden fates. At this point, I'm just throwing my trash behind the trash can because the trash can is too full. All right. Two hibs. Okay. much you want for the two open rebel oh i was going to give those away those are going to be given away when the stream ends i was thinking at the end of the stream i'm going to give away a two packs of rebel clash and maybe a spot in the large keep the large moving you know what i mean that's pretty generous right twenty dollar spot here we go here we go You ready? 
Come on, base set. Oh, you've got a box, don't you? Okay, so you got a box, and what I can do is separate the greens and the whites. There's a white, green, green. Oh, look at this. This is different. That's a green. Uh, okay, here. That's a green. Last small, nice. The last small is done, which means we're ready to start a new small. That's a white back. Place that there for the moment. That's a white back. Uh, what am I doing? This is a terrible system. I should have changed when it was obvious that... Uh, all right, well, let's see. All right, and that's green. There we go. So these are all green backs right here. I can bag these up right now. There we go, place this over here. Now these actually contain hits, but I've uh, combined them like an idiot. So let's see. Nice, the Espeon GX. And Holographic Doug Tree. Okay, so you're hit from the sun and moon. Oh wait, you've got one more pack. You ready? One more booster pack. Holographic Vigavolt. So this time you pick up Espeon GX. He's a great looking Pokemon and he's real popular, but just the Espeon GX. So now you're depending on Hidden Fates to kind of win you back a little bit here, right? Let's see. Okay, you're picking up Diancy. Diancy Mewtwo GX, not bad. My accidental, oh right, there was a actual face reveal. It wasn't that big though, uh, at the end of Crystal. It's hard to explain what happened, but basically I had a face cam and I walked past it without thinking. Oh, what'd you get? Nice, Lycanroc Full Art. There you go. Hidden Fates coming through. There we go. Beautiful. Looks well-centered too. Okay. Okay, picking up on the Hidden Fates. I'll put these back in here. My button. My button. This TV show is so funny. You're a boy. TCC is bald. That's right. I'm a big, I'm a big baldy bastard. Let's see. Put this into your boy Russ's bag. Nice. Your boy Russ. Tayf, last small. 569 for Tayf on that last small. <laughs> I love it. Okay, hopefully you win on that spot too. Okay, and we're going to need all these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. 32, for the road. 33, 34, 35, 36, 36, 36, you ready? Now the prize is one large and these four guys, huh? We're going to need four cards. And let's see, we're going to have Como O, Venusaur, we're going to have uh, Espeon, and we're going to have Ampharos. There we go. Good luck, players. Let's see what you guys get in your booster packs. Booster packs. JC, what's up, man? JC. Am I up late enough? You must. It's 9 o'clock in the UK. JC, when am I going to move over to the UK already? Put this over here. I'm ready to move to Scotland, actually. All right. Oops. JC, I still got your PSA cards. You got some lovely PSA cards over here. And uh, they're, they're now grading one of the oldest, one of the oldest PSA submissions that we have. I don't remember if you're in it, though, but maybe you are. Let's see. Yeah, they're grading one all the way back from January, finally. PSA is... All the way back from January. It says they received it in February. I swear, you're living in the UK. I see you streaming in the morning. Every day, baby. <laughs> you know, yesterday's live stream was nine and a half hours long. Nine and a half hours. And then when it ended, I got back to work. 
His guy is the one who's spoiled. He got paid at Taco Bell? What? <laughs> Easy stream. I have a little I wanted the small mystery lily. Nice. Do, 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 do. All right. Now it's time for does boot. Here we go. What will the boot decide? The boot landed on 14. Or hidden face that this is actually my last one, but I'll let's make it count. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right. Let's see who wins. Pack number one. Nope. Number two. Nope. Three for Von D. Nope. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Oh, wait a second. Seven's a win. Justin R. Justin Red walking away with the Ampharos. Nice. The Ampharos is good. The Ampharos is a 10. Where did that just come out of? <laughs> wait. Oh, here it is. Justin Red walking away with the Ampharos. That's one of the two PSA 10s in the game. Look at that. Nice. I'm a little jelly. There's not even one of those for sale online. Oops. Dandel says, someone took my seven. Ah, I'm sorry, Dandel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Eight. Nine. Ten. Number ten's a winner. We find picking up Como O. We find picking up the Como O. Como O. It's all RNG in the end, you know? Como O. Number 11. 12. 13. Oops. 14. 15. 16. Ooh, 17, 18, 19, <laughs> Jessica E winning on 19. Winning the Venusaur on 19. Congratulations, Jessica. Jessica E winning on 19. All right. Dandel on 20. Nope. Fondy. Nope. Jessica E on 22. She won both times. She got the large spot. Whoa. Jessica winning both times. Jessica E on spot 24. Whoa. 23. 24. 25. 26. 27. 28. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Silver Chris still winning. Silver Chris picking up the SB on 10. How do you do it, Silver Chris? You win every time. Oh my God, dude. This man wins every time he plays. I think that's everything. Yeah, that's everything. Dude, this guy plays it. He wins. Silver Chris, you have won the small every round tonight. Did you know that? You have not lost a single round. And you typically win the good one out of the out of the set. Typically. What the frick? Alright, so let's see. Let's see. We have. There's the four beautiful full arts. Not full arch PSA cards. Espion, Deoxys 10, Celebi, Coma O, and Ampharos. Rigged! My sad, my friend didn't win. I'm gonna go and listen to Billie Eilish. I'm gonna go listen to Billie Eilish. It's a good response. All right. Here we go. I'm not, now I'm gonna go listen to Billie Eilish. All right. So we gotta get another round going, right, guys? Shining Celebi, PSA 9. Mm, that's pretty expensive. Let's see. I'd like to be able to offer 10s to you guys, but it's, it's difficult. 
What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? I think I'm giving out all the 10s too fast. Uh, I've got a Team Yell Grunt 10. What's this one? Ooh. Did Mary not buy this? I feel like Mary would have bought that. I guess she didn't. Ooh, that's fancy. This is like ninety dollars. Like I, I've got a nice nine, but it's it's uh it's ninety dollars actually is the problem. All right, here's one. More Peco ten. There we go. I found one. Yeah, that's right. This Sylveon right here. She wanted it, um, but she didn't tell me to, to keep it for her, I think. So we've got more Peko 10, Shining Celebi 9. I'm trying to look for some really decent stuff for you guys. I try to have like a range, you know? I try to have a range of cards. Good, okay, not so good. But it's, it's hard to get that balance because some cards are really expensive. And they can take all the spots in the small very quickly. So you have to be very careful. Wait, how much are these? I think we could do one of these. So here's another secret rare bird from Hidden Fates. And what else will we do? Let's have two packs, two packs of Sun and Moon base set, and of course, one spot in the large. All right? So that'll be the small this round. So what do we got? The chase in this case is definitely the Morpeko VMAX. So you got a, a perfect 10 on the Morpeko. The Shining Celebi is not that bad either. Actually, well, I'm not telling you the truth. The Shining Celebi is the most expensive card here, actually. So he's the chase card. The Morpeko is a perfect 10, so he's desirable in that way. But he's actually cheaper than a Shining Celebi 9, which shows you how badly people want this card. And then this is a typical PSA 9 Hidden Fates. Uh, and, of course, the two smaller pot prizes, the Sun and Moon Booster Packs, which could end up being a secret rare itself. You never know. And this is an actual large. It happens. Yeah, occasionally the packs are a secret rare, or, or maybe they're a good full art. Let me go ahead and do a calculation. Too small, let's go. Let's go. And this one will only have 30 spots in it. So this one's much smaller. We've been doing these ones with like 36 spots or something like that. This one's actually much smaller, only 30 spots. number 320. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. There we go, 30 spots. So this one's much smaller. That's the trade-off. Now, I could have thrown in another PSA card, but then it, would have, it probably would have jumped up to like 36 or 40, whatever, right? It would have been much larger. But there's fewer spots, and uh, it's, it's an interesting thing. There's fewer spots and maybe fewer hot PSA cards to pull. But yeah, it's interesting. I can't decide what you guys prefer. Large, large small games with four hot cards or smaller, smaller games with just three of them. It's an interesting idea. Okay, time to catch up. Coach Manny, two hips for the road. I got a box. All right, Coach Manny, good luck. Snip. You should see my kitty. She trying to sleep. <laughs> Thousand yard stare. She's had a long day of doing nothing important. <laughs> All right, cold on the first pack. How about the second pack? Come on, second pack. Oh, 
hold on a second pack. You got the pincer. Pincer? We're not looking for pincer. We're looking for Charizard, mister. Show me the Charizard. Show me the Charizard. The frick? Coach Manny, I have a box. Who's off to coach? Dominic, four hidden fates. And this is actually my last one, but let's make it count. All right, good luck, Dominic. Do I not have another 10? Oh my God, I gotta go get another 10. I'll be back. That shining Celebi six spots in a small please and send off my the bosses I pay you get that PSA can I shot yeah. a little bit to be honest. Heck we, yeah. We nudge nudge also when the PSA shipment go out, sir. So I'm planning on doing another PSA submission this Saturday or Sunday. So this Saturday or Sunday, I'm gonna take a nice long break and we're gonna get them all out. All right, four fresh packs. So very soon. A lot of people have been waiting for a while, so you're lucky because the wait is over for you. Here we go. Here we go. This is all for Dominic. Dominic's been having good luck with Hib, and he has just gone much deeper. Let's see if he can keep getting that luck. Here we go again. That's right. <laughs> There you go, snip, snip. How's it going, Chinese Sand Slash? Three, four. Okay, metal energy on the first pack. Metal energy. Oops, what the? Next pack, pack number two. Come on, pack number two. Mmm, that's going to be cold. <laughs> Don't be a cold tin. Come on, tin. Oh, that's hot. What is it? Nice. Double hit right there. Jesse and James and Gabite. Jesse and James, full art. You used to get these like candy, and then they really slowed down. So there's is a good thing because it keeps that card valuable. Last pack. What do we got here? So you got Gabite, and what do we got? Mr. Mime. So that tin's a little colder than the last couple of tins. Not bad, Dominic. Dominic, you just got to go a little deeper. Charizard's just around the corner. <laughs> That's the little demon on your soldier. The little, uh, I said that all wrong. That's the little devil on your shoulder telling you to go deeper. <laughs> go deeper. You're so close. Come on, mister. It's one hibbon tin away. There you go, Dominic. Who's next? Silver, too small. Let's go. Silver Chris, the man who never loses. I'm just kidding. Death back. Gimme Celebi. Number three or twenty? Alright. We'll go with number twenty. How about that? Well we go with no, we we'll go with twenty. Good luck on twenty. Your boy, Russ. Hey, TCC. We need that shiny Celebi. Six spots in the small, please. And send off my boss. I pay. He gets that PSA 10. I'm shocked a little bit. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Also, when will PSA shipment go out? All right. So six spots, he said. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's going to be you. Uh, Russ. 12 to 17. All right. There you go, Russ. And ship out the boss's orders. Nice. Yeah, it'll be going out soon. Don't worry. A lot of people have been waiting because it kind of takes us a while before we ship out the next one. Usually it's every two weeks. The waiting is nearly done. I love this card, actually. You have to sell it to me later. <laughs> Giovanni's boss's orders. I'm just kidding. I'm trying to snipe that Selby for me, Russ. All right. Man, when's D. Schmidt going to return? He's got $140 up. Opens 
$140 to open up. All right, we're going to the PSA requests. We're heading over to Russ. We're going to edit this, and it's going to say number three, Bosses Orders. Secret Rare from Rebel Clash. You got it, mister. Okay, after that, we have Jerd. Small spot, please. Here you go, Jerd. Jerd, Jerd. Jerd is the word. Jerd on 27. There you go, Jerd. Cool. Woo! All right. Your boy Russ is like, I'm shaking. Well, now remember, that's the uh, asking price. It doesn't mean it will necessarily sell at 900 uh, but you know what? I would not be surprised to see Boss's order sell between $300 and $500. I, if you get a 10 on him. he Reasonably, I think you could ask for a price like that and he would sell. Because he's that hard to pull. You can open five cases of Rebel Clash and not pull them. You can open up probably a lot more than five cases and not find them. Because he's that rare. All right. I think we're pretty close to the end of the live stream. What do you guys think? We've been streaming for a straight six hours. Uh, we need to do the giveaway. What? Two small spots at 23 and 24. One small spot at 7 for your boy, Russ. Hell yeah. Should I grade the toxicity? So the toxicity would be $18 to grade. And, uh, well, let me look at it real fast. Just going to look at it myself. Yeah, I mean, he looks like he has a shot at the 10, sure. Yeah, so if you want to grade him, it would be $18, and then you'd be the proud owner of a Toxtricity. Let's go ahead and get these smalls. 23-24 for Gerard. That's easy. And 7 for Russ. Russ, you got gifted a spot. <laughs> So the giveaway, uh, the giveaway is going to be for, I say the giveaway be two spots in the small and these two Rebel Clash packs, okay? So that's going to be the giveaway tonight. Uh, it's just a nice little going away prize. And uh, in order to play, you need to head over to the general chat and guess a number between 1 and 100. Go over to the general chat and guess a number between 1 and 100, all right? Oh, oh my back's tired. You have no idea. My back is tired. Can we see my post before it ends? Yeah, while people are doing the general chat, why don't I um, take a look at this? How's it going, Kevin D? We got Copper Raja, Melodic, Tool Scrapper, Toxtricity V, Bead, Zacian, Sableye, Delmise, Lapras, Lycanroc, Deancey. Look at this. So you got some really decent pulls, in my opinion. There we go. So Lycan Rock's pretty good. Tool Scrapper, Copper Raja, Toxtricity, Bead. Zacian V is actually pretty decent, believe it or not. Deancey. Um, and then some extra ones. Like this this Espeon and Melodic. They're not bad either, actually. So you got like this Espeon and Melodic V cards. They're, they're both decent as well. Okay. Woo! What a long stream. A nice, short, six-hour stream. We got it. So I'm going to go ahead over to the general chat now. I'm going to lock it up. Actually, I'm tempted to make it so you can't even read the general chat. Yeah, I'm changing it so you can't even read the general chat. Are you ready? So I'll show the winner on, on screen. And the reason for this is because I don't know if people can edit their message. And I don't want that possible. Here we go. Let's find the winner. Landed on a six, which means we roll twice. First roll is 20. Second roll is a nine. So 29 is the winning number. Let's find out who got a 29. Give me a moment. 29. Von Doom is at 28. And that's the winning number. Von Doom got 28 without going over. There you go, Von Doom. Congratulations, Von Doom. Let me go ahead and make the general chat readable again. 
All right, there we go. Sweet. Woo! Shaking my fist. Von Doom. So, Von Doom, the way this is going to work, when we do the giveaway, there's going to be these special spots we give away at the end like this. Von Doom. And now, the two Poke Packs. Oh, it's a white pack. Ooh, what is this going to be? Remember, I, I said maybe the last two packs will have a full art in it. No, it's just Hollow Don Jr. <laughs> I was getting hyped before it even happened. Let's see, the last pack. Oh, it's also white. Oh, my God. Guaranteed full art. Let's see. Secret rare. What is it? Oh, and it's just a hollow again. Actually, you I'm sure you'll take these because these are, um, you've got a box, right? So there you go, Von Doom. Oh, man, two white packs. I was getting very aroused. Uh, they both turned into hollows. Sorry, Von Doom. <laughs> he says, toss me. It was it was tantalizing, wasn't it? It was tantalizing. Toss them in the box. That's right. Woo, the end of the live stream. We did it. The marathon is over. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's live stream.